that says take your burden down to my soil now we'll make yellow flowers for you Hello and welcome to Designer Inspiration. My name is Jenny Cleary and I will be with you from now until five o'clock. And today I am utterly privileged and very excited to be joined by the award-winning designer, Rachel Norris. Hello. Oh, good afternoon, Jenny. <laughs> Hello to you. <laughs> oh, it's lovely to be here, it really is. It's amazing yeah, to have you, Rachel. We spent yeah. most of last night uh, filming your DVD. Yeah. It's wonderful. In fact, it almost into the day. We, we yeah. you know, crept into <laughs> Actually, the well, it was this morning. We didn't yeah. finish till this morning, <laughs> so we've been up all sorts of hours. Now, Rachel, you've got the most outstanding jewellery today that I've seen. Are we starting with the polymer clay pieces? Yes, I don't normally um, like it. We're yeah. going to start with some polymer clay pieces. Now, I want to show you what Rachel has, just a few pieces, because there are more, few pieces of what uh, Rachel Norris has created. Now, we're going to take this show nice and slowly. We're going to go uh, nice and methodically, because I know that you're going to want to need to in fact achieve exactly what Rachel has created here so there's more there's more there's so much more to the pudding okay. here <laughs> now I'm gonna give you the elements I'm gonna spend the next half an hour giving you everything you need to create Rachel's pieces then I'm gonna go on over and, I'm, and Rachel's going to uh, take over and give you step by step every single guideline of how to create what Rachel has created now I know we've got lots of Rachel Norris uh, fans tuning in ready for today's show. If you don't know about Rachel Norris, Rachel is an award-winning jewellery designer. Rachel's pieces have been displayed in the Victoria and Albert Museum. She's had a BBC documentary made about her. And uh, she's just, she's not only, in fact, a jewellery designer. Rachel is a specialist in vascular... Uh, uh, clinical science. I do not She's a clinical scientist. She does vascular ultrasound. She is also a mum of three, a very busy lady. She lives in Cornwall, and uh, she, she's a fantastic jewellery maker. You're going to be super inspired by her if you haven't been in the past already. Pretty much when you say to all of our guest designers here, Rachel Norris, they stop. It's like the Queen has entered the building, and she certainly has today. We're going to give you Rachel Norris's Wirework Masterclass Beauty of Nature Edition 2 Air back in stock for the first time in an age. Now, Rachel's got some gorgeous pieces that you will be able to create, thank you Rachel, with this incredible DVD. I love the peacock so much. I'm lucky enough to own a piece of Rachel Norris's wonderful jewelry, a gorgeous brooch. Have a look, There's, there she is. Have a look at what you can create. Isn't it wonderful? Absolutely divine. Now you need to be on the phone lines very quickly we do generally sell out like that of Rachel's DVDs. Now, Rachel is an absolute... We've only got 200 of these today, which sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. You need to get yourself on the phone. Look at the Phoenix. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. If you would like to be inspired by... I can see you all on the phones already. Now, is this multi-regional, Rachel? Can I watch it if I'm shopping from the United States of America? Um, it's set to PAL. It's PAL region set to all. OK, so brilliant. So you might have to check with your manufacturer um, of your PC and your DVD. So that many US machines can play it and many PCs can play it, but they just need to check. You might need to ch change the setting in the menu, for example. But many US... Cause I've shipped to US and Canada and people and um, New Zealand and people have been able to play it 
um, and Spain. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> so you, so it should be compatible with all of your, with all of your um, DVD players. So you need to, and your PCs, you need to be on the phone lines now. This lady is an utter genius. Here's a few clips of what you can expect when you get your DVD home. Here's Rachel here. Now you have got three discs in total, taking you through each wonderful step. Rachel shows you how to complete some outstanding wire work pieces. You don't have to be a super advanced wire worker to be able to do Rachel Norris's pieces. Rachel and I spoke in depth about this last night. Rachel uh, does certain stages and says, if you are a beginner, just take it slowly. You can achieve, just take it slowly. Don't set your goals too high. Achieve what you feel you can achieve. You're going to be so happy that you picked up the phone today. Three DVDs, three discs in one. This is Rachel Norris's DVD, 1995. Rachel, how long is the DVD? How long um, does it go on just for? Under, just under three hours. <gasps> um, because Wonderful. I've gone into it in a lot of detail. So. What, the Peacock takes up one DVD because it goes through all the stages and it's actually starting to create three-dimensional pieces um, which, and the techniques in this one are carried on into edition three which is hopefully out in early May um, and so you need to th bring those techniques and develop them into the next stages as well so the whole series will follow through a journey of wire working techniques and many of the same techniques are used in different ways to make the, the other pieces. Um, so I've just spent a long time going through each of the techniques so that people are really not sort of abandoned in the middle of a tutorial thinking, oh, what do I do next? I've tried to give them as much detail as possible. And of course, I'm on Facebook, there to help if you get stuck at any stage. I'm very happy to help. You're you very dedicated perfect. to your Facebook page as well, Rachel. Yes. You're on it quite a lot, aren't you? And I have noticed that it's wonderful it's if anyone's magic. got a question. Even if I'm on air and I, I say, I wonder what Rachel Norris thinks of that. There yeah. she, she pops <laughs> up. She's fantastic. Like a magical uh, wish Little fairy. <laughs> now, yeah, yeah, just rub the lamp. Uh, now, Rachel, do I have to have edition one um, to get edition two? Or can I go in there without edition it one? It does help to have edition one. Okay. Um, to be honest, because I do refer back to it. So it would be better they did, but you can make the pieces um, Without. as they are, but I do refer back. So I'll sometimes say do it the same as in um, for a few of the techniques, but it's not, it's not essential. Not essential. Helpful. Okay. Now we've got lots of FIFO uh, reviews for this wonderful DVD. Uh, and Christine, who has bought this, uh, says, this is fantastic. I can't wait to make some more of the designs. I've already done the dragonfly, bee and butterfly. So many of you entering the Wall of Fame have also uh, got this DVD and you've been inspired hugely. Aileen in Derbyshire says, my God, uh, this is absolutely wonderful. It's like having Rachel at your elbow, walking you through all elements of making some of the most wonderful airborne wonders of nature. And I've got another one, and there's so many to pick from. Uh, and this is from Marion in Greater Manchester, who bought this and says, very good value for money. Her designs are a break, um, her design, she breaks down the elements of the design, and by doing so, she encourages you to have a go. Uh, please uh, don't hesitate in checking out your baskets. We have huge amounts of this, have already been allocated over half the stock has gone at £19.95. A great big hello to you. You do need to check out your baskets. Marion in Lincolnshire. Ginia in... Uh, where's OR? Or, where is that? It, we, we, have a, we have Genia from uh, the USA. Hello to you. I can't remember where or is it? What was OR? Where is it? Is it Orlando? No, that would be Miami. Orlando's in Miami, isn't it? No, Florida, sorry. FL. Uh, Helen in Cumbria. Andrea, sorry, Genia. Uh, Andrea, uh, Alexandra, you've got to check out, it's Oregon. Who said that? Thank you. Well done, Claire. June in Essex, you've got yours. Arthur, Marianne, Elise, Irene, Janet, uh, Margaret and Grace of Kent. Eddie of Cheshire, Aishi of uh, Greater London, Lorna, Valerie, Gladys, Barbara, Alison. There are so many of you with this in your baskets. Well done to you, £19.95. Please don't forget you've got a 30 day money back guarantee on absolutely everything that you shop for. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. Don't you just love it when the actual piece does look like uh, the cover? I mean, it's, it's the same one, of course. Uh, Dave in Buckinghamshire, 
here. Well done. I've got Andrina in Leicestershire. Uh, make sure you are checking out your baskets. This will work in most DVD players and PCs. So if you are shopping from abroad, you should be fine. Rachel has shipped this to USA, Canada and New Zealand. Uh, all customers have been able to uh, watch this on their uh, systems. Now, I'm going to give you some high-end luxury uh, now because you are going to be using in Rachel's next pieces some beautiful gemstones, some wire, some polymer clay. So I'm going to give you all of that. But first of all, I'm going to give you the elements that you need. So we're going to start off with some beautiful, delicate gemstones. I'm just going to grab uh, my background here because I want to show you this stunning sapphire strand. Now, these sapphires have the most teeny weeny delicate facets on them. Rachel is a huge fan of using little delicate gemstones. Rachel and I did film last night the DVD and it was small rondelles and teardrops that Rachel uses very often. Rachel loves to centre pieces and cluster pieces uh, with the gems of distinction, gemstones. They give such a rich look they give such a stunning finish in this instance you have pink sapphires deep blue sapphires you have the clarity of the sky blue sapphires you've got yellow sapphires in there as well now this really is a wonderful strand and um, how glorious to have those perfect rondelles if we get nice and close to those we'll be able to see and appreciate the shape and size because these aren't a conventional shape or size they, they they do break the mold slightly I haven't seen them this exact size before now Rachel you use these tiny delicate gemstones very often sapphires are mm. such a treat to have why is it that you do tend to to home in on the gems of distinction Rachel oh well they're because of what they are they're special um they have a, um, a kudos with them and a, a lovely association people know what sapphires are like um, and also um, clustered together they have massive impact and mm. um, you can choose to grade those and separate those out and you can actually create <laughs> centers of flowers I actually have that piece with me today um, uh, the, the flower piece yes yes um, have you if you want me to get it out I will if you, sorry if um, you don't mind I yes, would I'll love it I'm always um, I'm always <laughs> referencing Rachel's wonderful center of her flower um, design the inspiration of nature's and and Rachel actually uses gems of distinction very often for center points of flowers and things uh, now this even if you're not going to be wire working with Rachel today these are going to be invaluable in your stash they are a precious strand of beautiful genuine sapphire please don't forget to pick up your um Authenticity certificate. Thank you. So look at this, <gasps> Rachel. <coughs> oh, oh, hang on. I'm going to let go of my sapphire. Look at this. But what you do is you make a flower up and take this out. And because the the oh my goodness, the sparkle on They're these. They're beautiful, aren't um, they? The hole through this is, is small, and so that on their own, a structure might not be strong enough. Um, although if you put it on beading thread it probably would be strong enough but if you want to put it into wire protecting it into a center of a flower with a larger gauge wire structure around it and wiring in with 0.25 or 0.4 will protect those gemstones and also enable them to be a feature so they're fabulous um, to use the center clusters in these flowers I could also put them on the turtle, sea turtle that I make and things like that. I mean, they're, they're, um, they're perfect for that, aren't they? they? Yes. Just these little delicate, thank you so much, yeah. Rachel. I will give this back to you so that you can take it yeah. that way. <laughs> thank you so much. If you want to be able to create like Rachel does, uh, don't forget your certificate of authenticity, especially if you want to be selling jewellery on as sapphires and, and perhaps you want to get it valued as well. They're only £49.95. pence. Get yourself on the phone lines for that. And I think you, you do pay a, a little bit more. Look at the colour. You are going to pay a little bit more for, for what these are. They are very special. They're very delicate. And if you're thinking today you're going to go all out, you really want to get involved with the sort of jewellery that Rachel creates, then you need these types of strands in your possession. Yes, they are that little bit more, but they're worth it. And Rachel, I know you do tend to splash out on certain gemstones, but you do that. But, well, why, why, do, why do you think, right, OK, I'm going to spend £50 on a strand? Oh, it's just... Uh uh, a little bit of magpie in me um, and also you know if I've worked hard and I want to make a piece especially for myself I would probably want to use a gemstone strand like that for a piece for myself or a special occasion mm. piece 
really, um, because some of the pieces I want to be able to, it would be nice if they lasted forever, and if you make with um, solid gold, and I've actually invested in some, and I very occasionally make a piece out of solid gold, but it has solid to be gold. small, and that's the piece you'd have to put gemstones like that in, and then that, that might last for a bit longer, you know. It'd have a nice <laughs> price tag on it if you had it uh, valued as well, wouldn't it? Forty-nine ninety-five. Now I'm going to give to you some beautiful tanzanite, another wonderful gemstone to incorporate with your Rachel Norris pieces. Have a look at this tanzanite because they're nice and smooth. They're going to work really well on the surround. They're going to work really well on earrings as well. A beautiful bracelet can be uh, made out of these and achieved very easily, actually. I think if you want to do things like a rosary link or something like that, I think you can achieve it really easily. Now, tanzanite we know is such a special gemstone. Tanzanite is, is a gemstone that demands your attention. It's a gemstone that is doing very well indeed in the boutiques at the moment it's probably one of the biggest selling gemstones next to a diamond it's probably the most popular gemstone in the world right now tanzanite is a gemstone you can only get from one place in the world um, it, there's only one mine at the foothill of Mount Kilimanjaro so if it ever runs out and you've got it in your possession I think you'll be very happy about that indeed now this particular strand boasts clarity and a lot of uh, jewellery that I've seen in the in the jewellers don't have clarity like this so I think this is a real treat to have this in your possession Q QVYY31, get yourself on the phone lines. Or you, do you know what? It's, it's Saturday. Spoil yourself a little bit today. I know you've tuned in specifically to watch the wonderful Rachel Norris, and we are giving you strands uh, that are very similar to the pieces that Rachel does buy from us already. So I'm um, hoping that if you want to take inspiration from Rachel, you're going to want the gemstones that uh, will give you the ability to create what Rachel creates. £21.95 is your prize tag for this beautiful tanzanite strand. It's also one of the birth gemstones of December. If you love your tanzanite, it's a player quote gemstone, so you don't just get that blue, you also get little hints of pink and things like that. Just stunning. And, and it's something blue for the bride if you're doing bridal pieces too, isn't it? Uh, we do still have stock of Rachel Norris's DVD. If you want that, we are approaching three quarters of the entire stock gone. Uh, so if you want it, it was 19 95 We're going to pop it on the bottom of your screen. We're very busy for that. And I don't want you to have uh, not got it and then think, oh, that there was plenty because there isn't. Now, before we go over to Rachel, I'm going to give you some more treats. Oh, let's go with some nice blue drops. Have a look at these. This colour is wonderful. Very striking. It's blue onyx. Now, when we think about black onyx and green onyx, the colour definition is really fabulous with onyx the saturation of color is perfect isn't it these are top drilled plump drops very very reminiscent of raindrops they're beautiful aren't they and you've got that fabulous sky blue i think if you mix this with gold you've got a certain egyptian blue there as well haven't you i think you could make so much with teardrops like this they are top drilled you can hang them beautifully and delicately from earrings you can wire wrap the top of these you can pop a shepherd's hook onto these there's so much you can do i know we're busy i'm so sorry i know there are slight cues on on the phones right now your details of the dvd is on the bottom of your screen now this strand is brand spanking new it's utterly gorgeous if you are creating tiara and fascinator pieces if you are creating big wire work pieces and you're thinking about the flowers you're thinking about the inspirations of nature you want to get lots of beautiful gemstones then come and grab these gorgeous teardrops they're going under 10 pounds they're brand new they're full of color we've got something for everybody's pocket today at seven pounds and 95 pence you can afford to treat yourself this afternoon don't forget everything will come with a 30-day no questions asked money back guarantee so you can shop with utter comfort confidence do you know something if you are a brand new jewelry maker today maybe you are a fan of Rachel Norris's and you're uh, tuning in today because you're a fan maybe you're a crafter and you've never really made jewelry today uh, but before then today you're going to get yourself not only whatever it is that you order but you're also going to get yourself a free tutorial DVD a step-by-step -step book and you're going to get, was that you? I like that, Tom. A step-by-step -step book. And you're going to get a JM Hub magazine. I normally say Wingardium Leviosa and it pops up. What does that book look like? Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa, there it is. 
It looks like that. So I, yes, I, my real name is Hermione Granger. At £7.95 is your price tag. Oh, CRU 63. 80 gorgeous carrots. They're 8 by 12 mil on the graduation and they're absolutely beautiful. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook. Uh, you can uh, tweet us at jewellery underscore maker. I'm at Ginevra. And you've got... And what's the last one? Oh, that's our YouTube. Go on YouTube forward slash Jewelry Maker UK. Uh, now, you can subscribe to that channel. You can watch any of our programmes back. £7.90. Can you tell we got new buttons? Can you? Now, let's... Uh, should we, do you know what? Let's give you Rachel Norris's first polymer clay bundle. I'm going to give you the wire afterwards. You are going to get absolutely stacks with Rachel's collection. Now, Rachel has chosen these colours and she has designed some beautiful, super inspiring pieces from the elements. You're getting six colours of polymer clay. You have got your purple. You have got your magenta pearl, that's pearlized. You have got your olive green. You've got your denim jean blue. You have got your white glitter and you have got your black. All of these colours are around £2.50 if you go and buy them elsewhere. So you've got a lot of value in there already. You've got a lot of polymer clay. Now I'm also going to give you gleams, which I'm obsessed with. They smell wonderful and they are fabulous, not just for polymer clay, but for so many other crafts. They're great for home decor. They're absolutely wonderful for card making. They literally add a little gleam of colour just by the touch of a finger. You just rub over and rub. Just, it, it really is wonderful. Brass rubbings is what it always reminds me of. When you give an edge to a piece, you can really pick up on the edges. I'm also going to give you some graduated black onyx rounds. These are faceted and they're wonderful. I love the fact that they have been strung. Uh, by the way, all of this goes so far. You wait till you see the full collection. Rachel has made an absolute stack of pieces. It's wonderful, a full collection. Now, you have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sterling silver bead caps. I'm just going to find my tweezers so I can show you those properly because I'm being a bit haphazard with those. Look. So here we go. You've got the nine bead caps. Nine or ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I didn't count them properly. I thought that was an odd number to be given you. Now I'm also going to give you some silver findings. And the heart and the head pins are the flat round head pins for these. They're absolutely perfect. You've got your 115 findings. You've got the uber skinny head pins, which are fantastic. The back-to-back uh, -back sea fastenings. You've got the uh, shepherd's hooks. You've got absolutely everything, absolutely everything you need in a finding. So let's just recap exactly what you're getting. You have got a strand of wonderful rounds that graduate from teeny tiny to really large. I'm just going to, I will give you the actual dimensions rather than just teeny tiny to really large. What's the actual dimensions for this guy? There we are. Teeny tiny to large, of course. What more do you need? Uh, they are 6 to 14 mil on a 38 centimetre strand. You've got the 115 fabulous findings. You've got the 10 bead caps in sterling silver, three gleams. And you have got two, four, six polymer clays. If you were to buy this all individually online, it would set you back just 40 pounds and 50 pence, which is already phenomenal value if you compare us, I think, to anybody else. But we've got the wonderful, uber-inspiring Rachel Norris with us today. Now, you need to be quick. We're very, very, very busy today. As soon as Rachel came on, there you were. We're going to give you a huge discounted price tag. We're going to give you more than a £10 discount on this deal with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Remember, if you want to create exactly the same pieces that Rachel has created, you need exactly the same elements. At £30, you're getting an utter utter deal. Now, if you look at the pieces Rachel has created, I think if you were selling your jewellery on, you would agree that you could make a huge profit uh, off the back of that. But it's not just about profit, is it, for us jewellery makers? I mean, I don't sell my jewellery on. It's most certainly 
for me something that I give as gifts or I keep for myself. Uh, we are going to give you the wire at a fabulous price tag. It's going under £20 for all of your wire. Uh, now, I'm going to show you Rachel's designs. I've got to warn you, we are extremely busy on the phone lines. It is so wonderful to have your company today. Thank but you. first, do you know something? I love you. Mm, You're I ace. You and you, mm. you've just created Thanks. the most beautiful, beautiful jewellery. Thank you. I, didn't, I Basically, I wasn't happy with one piece. I think, I think I'm going to make another piece. And there's so many, I just went on and on and on. There's so it much fun of a clay. I could have made double the pieces. And in fact, I made all the stages and everything out of the same pack. And I've still got stuff left over. So, Rachel, you've you know. made so much. <laughs> Look at it now. If you want to create what Rachel's created, you need this pack. It's only £30. I'm going to show you every element. Now look, it's like art, Rachel. Everybody's going crazy for this. Everybody mm -hmm. in the workshop, just a piece of art. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Leafing up on the outskirts. Remember, Rachel is an award winning jewellery designer, as you can see. Text us in if you've got any questions to Ra Rachel. You've made flowers out of the. Oh, this look is how Rachel's used the bead caps. Yeah, the bead caps in the bundle. I'm not sure they're in the bundle. It's but amazing. They be. Yes, they are. But, they um, are. You can sort of stick a head pin in and uh, make little flowers out of them. And also, I mean, the, Debbie's Mini Fori techniques wow. of making flowers, you can add this in. I just wanted to make the butterfly the feature of these particular pieces Amazing. because they're live flowers. But you could use the same, you could use your polymer clay flowers that you make in on these, these pieces as well. And um, basically, I've shown, I'm trying to, yeah, I made a little ring as well. I love that. Um, you will, there's photographs of these stages, so even if you haven't got time to cover them, at least there'll be some idea of how they're made in the photographs. We've literally spent all morning taking photographs. <laughs> the perfect Easter collection is here. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. If you love your flower ending, you love your, look at this. Do you know what? Some of this you want to frame and put on the wall. Well, Unbelievable. Um, Debbie's going to be doing a box, boxes DVD or boxes teaching, and you could use these as box lids as well. They're not just, you know, you pendant. could, you couldn't could you? could easily use them as a, as a lid for something. So, um, you know, it, all you'd have to do is put a panel underneath and it would fit nicely onto top of a little polymer clay box if you make it. Um, Fantastic. Yeah. So Look at how intricate you've made so many pieces and each one as beautiful as the next. Look. Look at that. Just stunning, isn't it? Absolutely. I ran out of dust. <laughs> I used them all. <laughs> Is this two pieces or one that's piece? Two pieces. Oh, that's two I just pieces. put them on because I thought otherwise it's gonna stain the fall off the desk. So I thought oh, I'm cramming those. One, on the same two, one. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces from the one bundle and Rachel says that she had stuff left over. We're very busy. I'm so sorry about the queues on the phone lines. It is a free phone number if you're dialing from a UK landline. Now before we get started and if Rachel you need to get ready, I'm going to give you the wire that Rachel used as well. Now this deal is going to be phenomenal you are getting 100 meters now this is in a smaller thing but you are getting 100 meters 100 meters of silver 0.4 you have got 10 meters of the one mil you've all been asking for the 0.4 this is 100 meters you have got 10 meters of your one mil and you have got 10 meters of your 0.8 you are getting 120 meters of the silver wire with an e-coating and it is coated with sterling silver over the top of copper 110 meters of that for a ridiculously low price tag to celebrate rachel being here today you are not going to be paying 20 pounds and 35 pounds even though actually rachel that's blinking great price tag already you're going to get a phenomenal saving by shopping with us today. Don't forget your questions for Rachel at just £17.95 today. You get your three wire reels that is going to help you. So for 30, what, what was the other bundle? £30, £30. So, so for 47 95 you can create all of this. And keep on going. All of this and keep on going. <laughs> Do you sell your jewellery on now? I know that you're very busy um, and you have it displayed I, here and there. I do. Um, it's more a commission basis. 
um, uh, because I'm just so busy. I'm just so busy. I'm making DVDs, writing for magazines, um, coming on here, um, going to shows, being a mum, being a vascular clinical scientist. Actually. It never stops. Oh, do you sleep? There is, a, there is a point at which you think, I'm actually going to just target and do this. Yeah. Um, but I do make on a commission basis, so that's what so I So would do. this be expensive, this jewellery? How hmm. much would I expect to pay for a Rachel Norris oh piece like this? Uh, it depends on who... Who am I selling to? Just, what, any, um, just somebody's oh just gosh. contacted you and they oh, want so it and they want to... I would like... Um, I don't know. <laughs> how much I like? What you'd like... Because you know how to you price your wire work up straight away. It's about yes. £200 for a wire work yes, piece of yours, basically, it? it's what you, it's what you do. You price up what you, the minimum you'd like and then what the maximum you'd like and you really want something in between. OK. Um, and you price your hours, your design, um, the materials. Materials usually aren't very much, are they? Because jewellery making prices are amazing. So the materials are not very much. It's the hours, the time, and the design. So what I would like, oh goodness, I would like, oh, what, £125 for that main, s I would like that really. For this piece, yes. with the wire, with the polymer clay. Yes. So mm. we're talking about I know a that's huge problem. That no, about, it's not because you are, a, the thing is, Rachel, mm. you've got the but credentials. This one would go, to, you know, this would be less, or, or, you know, it depends on how you value in your mind or and how much you'd, it's the hours of work that's gone into it really as well. The hours of work, mm. you're, you as a designer, now, Rachel, everybody's so eager to see how mm. you actually uh, started like creating this piece. And I don't want to interrupt you. I Thank want you. to uh, oh, let, you, you, let you create, because I know lovely everybody lovely. at home has just uh, been waiting for so long to have it. How long has it been since you've been on air? Um, since I was with you last? Or? Eight, was it March? So I can't remember now. Uh, it was March sometime. Um, can't remember. Oh, it's, so yes. you were here last month? It was March. I did the... Um, the of course you did. I wasn't here for that, was I? Right. But there, now, basically, we've got th uh, to create the landscape at the background. It was February, I'm just being told. Oh. You've been back since February, you know. Gosh, I thought it was... Hmm. Um, I know I, it doesn't matter. I, sh I did invoice for March. I think I, it was March, but <laughs> might not have been. Don't um, worry. Don't worry. Now, what am I going to say? Skinner blend. Yeah, Skinner blend. Doing. But we're doing a slight sort of different Skinner blend only because um, I wanted to create striations of this lovely, lovely glitter clay. It's actually glitter frost white. It's got these lovely glitter um, particles in them. I don't know whether you can see that. Oh, can you see Unfortunately, our overhead camera, we actually Rachel and yes. I must have done mm. something to it last night because now it does, suddenly it doesn't used, work. I don't it, know what we've done. Maybe a little, so it is camera. our fault. I'm so sorry. It was There's an overload of brilliance. <laughs> so we'll have um, to rely on Kaz and her wonderful camera no, work. We can see the sparkle yes, in that. Can. I wanted to create that through and this clay doesn't tend to condition quite as well as the others and that actually was to the advantage because it distributes it through the clay in a kind of uneven fashion so I wanted it to create almost like effective clouds Aha. you see um, so you can see it's got a slightly crenated edge that means it's not quite as conditioned as easily as, as this one this piece is well conditioned can you see it's more leathery yes. to the yes. edges if we yes. just show that, to that, that unfortunately that we're going to have to do everything quite slowly because we haven't got the camera that conditions more easily than that one for example but you can I see that from the that. edges yes. that Rachel was saying I mean there. obviously there's a limit because you have to condition it well or else the piece is brittle basically polymer clay is um, an emulsion of P PVC particles in um, plasticizers yeah and plasticizers tend to come out of the, it, the kind of mix and um, that's why you need to condition it what you're doing is mixing the plasticizers back into the PVC basically to make it flexible okay and that's what you do when you condition it's it. all science yeah Rachel. that's what it does well, you are a scientist <laughs> yeah <laughs> I wanted to know I wanted to know a bit more before I sort of came and pretended I was an expert so that I did look that one up so what I've done is I've cut um, sort of slices of blue, mm -hmm. slices of the lovely green, the olive green, and interspersed it with a layers of white on the other on side. On the other side, oh, it was sort okay. of just basically to stick it together, and it's random, so you could do whatever you like because it will turn out differently every time you do it. I like the way you've done it though, because you've got the sky and the grass, and it's all blended nicely. Yes. So all you do to do a Skinner blend, um, you just basically fold up the same colour upon the same colour. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So you're just same, same folding. Colour. And this might be, it's been in a box for a month, so it's, it's going to be a bit brittle. Okay. And then pass it through. Now, the polymer clay roller we don't have in stock at the moment, but keep oh, your you, eyes yes. peeled any day now. Indispensable, um, and you use it all the time, and it's absolutely essential. So when it gets, comes back into stock, when it comes back through, fold it back uh, upon itself in the but same way. But fold it the same way. Exactly don't the same fold way. it the opposite way, otherwise you get gunk. You get, yeah, you, you get a mess. And basically, you'll need to pass this through about six times. And if I've got time, I'll just quickly do it so you can see that yeah, the... Yeah, please, um, how it grabs. 
graduates. Graduates. Again, same colour to same colour. So I folding it my, over. In my panic, I'll probably um, do it wrong. So I've got emergency strips. You can see it's starting to um, blend together to form a landscape. Basically, I looked out of my window, and I don't know whether they've got a slide. You can see it's starting to form. I love it. Um, um, a landscape sort of feeling. Okay. So always folding it the same way. Don't fold it different ways, Starting otherwise the colour blend, the Skinner blend won't work. Starting to, to form that uh, blend. I wanted clouds. Are you going fold first into the oh yeah. Is yes. that important? Um, um, it helps iron out the air bubbles. See how it's starting <gasps> to form? I love that already. You it's see? like a seascape. Almost. You can stop at any it's stage beautiful. you like. I might do one more and that, that'll be it. Because I, I want it to be uh, not a complete mix. So Look that's, at that. I'm quite happy with that. Can I just show that to yeah. Kaz? Because <gasps> that it's can be lovely. quite a nice landscape. Isn't it lovely? And, you and can you can, you're right, it is like clouds. Yes, and it, as you go, you can add bits of white in and keep on going. If you mm -hmm. want to make a cloud, you can add another bit just of white. Just add a little blob of white. Like a strip, and then put it back in again. Oh, okay. And for a few, for a few goes. Now, what I'm going to do is just put that to one... No, I'm going to cut it into a little rectangle. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Using the hard... Um, blade. I'm just going to cut a rectangle um, into a vaguely a shape that I'd quite like. I want it, the landscape to be slightly at an angle, so I don't want it to be completely horizontally across. So again, we haven't got the overhead, I'm so sorry, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it and then show you what I mean. So I've cut a little, I can lean over it now because you've got no overhead, yay! <laughs> That's the one advantage. So what I've done, I'm going to cut, uh, these, these wee scraps you can use for other things, so don't throw them away. You can use them inside things. And you've got to cut as ni a nice and neat a rectangle as you can really. And trim it so it's nice and neat. So I'll show you that now. Like a little strip, and it looks like a little landscape already. So this is like quite a lot of the large pendants, like this one I, which I've got to yes. hand. When, we've got a square here, so actually it's a bit like this if you see. Mm -hmm. And then if you see what Rachel next to me has cut out, there we go. So you can almost see it coming together already, can't yeah, you? Isn't already that gorgeous? got it, and it's so easy, isn't it, to isn't do it that? Beautiful? Imagine so um, combining um, ocean colours and creating an ocean way, you know, see, you can do it with anything really. You're uh, lucky enough to live in <laughs> Cornwall, aren't you? So I'm going to put thing. that away because I don't need that in a minute. Okay. And we'll get out. Some You're black. using. Um, Baking sheet, baking paper, are you to put this on? Is that a good idea? That's, um, it's yes, it's it great really for nicely. storing. So I've had to keep it. I made this about a month ago and put it away. Did in you a, really? Yes. Did you put it in an airtight container? Um, then one of your polymer clay plastic yes. containers. Yes, one of these, um, all stacked away. Perfect. And I can make up the, the demo ages ago. So, so if you wanted to make this a long-standing project, like knitting a, a sweater or something, well, you could yeah. actually prepare it all, put it away. Mm -hmm. That's a really good tip, Rachel. Canes, I've never seen you, that. you always make too many canes, you know, more than you need. Yeah. So you can store them away in these boxes, and they'll you can bring they'll them keep. out and use them for other projects. How so fabulous. Now, uh, next, I want to make the butterflies up to stick in the in the outside of it. Okay. So I'm just going to get that. There so we, we are making this one then, the butterfly one, which We're going is here. To, I mean, they're basically all the same. They're just that's just a lump of clay with everything stuck in. And that's a flat bit of clay, so they're basically, there's no difference really. They're just folding the landscape round a lump of clay to create that one. How fabulous. Two butterflies yeah. in there. And so they're all basically the same method. You're same just method, but different, different shapes. Of clay. So we're going to make a little butterfly shape up. Now I know how you do this, don't I? <laughs> we won't say anything, we've got no. secrets. <laughs> um, and I'll just very quickly show you a... Oh, I uh, was being clever and then I'm not, I'm not being clever. I had a little drawing of half a butterfly wing. Oh yes, so where did you put that? We have got that. So ra basically Rachel had drawn half a butterfly, um, which is the other half of the little pendant. Mm. Um, and um, it's on a little orange bit of paper somewhere. Yeah, don't worry. And uh, basically Rachel's using this as a template because you use your fingers a lot to mould around, don't you? I do. And basically, yeah, um, because you want to keep the butterfly symmetrical, you just yeah. have to draw one side of the butterfly. Yes. Um, make one up with wire, and then do, and then turn And then it you over, flip it over, and then you do, you hold it over a little drawing and do it the same. So I'm just going to quickly show you um, how I'll to. I'll see make. if I can find it while you're doing that. Yeah, it could be. It's a, it'll be all right. You carry yeah. on, and I'll yeah. have a look. For so you. in the centre of some 0.8 wire, and I probably I've got far too much here. So you probably only need about um, what 30 centimetres or something like that of wire. 
and it's not point eight so because it's nice and flexible. Don't worry, Jenny, it's all right. Don't worry. I think um, it'll be fine because it'll come out in, the, in the, our special secret. Um, whatever, anyway, so people will see okay, it. Okay, so if we go so, back here, then um, Kaz can. So in the center of the um, wire, just make a little loop and make a small loop. So right in the middle of Rachel's wire, she's done the loop. There's an equal amount of wire either, either side. side of that little loop. And the little loop is basically there um, to add your jump ring onto afterwards. Now we've got no, some not text for this, messages. Not this. It'll be for um, just sticking Oh, just as the head, rather. Stuff okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, of course, because we're not using yes, it now. No, Sorry. No, no, no. Uh, now we need to do it about here because yeah. we're just having a little See. bit of a. G our cameras will be all right in a minute. All I'm going to do is go. make the top wing um, and the bottom wing on one side and then show you the finished bit. Okay. Ooh, yes, gosh. There you go. You can yeah, see yeah. where you are there. Um, so it made a little top wing, and fairly rapidly, I've had to make all mine the same size. You can make yours any size you like, which is lovely. It's much more relaxing. And then bottom wing, just bending in. I'm just shaping with flat nose or slight nose pliers on my fingers, basically, to shape one side. So you you could have drawn this at home. Yes. And you could have gone around. I it. just made this a basic butterfly shape. There we are. That's mm -hmm. one half. And then what I'll end up with actually is a little shape like that. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to put those to one side. All right. Uh -huh. And then what I need to do, I've whipped it away, is get some 0.4 millimeter wire, which some so good. Which you've got, got that me. 100 meters of yes. really great deal for that. Wonderful. The polymer clay is on your um, right at 30 pounds. Um, and the toolkit that Rachel's using is at the bottom now. That is mm. an essential toolkit, that, isn't it? Oh, yes. You said uh, yesterday to me that you yes. couldn't do half of it without the... Oh, you, you, need, you need it. It's, it's in the, you can't, uh, the three pieces that I take everywhere with me, in fact, I actually take flash cutter pliers, round nose pliers and slight nose pliers, so you can make anything with those. Yeah. Um, three, They're wonderful, Just three pieces they? of equipment and you're there, you can make something beautiful. We've had loads of text messages, mm -hmm. uh, Rachel, so we're going to read one out to you while you're um, getting sorted wow. there. Um, th now, here we go. Uh, thank you so much for your text messages. Do keep them coming. Uh, Barbara is saying she's so happy to see Rachel back on JM. I just adore Rachel's work. She's so talented, always ready to help when you contact thank her you. on Facebook. Uh, so uh, mm -hmm. if you do have any questions, you can relay them uh, to Rachel afterwards. Oh, Rachel, that's beautiful jewellery. I had to just write this. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Maureen. Thank you so much keep them coming now and um, we will roll through the break if we need to um to ask rachel uh, your questions so please don't worry we are going to have an allocated time to to fire away questions at rachel for you right <laughs> no so breaks so for us we get going? Yes. yes we've got um to pop the um about 60 centimeters of 0.4 millimeter wire mm -hmm. i'm just going to literally wrap it round and form a little what i'm going to do is jenny is form a structure like that to anchor polymer clay to because we oh. want the polymer clay to be able to stick inside these little butterfly wings. So it's better to have lots of little elements anything to, to okay. anything just they stick onto. It's so like a cradle without for doing it. a massive weave across, I'm just creating anything uh, that will, that can stick. So um, one across both. Uh, in fact, the whole centre uh, structure of the butterfly, and then I'm just going to pass across to. There's a little like dent or notch in the middle of the wing once around there and then back towards the center so I'm just creating anything for an anchor and once around the center and then towards the other side of the bottom wing and then this one I'm just going to cut off and leave it because we're going to use this to stick into the polymer clay so I'm just going to cut off about two centimetres and leave that. And basically you do the same for the other side. So this one will pass up to this side, wrap around the centre and then back down to this wing and then cut off so you're ending up with a piece like, like that, basically, ready to stick some polymer clay on. You can make a flower shape with it, stick flower, and uh, exactly the same. So it could be anything. Anything you wanted to, just create some wire anchors for, to stick your polymer clay on. So we're going to make some butterfly wing polymer clay now if that's all right yes please um so put that to one side next skinner blend skinner blend so we've done the skinner blend so you know basically what it is i just want to get the elements so you know what it should look like that's the skinner blend i'm working from mm -hmm. for um it's basically the blend of the white and the purple so just two together colors for the bus in a style. triangle just stuck together and then through this through um to create and it actually ends up 
something like that. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So you do it exactly the same way as you just did it. Keep folding it and putting it through. Yes. Folding it, putting it until through you get until blend, you get something. A bit like that. It's, like not, it's not essential to be perfectly blended for this. And I can't remember, is it, is it Jelly Roll Cane or something like that? We, it, it's, a, it's got a name, okay, and I can't remember the name. Forgive me, everybody. Of which one? Of this, where you actually roll it up. Oh, when um, they cut it in half? Mm, not that one. No, because someone could text it in because I have forgotten what the name of it is. Is it Jelly Roll Cane? I don't know. I Basically, haven't. what you do is you roll from the centre of this, and it's not get, it's not conditioned tremendously well. So, bear with me. The cutting blades that Rachel is using, uh, the pack of three, so it's the wiggly one, the stiff one, and the corrugated one, are on the bottom of your screen. They're seven ninety five. Absolutely essential. Oh my We're going to keep putting yes. all the elements that Rachel's using on the bottom of your screen. So forgive me if and I don't reference them. You can them. create. Um, textures with this with this blade there's your guard for protecting your fingers yeah it doesn't work um, so well on the flexi one the no, guard does it but it's perfect for the harder it, but, one um, because in the end, in the end of the day I'm taking my own wrists and my own fingers yeah. but be careful everyone because these are sharp but they are um, you know, they're, so but the per they're the perfect tool for the job Rachel yes. aren't they <laughs> so what I'm doing is rolling from the light to the dark. I'm trying to sh can you see what I'm doing? From light to dark. Is light that important to, dark. to go light yes, to dark? Yes, because I want the light in the centre of the butterfly wing. It's uh -huh. cracking because it's been in the case for a while, so bear with me. Okay, so what it's do not you do in that, in that instance? Just manipulate uh, it. I might need to run it through the roller a couple of okay. times and, and, and it will condition a bit better. So that's that's cracking because it's, it's lost its conditioning. So don't worry. It, it's all right. At the end of the day, this is just a demo, but make sure you don't have this cracking because your 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 polymer clay will be brittle. Yeah. Okay. When you bake so, it, after you bake yeah. it. So I've got a kind of roll with light in the centre, dark on the outside, and Debbie. I've learned everything you see from Debbie and Anne and Fiona. Are they all wonderful? Experts. Anything I know from polymer clay, I've learned from them. You see. So, so you've learned from JM from them too. And to to do this, and then all I want to do is just look out the window and thought I want to make. A scene. I want to make that scene it. outside my window. So all I'm doing is, is stretching it down. We've and got the doing this picture of what inspired you apparently. Did you give Tom the picture? I did. I did. Let's have a look at, <laughs> oh, is that out? Do yes. You, is that what you see out of your window? Yes, yeah. We've got the How whole view across beautiful. the Camel Valley. It's, we're so lucky. We're at the top of um, the hill at St. Briock and it's beautiful. How wonderful. Very lucky. Um, oh, you are lucky. You could just gallop a horse <laughs> across that, couldn't you? You could. There are a few horses around. Yeah. Wow. So anyway, I've made a kind of roll. So you made a little sausage, little sausage. That. and then what I'm going to do is cut this. Did you just squeeze that out? Like I squeezed that, and pulled, and you know it's like that sort of movement. I'm probably doing it all wrong. You could roll it, but you know it doesn't matter because I'm making sort of random butterfly wings. I'm not making precise. You pattern. don't need shape here. No, you need no. the You're looking for the consistency in the no. pattern. What I'm doing next is just pinching at one side to make a triangle. Ah. To make it in inner part of the wing. Okay, so okay. it's easier then rather than manipulate it, it can, over the wing. You can you can cut it. You can manipulate it afterwards as well. It's just as easy. Okay. I'm going to cut four little slices. I'm just going to uh, with the with the hard roller uh, with the harder blade, and then we've got I a little. I love Paula McClay. It's just little, so clever, isn't little it? Little railway. So uh, and it's slightly. Well, it's all right because it can be random. As long as you're cutting, you've got two mirror images for the adjacent rings. Mm. That's enough, isn't it? Yes. So, what I'm going to do is cut four little slices and put what them. Have you got about a three mil thickness on there. I'd yes, say. because I'm going to slightly spread them out for some of the wings. So it's, don't go it any skinnier be, than three mil. It's actually two mil, I think. It's two mil, is it? Yes. Look at like this. So some little slices like that. There you go. Sorry about my horrible fingers, but there we go. Now, and I'm just going to pinch in the corner and make a little indentation there ready to shove it behind the whoops behind the butterfly wing so you're yeah. going behind at the back of the butterfly why are you going at the back and rather because i want the some of the wires to show through and also the wire, wire to be a frame so i oh yeah, yeah okay see? yeah yeah <laughs> there it is <laughs> so why are you doing that <laughs> i see and then yes, i'm going to put the other one another there. one on there is there is method in my I'd madness there i'd be terrible there. at that game with the memory tray wouldn't i what did that look like on the camera <laughs> see um i'm i'm trying to combine polymer clay with wire you see so that's my the aim of the game okay because so you want that element i want of wire the, in i there. want the wire to be a frame i've stuck okay. another one on going from behind going behind and there's the other one. It's, this is going to be a bit rougher, but spend a bit of time poking the clay in at the sides. I'll show you a little technique for the top of the wings in a minute. And I'm squishing it in a little bit so it embeds itself in the wire. Okay. This one can go on the top wing, so I've got to put that down. And I'm slightly pressing it in to make a butterfly. You can manipulate it to make a butterfly shape because that looks more or less like the wing now. 
Okay. And then put it on. Oh yes, there. Sorry, I, I, I said a no, word, No, I think but it's we okay. might have. Look, I can see your lovely head from oh. over, over oh, above oh. us. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> we may be cooking the gas. How do you manage that? Well if, done. If it works, we're going to make Adam come out here so we can both kiss him. Yes, thank you. He's looking really pleased Poor about that, Fiona this you, morning. Um, He's going to run away. He's going to break the camera now and run. So I've stuck all four on and we're made, starting to make the little butterfly wings. A bit so rough, but pretty. there we go. It's and then I'm going to stick one more bit at the back, any old, any old sort of scrap bit really, just to help um, hold it together. Oh, so this is just a scrap piece that's going at the back that just you're not going to see. Yes, and you can, okay. yeah, and this helps embed it into place. A little press and it's done, isn't there. it? So the next thing to do is just, you can slightly tidy this up. What I do is with a blade, um, tidy up between the wings, press this down. Thing, the little movements like, like this just help press the polymer clay into pace, place like that. And sometimes you'll find the polymer clay has gone in between the wings. It hasn't oh. in this case, but this is what I had to do with the other pieces. Slightly manipulate the blade in and help press the polymer clay into, into place behind the little wings. The next thing I'm going to do is make a little body just to place on top. So okay. I'm going to nick a bit of pu purple from the end of here, which will do. So I'm going to make a tiny, tiny little first ball out of polymer clay and just a little circular ball and stuck it in the top to make a head. Okay, again, spend a bit of time making this more beautiful. And We're then looking up there because our camera's up there, not because I'm looking at the <laughs> space, I'm sorry. Another little bit to make a body and then what I do is I'm just rolling it into a little ball and then gently point, make a little point tapping one end with your fingers and mm -hmm. I'm making a little teardrop shape to fit it on and being a body. There's the body. Again, a bit rough and ready, okay? That really is. But it's spend more. a bit of time to make it, it um, more beautiful than this. It's perfect. And, and then you used, have you used two silver balls on there as well? Yeah, I'll just do that in a minute. <laughs> I was just thinking, <laughs> what is that? Is yeah. that wire? There is, there is another secret element Fabulous. to this. So next thing I'm going to do is um, I might trim some of these wires because I've got them this length for embedding into a big blob of polymer clay, but we're only going to embed it into a shallow blob on, the, on this on this particular pendant. Okay. Sorry for taking that away. And this wire is fine to bake with, isn't it? It, it is. It's all baked in place. Do you just bake it in your regular oven? Have you got a yeah one thirty? If it's a fan oven, you need to turn the I fan I just off had you. it on one thirty in my fan oven, okay. just slightly below. It was fine. But you see, if you've got an oven thermometer, just check it um, out. Um, if, you, if your oven is, it has slightly hotter places than others, just slightly manipulating this so that it will embed nicely into the clay, okay, Jenny? Um, I'm just going to shorten and trim this. I'd have this, this length if I'm embedding in a large lump of polymer clay because you can embed this into it, but because I'm embedding it into a, a little a, beetle legs at the yes, moment, aren't they? Just <laughs> shallower length, that's ready to go. What I'm going to do now is put the grass on. So, I'm going to leave, put so that you do that before side. you embed the. Yes, yes you gonna, would. I wouldn't forgot you, about the grass. Let's do the grass. So let's do the grass. Do the grass. And I'm going to get some green in my green it's layer. Green Somewhere is the green. Is so the green you need to put through on a, on a setting of the, all the this is on setting one. So just pure green you've used. You haven't mixed pure it green. with anything. No, no. And then the grass you put on setting seven because I want it quite thin. Okay, um, I'll move all this out your way. Right, so we I don't need that. Um, the grass you need on setting seven because you need it really thin. Okay. So I'm um, just going to set so number it seven, dead, dead, really skinny. Yes. And again, I apologise if this does fall apart because this has been. You can see how thin that that is. I want nice thin grass to fit on top. Okay. We've got the overhead now, have we? No. Not yet. No. Any moment. So what it's I'm going to do is lay this down and cut some slices of grass. And with this, you need the more flexible blade. So your wibbly wobbly blade. Now your blades are seven ninety five, and they are available. They'll be popping up on your screen momentarily. Uh, Rachel's mm. DVD is very close to a sellout. Just to let you know. So I'll put that to one side because I don't need okay. that now. Okay. Little canes. Um, so again, this I will use in the future. You know, all this will go back in a pack, and I can use you it for future projects. Nothing Fabulous. goes to waste. Nothing does. does. It? So curvy blade. I make a curve, and um, that's to one side. I'm going to make some grass quite close, we've got a little bit of grass, like that, like so, 
Okay, hang on. Oh, just a oh. Sec. oh wait, there we are. We are actually there we are on that one. I think okay. we're cooking on the overhead now. Okay, I want to put that into view. Okay, there we are. I put that away, Jenny, as well. We might have a bit of tweaking with the camera. No, have you to got first, that actually. in in camera shot? I'm just trying to get this all into place. So you can see what it's I'm doing. It's not quite ready yet. They're just saying because the colour's not right on it. Okay, does it matter? No. Yes, it yeah. does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> what I'm doing, I've cut a little sort of curl with grass. Yeah, we oh, can got see it. it. There. Well there done. We go. Oh, so they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> cut a little curl with grass. There and we I'm go. Going we can to lay see. a bit on. To make I keep it, looking up because on. Rachel, our yeah. our monitor is up. May just I have so one, know. so I can just um, remember the Absolutely, alignment. Absolutely, my just lovely. Just so I can sort of. Um, That's not a butterfly one. No, let's go for a butterfly one. Yeah, that one will do. Just so that I can remember exactly how I mean basically you want the grass to be um, crossing over each other to make it look natural so I put a bit of grass on and then cut a few more pieces overlapped so that you can cut neatly at the bottom yes really skinny yes. pieces you're doing here yes. aren't you I've laid on Is another I'll show you press it down gently with your fingers there's a little mark at the top there but uh, you can smooth that out with your fingers you know, gently oh, gently gently is. smooth that out and then I'm just going to pop about six pieces, I think, I put on. Um, it's up to you. And again, you can put flowers on. Um, goodness me, you can go to town with, with your design that you make using this technique. You can do exactly what you like. This is just a sort of basis for making the picture itself. I just wanted the, the butterflies to be the focal point and to be the flowers, if you see what I mean. Yeah. Um, but you can add in the flowers. I'll just pop that across. Again, this is rough and ready. But... Um, so pretty. It's very calm, I'll show you to the a calm end. landscape piece to look at, isn't and it? And you just, just make sure as you as you lay them down that your grass is good enough. And again, mine is slightly not conditioned, so it's got a slightly rough edge. Um, so forgive me, I because can't it's see where it's got a rough. Ah, uh, well, fine. yeah, so they're slightly rough. You're a perfectionist. And then there's another piece. I'll just put six on, just so you can see really the idea of what I'm doing. And again, I kept a curve in the grass, and laying one over the other. I'm going to do that and I'll show you the finished piece in a minute. Again, don't worry too much if it doesn't, doesn't sit quite right. You can just gently peel them off. If you haven't quite stuck it down with your fingers, just gently peel them off if you haven't sat them right. Just going to bring that up so you can see there we what go. I mean. Whoops, trembly hand, sorry about that. Perfect. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is um, cut with a hard blade, cut that those ends of the grasses off and actually if you cut slightly well, at an angle you can actually smear the grass down over the edge of the of the piece so it overlaps slightly. yes oh yes yes and it, it, you just got to listen, slightly angle it as you go and there you've got the grass that is neatly. so beautiful next thing i'm going to do is embed this butterfly into place okay all right. Okay. Yes. yes. So I'm so sorry about this rough butterfly. It could be better. What are you talking about? Mm. Now. She's mad. This one. I am. But. So you're kind of sliding that sliding in rather it in. than be just going yes. from the top, aren't you? Be careful. You? The slightly take some time to place your butterfly. I haven't Rich, done are anything. Are you going through all the way through the other side? Yeah, are you I'll trying to keep inside? I'll show you. I, I want to turn it in a minute when I've actually got it there. I haven't quite embedded those bits of grass. So spend a bit of time pressing those down. Okay. okay, that is through the other side. Oh, it is okay. through. Okay. And then these, I'm going to use um, pliers because it's difficult to manipulate in this little space with your fingers. Bring that down and bring that down. Trembly hand, sorry. Why would and I not just put them all Because you'll have, like an an angle, you'll, have, you'll have too much wire on show. I wanted to hide the wire a bit. Right, so the best so way to do is slide, slide it in. down. I've made a hole, sorry and then like that, push it down, and we've got that butterfly embedded in place. And that will bake into, into place. But I want to add a backing to this because some of this wire projecting, yeah. um, all of that, so I can cut it. So do you add off. the backing before you bake or after? Um, before you bake, so okay. I'm gonna do that now. So I've got that ready. I've got some backing black, which is just about the right size. It could be scrap clay, couldn't it? Or it could be the no, black. This no, this is going to be a frame. It's got. See. Oh yes, okay. Yes, okay. this is going to be a frame for this one. Just working oh, out whether I've got enough this size. Oh, of course. This bit round here, yeah. Bear with me. Might not have got enough size for it. Bear with me. I just need to um, get another piece of black and condition it, with Jenny. Okay, so I just my need darling. to make it bigger. Ah, oh, we got a bigger bit. There we are. Oh. 
So we're just going around here. We've got a quick question for you, Rachel, while you're just placing Lay it that on. on. Uh, Okie dokie. Press it into place. And this is from Helen in Malaga. Oh, we actually, you ought to go over there to answer her oh, personally. That would be lo I love Malaga, actually. Very nice play. You lucky lady. <laughs> she is lucky. Uh, uh, never get tempted to get the interpolymer clay until I've seen Rachel's creation. Can I use an electric oven to bake polymer clay? You can. Yes. Anything that, um, you've got to make sure you don't um, go above 130 or it'll burn. It'll, it'll, yes. it'll discolour it, it'll go horrible colour um, and, it, and you'll lose that vibrancy. Mm -hmm. So it must be below 130 and it doesn't matter as Debbie says, I mean, again, I'm quoting Debbie, yeah. and this is nothing. It's no matter really. how long you bake um, it for, as long as yes, it's at that temperature. Because it actually gets harder the more you bake it. Yeah. So um, make sure it's a minimum of 30 minutes. Larger pieces need more. I mean, I baked this piece for an hour to make sure it's so This baked. is a good hour. And oh. you can keep taking it out and testing it if you want to. If mm. you've got a halogen oven, we have heard people have cooked them in halogen ovens, but I don't have the specifics for that mm. at all. And if you've got an arga or anything like that, you need to check the temperature and bring your temperature down. Uh, Jane in Cornwall says, hi all, uh, I can't soften the clay, can you tell if I can warm it in any oh. other way um, um, than in my hands? My hands well, are always I'll cold. I'll show you um, a Why technique. Not too? My hands are always cold. cold. Um, okay, there's lots of people, some, but Debbie says she goes to fairs and people sit, sit on them and things like that. Sit on them, that's warm exactly it, what we, Scott we, just uh, said, sit careful, on don't it. don't leave it in a really hot place or it starts a bit like a window uh, in the sunlight because it'll start to cook it. So it's oh. really the warmth of your hands you need. I mean, it's, this would be but if you've like always that. got cold hands, you're going to yeah. have to warm your hands. You're going like to have this. to warm your hands. What about like putting your washing your hands with some nice soapy water or getting hand warmer in the first? Yes. Warm your hands up with warm hand your hands warmer. Or sit on it, um, put it inside a packet, inside the trousers. Hot water bottle <laughs> on your hands, hands then and do there. it, and then can do it several times through this roller. If you've got, if you haven't got your clay roller, then it's mm. it is a good until, investment until it, it hasn't got this frilly edge. It's yeah. got to have a smooth edge, and then it then it's conditioned, and it means all the plus sizes are mixed in. Now. Um, this, you can see, this isn't good enough. I need to, need to smooth my finger, really. I should have done that before I put it on. Smooth your finger along this edge to make sure this edge is nice and smooth before you cut it and lay it on the what, back Which, the one of the frame? Yeah, you this, I should have, I should have, yeah. But if you're it really isn't good enough, be, it is. If you're going to be good, that's what you do. Okay, all and right. And you just smooth with your finger. You're your own worst critic, yeah. you, do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, there's pe people of the Clay Expert watching me going, oh my God, what's she doing? So, next thing is, cutting with a frame around the black and then you're hiding there's no wire coming through okay a nice smooth black surface and then I'm just cutting a nice frame again it's I could I could have left this isn't quite smooth enough but it will have to do I'm going to leave about four or five millimeters around the fr as the frame okay and again try and make sure your polymer clay is is um, is sharp and neat before you put it on I would have made sure that was a little bit squarer Sorry, my head is over. I I'm don't know, it's on. fine. I just think you're mad thinking that it's not straight enough. It's got to be perfect. Yeah, or else you notice it. Um, there we are, something like that. So again, make sure that what you should do is smooth the edge of your fingers. So you're like using that. your fingers to manipulate it and just keep and it cut nice. It and uh, you smooth it down like that. Softening the edges, yes. aren't you? And then just making sure there's no frilly cut edges or, and it's really nice edge. That's what you should do with that one before you put it down. That's a little bit one key, so again, take, take it back and just make another cut. Can you overcut yeah. it? That's the danger, yeah, like careful. cutting hair. Worst comes to worst, <laughs> you put it on another, another block, you cut this off with another okay. block. And that's the piece ready for baking. So in the oven it goes mm. for at least 30 minutes. Keep mm. checking it. Uh, I don't need to make mm. any drill holes or anything at this point. No, because I'm going to do that later. Because you're going to put it on some... Mm. Ah, yeah. okay, so, so it's baking away. I'm going to clear this section up. Okay. Um, if you give me a few minutes, then we'll move on to the next, next moment. Is that okay? Okay, absolutely. Mm. I'm going to give you a fabulous bundle. We're going to give you the baking tray, I think something, no, and the cutters uh, in a bundle together. Now, if you'd like to bake your polymer clay pieces and you don't have the pan to do it with, uh, now... Can you remember the other day, who was it who said to me it was £29 they found this baking tray for? It was Anne. Uh, now, you might, have, you might be in the same boat. You, I'm just going to move. I forgot the antenna. The little <laughs> balls, yeah. <laughs> it's my fault for referencing them. 
Rachel was going to pop some silver balls onto the polymer clay. Do you put yes, it? Yes, very quickly. Do you want to do your... You put it yes. on the polymer clay. Show now, your mat, it's lovely. I'm going to give you the beading <laughs> tray, your, your um, bead baking tray. It's not just for beads, it's for all sorts of things and specifically for polymer clay. You can use a regular baking tray, but once you've used it for polymer clay, you can't use it for cooking. And this one's particularly handy and I'll show you for why you get the little lips that come out. Now, those are great for laying pendants and rings and things like that. Things that you don't want to squash down. It could be that you're doing the um, little charms or anything like that, and you just want to lay them nice and flat. Now, if you've got your beads here, you put them across on your rods and you bake them and you can bake lots of beads all in one go. You can turn this up the other way and rest big pendants or big projects against it. You can use those angles here to cut your polymer clay with your blades at a fabulous angle. And I'm also going to give you the blade. Oh, you, and you, by the way, you get your roller in here as well. You get your um, acetate sheet. Make sure you take that out before you bake your clay. Really important. You do not bake with that in there. Now, you also get your cutters. We've seen Rachel using these the whole way through. You've got your corrugated cutters. You've got your flexible cutter. And you have got your rigid cutter. So you get that really striking line with the rigid. The soft one gives you that nice bowed line, which you make the grass with that Rachel just did. And the corrugated gives you that fabulous finish. You've got the finger guard there as well. Now, both of these together should be £17.90. Shopping with us today for polymer clay goodies. These will go in any of any type of oven at all, and we're giving you the both for just nine ninety five. Don't forget the blades were seven ninety five at a, a JM price tag on their own, which, by the way, is fantastic value. You might want to replenish your blades every couple of months, so you might want to get this deal as well. The more baking trays, the better, I reckon. If you get into polymer mm. clay, yes. you're just going to want them, Rachel. Aren't yes. You? Um, Yes, but also you might have some drying with um, glaze on, so I have some baking and then others will be, you can keep them on the rods and when you've got painted them with glaze, they need 24 hours and they to be purely oh. dry. And so you can leave one baking tray with beads um, with glaze on and the other ones, you, you'll have another tray that you can still bake with, otherwise you're a bit stuck. And the pins are so useful, um, actually. Uh, for and you get a pack of loads of these, I think it's 10 or, 10 or more pins. Those can be expensive mm. in craft shops on their own, actually, yes. can't they? I've what tried are you doing? Using, Scott, I've tried using down. one millimetre wire and you can use it but the point you see is so useful and it's such it's steel so it's much harder isn't it going through beads. It's um, yeah. what he's just done. Oh my goodness. You've got but that's <laughs> oh, the price together. you just gave for the cutters. That's you're amazing. buying the cutters and you're getting the baking yes. tray for free. That's really good. Oh my goodness, that's it's really, insane. really good value. And you've got a roller, that's a lovely roller. I don't understand what you've got there. Now, this is used mm. as a roller, mm. isn't it? Tell yes. me why and how. You can make long, long rolls of clay. Just um, by squishing yes, just with that. And you can make long segments for the beads. I did that with this um, necklace. I just this made a one long here. roll and then just cut it into chunks. Uh, for that. That's with Natalia's butterfly stamp, by the way, if anyone wants She's to. She's got, know. I love those butterfly Beautiful. stamps, aren't they? Mm. Gorgeous. Now, we've only got 100 or two of these. Uh, if you, what happens if I just ordered the ordered these though, Scott? And now this deal, you've done these and that for free. Can you can't you speak to the call centre? I'm just thinking what I would be thinking now. Uh, now you need to grab this quickly. You are buying the blades. You are getting the baking tray for free. It's a ridiculous deal today. VGG C08. We've only got. Uh, we only had 108 of these, and there are big queues on the phone lines. Well done to everybody that's got these. Uh, please make sure you check out baskets. We've got some more polymer clay colours while Rachel's getting uh, ready as well. Okay. Still availability of this one, but we are very very busy at the moment. There are about 2,500 check baskets you need to uncheck your basket otherwise you're going to miss out now I'm going to give you some essential colors I'm going to give you some rhino gray this is great if you're mixing colors it's also a nice neutral background it's oh, your yes. sand isn't yes. it and you can mix it with a bit of white and incidentally I'm going to give you the white as well uh, I'm also going to give you that beautiful 18 karat gold it's got a sparkle mm. to it it's so gorgeous then you are going to get your burnt umber and you are also going to get your black. So these are all staple colours. And Rachel, it's such a good idea. Once you get, because once you start polymer clay, would you find it's quite addictive? Yes, because it's it's, it's a um, very tactile medium, and there's plenty of colour in it. And you're creating pieces very quickly. It's very satisfying in that way. 
Um, people of all ages can use it. Um, I, it's, it's, I really have enjoyed doing this DI uh, project. So I actually want to bring, and hopefully, if I'm good enough, <laughs> make another one. I would love to too. Show, you see. So I've already got some you ideas. Too. You know what, Rachel? With those sort of colours. With these ones here, the nudes, mm -hmm. be nice, wouldn't it? Kids can use this, you're a mum, and I think of all ages, you're, you've got teenage daughters and sons, and you've got a four-year-old boy as well, and I think actually it will stretch out, it'd be quite a nice thing for them to do together, because it's quite hard yes. to find things that the whole family can do. The whole do. family can do, and it will appeal to everyone um, with whatever they want to make. Yeah, mm. perfect for that. And we know your daughter's just out of, uh, out of pins and plasters, oh, so I suspect she's been trying to I'm fill really her time with all sorts of, of things. I'm really proud of her, she's, um, she's done so well. She had an operation on Tuesday, so lots of love to you, Gemma, darling. Well done, Gemma, yeah. got lots of luck and love mm. to you and hope you're getting better and eating lots of chocolate. <laughs> now we're going to give you all of these colours for £7.95 which is bananas by the way. The cheapest I could find them for was £2.50 each so that's five, six. So you, no, hang on, how much were they each? They were more than that weren't they? How much did I see these for? Sort of yeah but even that, even so that's ten. Ten pounds there were just those two mm. isn't it? Were well, those four? Mm. Then you've got an extra one. So this is incredible incredible value it is and think how much you can make um, I mean with those packs that number of packs in fact I made all this jewelry and the stages so you know you can my make gosh you've made yes. stacks yes. and you've you had loads move. left over mm. to store mm. seven pounds and 95 pence now we're going to go to a very quick break so that we can fix this overhead <laughs> camera uh, <laughs> and see the rest of Rachel's designs. Now you do need to keep your text messages coming right now because I am going to have five minute question and answer with Rachel um, during the show today. So the more uh, questions we get in, the better. I've got a star by coming up for you after the break as well. We've got loads of goodies and treats coming up. If you'd like to ask uh, Rachel anything in particular, you need to get your questions through to her right now. We will be back with more Lady Norris. Uh, go and have a little Google of Thank Rachel you. Norris and see even more wonderful designs. Thank we'll you. see you after this. Join guest designers Debbie Bulford and Rachel Norris to explore the endless possibilities of combining polymer clay and wire work. This DVD guides you through a variety of projects and will give you the inspiration you need to create your own designs. Advance your jewellery making and fuse your talents together with this amazing DVD. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre. Get creative with Jewellery Maker. The fastest way to shop with Jewellery Maker is by going to our website. Just click on the sign up button. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the Watch Live button on the front page. You can also use our Refine tool and narrow down your search. Once you've found an item that you like, just simply click on the Buy Now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day and still only pay one p and Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. When shopping with Jewellery Maker, you can add as many items to your order in one day and only pay one postage and packaging charge. We have two delivery options. Standard delivery at just £2.95 and you'll receive your parcel within four to six days. Or opt for our premium delivery at just £4.95 and you'll receive your parcel within three to four days. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Are you new to jewellery making? Then tune in to our Designer Inspiration Show every day between 1 and 5 for our new two sections. We'll help you get started and give you all the knowledge and inspiration you need. Also, we'll be introducing you to a new medium every day. Whether you're a beginner or intermediate, we've got everything you need to get you started with a new hobby. The Designer Inspiration Show, only on Jewellery Maker. Welcome back. Now I'm going to give you a star by which is our wire, our overhead, 
Overhead camera? What's an overhead camera? Overhead camera is what I meant. Is now fixed and we're ready to go. Have a look. <laughs> Who knows what comes up? Well, I mean, yesterday I made up words, Rachel, didn't I? Uh, now have a look. We've got your one mil wire. We've got 100 metres of silver, one mil wire. IYJ M43. Now we've only got 30 of these. And we're going to give you a phenomenal price tag. So if you love your wire work pieces, if you're just super inspired by Rachel today, if you bought Rachel's DVD, you are going to need as much wire as you can get because you are going to be absolutely addicted. I'm going to give you a fabulous deal, but you do need to check out Baskets. We are super busy this afternoon. The last wire deal that we gave you today sold out. There are no more remaining. At 27 pounds and 95 pence, you are getting 100 meters of silver one mil wire. It's our star buy today. Make sure you're on the phone line, staying in the queue. I know it's a free phone number. I know we have queues today. 0800 666 is what you need to be dialing from the UK landline. If you're shopping from abroad, click uh, on the right hand side of your screen to change uh, your currency. And we are shipping all over the world right now. Um, uh, now, we uh, we have limited amounts of this at £27.95. You can use your debit card or your credit card and you will receive a 30-day, no questions asked, money back guarantee. And that's with everything that you shop for here at Jewelry Maker. If this is the first purchase you've ever made with us, you'll get a free tutorial DVD, a free step-by-step -step book and a free, MJ, free JM Hub magazine. Wait, I don't know what, I'm spitting feathers today, my darlings. Uh, now, uh, if you do want Rachel's DVD, you are going to have to look quick sharp because it is very close to selling out. We have about 10% of the stock remaining of this. That is it. it. was only back in stock today. It's a three-parter, so you've got just under three hours, three wonderful discs and one incredible award-winning designer. Rachel Norris specializes in wire work. Here's that lovely lady at work. Uh, her work has appeared in the Victoria and Albert Museum and she has had a BBC TV documentary made up about her. Uh, she features regularly here as a guest designer on Jewelry Maker and we are absolutely delighted to have her on board today. 19 pounds and 95 pence for three hours. Very intricate, very very detailed, every element of each wire work piece is covered. Rachel was passionate that she didn't want to leave you guessing or hanging because these are detailed pieces. So every single element of each piece you can see. Have a little look at what you could hope to look at this. <gasps> Look at that. Look, even, even down to the very, very basic makeup. Nothing's basic. Nothing is basic. Look at that. All intricate, all wonderful. And you can see why we love Rachel so much. You've got the phoenix. You've got the wonderful peridot and leaf bangle. Beautiful. I love that Rachel uses lots of peridot because it's definitely my favorite. We've got loads of text messages. So uh, please make sure you are, and if you want to uh, text Rachel, sorry, we are going to have a question and answer section. Uh, now we've only got 81 of Rachel Norris's DVD. We've got less than that actually, way less than that, Scott's saying. Uh, we've got way less. We've got about 10% left, uh, 19.95. Now we've still got a few of the wire. You do need to hurry with that, 27 pounds and 95 pence. So should we go on back over to Rachel? Let's do it, we're ready. Our overhead camera is ready as well. Is Lady Norris ready? Yes. She's ready, we're, but we're all ready. <laughs> We're all ready to go. Uh, now, Rachel, at what point are we at with this fabulous I've piece? I've forgotten to add the antennae. So what I've done is cut down some head pins okay. um, and made a little curve. And this can be done at, at this actual point? At this point. stage, yes. Okay. So what I'm doing is lifting up. Just as long up. as it's before baking, Rachel. Yeah, before yeah. baking. And then what I'm doing is lifting up and embedding this gently in. It's a ball head pin, yeah? Yes, those are really useful embedding into place and I'm scooping it in underneath 
So you are. I, I noticed that you're going from an angle and almost hook it in rather mm. than rather yeah. than stab it from the upside. I mean, because I my temptation would just be to pop it in. Yeah, it uh, will fall out. You need a hook in it. Yeah. So that it, um, in fact, get a quite a little. Yes, that's hook. right, isn't it? It will fall, fall out once it's so baked. So I've got a kind of hooked up. Literally scoop it in under the back of the butterfly. I've made a bit of a mark here. So use your fingers. If um, it looks loose. Um, liquid liquid polymer clay, just a drop of it around the base of the antennae will work, um, um, and or another um, blob of polymer clay. I basically stack it in so once it bakes, it's fairly solid in. Okay. I'm pushing that in. Oh, that's better. It's gone in. There we are. You can feel it, can you? Yeah, and it's, it's gone in, and it's fairly solid, and that will bake in nicely now. Perfect. There's the antennae. So. There we go. Ready so to go into the oven. Next stage. Now, Rachel, you said about the drill holes. You do mm. that after, after rather than pre-bake. After baking. Why do you do it after rather than pre-bake? Because actually, I get a really precise hole. Because when you do it before baking, you get spreading of the clay and slightly, it slightly sort of spreads. It and might softens. pucker a little bit. And you'll it? get like um, you won't get a precise diameter hole. Okay. And some of the holes will look uneven. And um, for, example, for that reason, I do it afterwards. Okay. Now you're using now. the reamer that comes with the larger tool. Well, kit. I am. Um, it's actually got Dremel drills in it, so Dremel little drills. I put in the little hand tool. You can do yeah. that now. If you yeah. don't have p that particular brand, you can go to oh, a normal. Yes. We sell Dremel, Home, so it's um, fine. A certain they, it, it, they, they sell, they call, they're called precision drill Little, sets. Yes, yes. And they range from 0.8 up to sort of about two millimeter. Don't think the big DIY yeah, stores, yes. can't you? And you can put them in your reamer from the toolkit. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't got a Dremel, um, that's tremendously useful. Uh -huh. now, obviously, Dremels make this job very, very quick. Yes. It's wonderful. But this but does it just as this easily. Does it as well. So, what I've, I've got um, an old one that I had before I got the JM one, but they work exactly the same way. Okay. And you can just put the, the drill bits in there uh -huh. and use them. And it so, grows some. So, decide where, this is a, a, a test piece, but decide where you want your holes. And basically, I, if you can see, again, we need a white background. Can you see the holes? And let me no. show you why we're Again, using the holes. Let's mm. show you this piece as well. So you mm. need the holes to be in position for you to grip yes. on with the wire. You're not actually going to be putting any um, any jump rings or anything like that through it. It's for you some to sort of angle background. your wire. So Rachel, what would you say? You've got about a centimetre Sorry round. About this. I just need some sort of background so you can see the holes more easily. Can you see that on? Can you see Let's that? have a little look. Sorry about the rubbish bit of paper. Uh, yeah. yeah, we you can see. see the holes now. Yeah. So are the only yeah. ones that are close together are the corner ones. Yes. You see, well, uh, hopefully the photographs that you've got. These are all the, the ideas I had of where to put the flowers before. <laughs> beforehand. It's nice to sketch so though, I did isn't sketch it? it out. Mm. So, um, taking a little hand drill. Okay. Um, you have this in the large. This tool in the large toolkit. Again, really, really, You'll really pick useful. Your all. You can yeah. use it in so many different ways. It's such a useful tool. I know Liz Welsh she uses it um, for her friendly plastic and other, you can sort of lift things up. Yeah, yeah. It's really, really useful. That's in the large tool kit that you stock here. Yes, really, it is. Really, really good. Mm -hmm. uh, make a little mark, and I'm just going to just do one. Just oh, to so show you're you. marking with the awl? Yes. That's because a good it idea, helps Rachel. The drill, um, helps the drill sort of uh, position. position. So, little mark there. Um, and then with the hand drill, or do your you Dremel. Do you do all the way around, though, if you're at home yeah. or do you do it one by one? Oh, look well I'm just going to show you just That's one because point. once you don't know how to do one you'll <laughs> you find the rest of them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then it's gone through literally. It's Isn't so that easy. Wonderful? And it's a clean, clear, precise hole if you do it afterwards. Perfect. You see a piece yes. as big, if you forgive me, a piece as big as this if you're going through trying to make a, um, a hole before baking um, I always worry a little bit because okay. you know the clay is very soft and, and it can just break it off, can't it? So I've just done that with the with this little hand drill. So you've done two, ready, and have you ready, gone all the way through? Yeah, it's ready to put a bale on. You see, oh, you see that's fab. what I've done with that. So yeah. with this one, I put a bale on. It's a big lump of clay with exactly the same thing, and with this one, I'm going to weave round and make a frame for it. Fantastic. So they're exactly the same, they're made in exactly the same way. This is a big lump of clay and I put a backing piece on. How did you bulk it out? Did you put scrap clay in the any middle? Any old scrap clay mm -hmm. in the middle. So, and then just put a layer over, smooth it round and then put a backing piece on, smooth it round my fingers, bake it all in one go and then you can put the drill holes through ready to put a bale on. So pretty. So that's what you do with that. So I'm going to just move, take that away and we're going to okay. continue to make a frame mm -hmm. on this one. Um, 
taking a large sort of 80 centimetre length of one millimetre wire, mm -hmm. I'm going to just start you off making a veil of frame. This is a method is dealt with in the um, polymer clay fusion DVD as well. So I do use it to make up the butterfly uh, framing for okay. that. Um, you take a, I'm going to take a very short length because but you'll need a long length in practice. Okay, to be so honest. just for the purpose of demonstration. Yes, a 0.4 millimetre wire. In, in um, would it be a couple of metres if we were at home? I would probably go for about four metres. About four metres. Yeah, because okay. I, I will if I'm lucky, I can get the bail. But to be honest, you really want to be able to run out here. Okay. You don't want to be running out halfway up because it's awkward. You've got to sort of tuck it in. And you can do it, but you have to tuck it in. Make just your own in life easier and yes, go extra. All the way through. Okay. But if you find your wires getting too scrappy and raggy, um, cut it off and, and do it. Okay. okay. So what I'm going to do, this would be a lot, much longer piece in practice, to be honest, is start winding. Okay, if we pop it there, that'll be, start sorry. Hand, yeah, <laughs> hand winding. I'm only going to do to one bit of wire well, either side, really. Sorry, oh gosh, there can we you go. see? Look, there we are, look, we can yeah. see up there. And then hand wind round so that we basically got the space in between two holes. And I would have, you know, you're working with a much longer piece of wire in practice. So the space in between two holes is about two centimetres. So I was just going to quickly wind on. Oh, I, I know. I see what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. And then basically what I want to do is anch anchor two pieces at the same, s at the same time um, because then it's much easier to wind round. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Um, oh yes, I've got those, the, the emery boards and things like that out. Remember to smooth your clay down if you want to seal it with um, the wonderful um, glazes glaze, yeah. that we've got here. So you glazed everything. After, I didn't did glaze. I, that's all unglazed. I glazed Natal the piece I made with Natalia's beautiful yeah. butterfly stamp. Um, Sometimes it's nice to have that. But did you glaze around the edge? Oh no, you've used. No, I've used gleam <gasps> on that. You see, How lovely. and that's what I've used. Um, I, if we've got a chance, are we that's that frosting. Isn't yes, it? I've literally um, scratched. Oh, what I didn't do with this on um, with this piece you just rub on the gleam and I've scratched it with my fingernails to make more of a texture like grass so literally I'll, if we've got time I can show you so that piece is now um, wound in between right. two holes let's have a look here okay. and what I'm gonna do is just again I would have had a really long piece of wire and pass it through yeah. sorry one of the holes a bigger hole any hole and that's the one you do and then hold it, holding it quite close to the, the, the um, polymer clay, wrap it round once and then keep on wrapping and it, that's cinched that in place. Again do exactly the same for the other side and you're doing this all the way around the frame as you keep going, all the way around the frame as you get to a hole in the polymer clay, just pass the wire up through the hole once. Um, and it all adds strength, you see it's strength in numbers. I know it's not 0.4 millimetre wire, but you're, you're attaching it at multiple points. Press this close against the clay. Press it with your finger so it's nice and straight. And then wrap a couple of times uh, or, and keep on wrapping. So carry on up with the, the centimetre. Yes. About a centimetre, do you think? Well, centimetre? just up to the next yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. And then wrap in. And basically, you're going, to add, you're going to finish off with a piece that looks like like that. Okay. Okay. So the piece that looks like that is what you should end up with. And I'm just going to start to make the bale. Now, um, do we have time to make the bale or do we know how to make bales? I mean, the we for the bale. Just to, well, you can explain through it. We've yes, got five because, minutes. Yes, I really want to be able to, you know, finish it off for you. So basically, shape the bale into a nice leaf or teardrop shape, depending on what you want to put it onto. Uh -huh. And then do um, the two by two figure of eight weave. Basically, yeah. That so means you go over twice two around the frame, over um, to the underside of what you're. If you're passing from the overside, pass it to the underside, twice around this side, Back over, over and under. So it's that. One two under. One yeah, two like under. One, yes, and two, you could do. If you want to do a quicker weave, go three by three, three by three before each pass across. And it makes a slightly more spread out weave, you use less wire and it's quicker to do. Okay. So, you know, it Make your own life easy to begin yes, with if you feel so. So you've got that, because I don't really want to show that again. Mm. We've yeah, never seen absolutely. It. Um, and what we need to do next is bend it round to make a bail. Okay. I can't remember which way I bend it. Here we go. Did I bend it from front to back? You've gone from front to back and curled at the front on that one. I think, yeah. 
This one you've gone. So it doesn't really matter. You from back to front, I yeah. think. If I just have it, it, sorry. This one here? Yes, that one, my darling, because then I can, I just want to achieve that same little curl. What I want to do is achieve that same little curl at the back. And what I have done, in fact, is bend from back to front. And it really doesn't matter. You can do it either way because you can, it, you can make a bail beautifully either way. So it really doesn't matter if I bend it that way and over or that way and over. But this way, I'm just going to bend around my fingers. Just use your fingers. I was just going to say, so what soft. did you use? This wire, you can use um, a gizmo mandrel. Mm -hmm. You can use a knitting needle, a pencil, anything like that. Handle of you. <laughs> anything, anything circular if you feel unhappy with, the, with your fingers. But this JMR is so soft. You can actually do it with with the fingers there like that. And then curl. Curl in. And you've got some wire left over from when you wove the bail at either end. So I just basically put in a new piece of wire when I did make that bail. I cut those two pieces off here and here and then used a fresh piece of wire to go up the bail. Yes, I should have said that, but just remember to do that and then you've got enough to finish the bail. And also it's fresh wire and it looks nice because the bail is the piece on the show. Now you can, um, next thing you do, you want to do a really neat attachment for the bail. Um, I'm just passing the wire, there's a little natural gap here, front to back, a couple of times. Natural gap in between the bail. Can you see? If I pass it through like that, a couple of times. And then I can use this wire to continue winding up here. I'm just going to attach this wire next. This is coming from the back or the base of the bail frame, pushing in once around here, through that little virtual space in between. And you can add a little gemstone at this stage, you can run gemstones up through the, and around the bail. There's so many things you can do to add pattern and detail to these bales. A couple of times, that should be strong enough. If you feel like a third one is necessary, do. And then keep on winding up this, up this um, side because you're going to turn that into a little curl detail to hide some of the wire work at the front of the bail. So can you see how I'm doing that? I'm trying to do yeah. it so you can see. Just like you did pushing before, just pushing up finger. against and around and around and yes. around. And just making sure each push, each, each wrap is as tight as possible. So you can see how I'm doing that. It's a lovely and easy thing to do. Just make sure each side is the same. I'm just going to do one side to show you. and uh, you can do as, as long as you like to make a curl. I'm going to go about two centimetres perhaps. And there we go. How do you stop that from unravelling now at that point? It's really It will stay, will it, once you curl? Secure, yes. Okay. If you, it's like a little spring, but it's, it's not going to spring out of shape. It's pretty good actually. Mm -hmm. Now what I'm going to do is press in with my thumb, cut close with flush cutters, and then stroke that round with the pliers to make a really, really smooth surface. So it's not going to catch on anything. If I go like that, there's no edge of a wire. Oh, I see. Um, and then what I need to do next, oh, it doesn't really matter. As long as I cut both sides of the end at yeah, the same like two centimetre length, just make sure you do the other side the same. same. Curl in. Um, um, it's heartbreaking. To, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut that the same. So when I make this later, I won't mess it up. And it's not been wasted. No, then I haven't wasted it. If I can give this to someone and like it. So, um, there we go. That's the same. So, what I'll do with this, um, again, how you curl in front of the bale is up to you. Um, what I've done, I have done an outwards one. Um, starting at the end, curl around once. That's not quite circular, so I can cut that off to make oh. a circle. Because the first start, if you don't, you know, sometimes it won't make it circular. Then with this, you can, you can manipulate it with your fingers. Crown it round. Mm. And then press it down into shape. There we go. You just do the other one the same. Okay, perfect. Thank okay, you and so that's, much. that's the pendant finished. Now, do you want to talk about the, the sides of that? How we yeah, do that? Let's very, we'll just talk We've only got through. a couple of minutes, but if you could talk no, us through talk that, us that through. would be wonderful. And Rachel, you've had lots of text messages as well, uh, so we're going to mm. have a couple of minutes on that. If you have a look at the shoulders here of uh, the wonderful larger puffy pendants, 
then you can see, and this would make a, a wonderful trinket box top, wouldn't it? The lid of a trinket box. Have a look. Do you know, it's just mm. magical, isn't it? For some reason, it's reminding me of the Disney film Tangled. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen that one. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh. You must. Your son will like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all lovely with oh. waterfalls and when she's in the tower and they have to go through all these, all the shrubbery and it reminds me of that. It's really pretty. With this one, what I've done is made a gizmo coil, um, a two short lengths of gizmo coil and then recoiled them but carried on making a simple coil, added on another bit of gizmo coil, 0.6 wire, and sort of made a kind of like a barbell shape, a, d a dumbbell shape basically with two gizmo coils and a straight bit of wire in between. They're all made out of the same piece of wire to add strength. The core wire is one millimetre and that's 0.6 on the outside. Then what I did, I had a strip of polymer clay and I wrapped it round and then smoothed oh, it into shape. I have the got coil. the piece, but I don't think we've got time. But you basically wrap it round and then smooth, smooth the edge so you can't see a line anywhere on there. That's just oh, your you can fingers. just see it where the line was. Mm -hmm. And you smooth it with your fingers down and then lay a piece of grass over it, put a piece of 1.5 mm, 1 through it, curve Throw it into it. shape. So that's all, you curve it into shape and yeah, you and bake it, because it in the oven. Because it's gizmo coil, it will. Oh, so yes. you can bake all of that. You bake all that in the oven. So I hung it from the oven, the oven grill, the grid. Oh, that's a good and idea. Hang it, yeah. And so it baked into, into a curve. Perfect. So, so you can actually use that. your the little um, light, I know what yeah, you mean, the yeah, little the kind thing of, that you can get yeah, out. The kind of tray rest. Just thing. Yeah. And then hung it from that and that's how that was made. Um, to make this one, I've drilled two holes through and I've made a bale up like that, threaded the, the, these through the holes and made the bale up in exactly the same way we did the other pendant. That's how I did that one. Now, so, uh, a lot it. of you are asking about the gizmo. We've got it in stock for you. We've got the coiling gizmo, and this is your first coiling gizmo. It's got the two rods, it's got the medium and the small, and we've got your uh, gizmo while we're at projects at DVD. So, if you'd like to learn how to make the coils, if you're not sure how to do that, uh, the coils that Rachel's just talking about, or if you've always wanted a gizmo, or perhaps you're trying to get your best friend into uh, jewellery making with you, it's a great gift because it's so easy to gizmo coil and yes. it just looks so professional. If you can do this in gizmo mm. coil, I promise you it's that easy. It really is not mm. intricate, it's not I've difficult, it's probably the easiest thing you can do that looks the most effective. Rachel's next project includes a lot it. of yes. gizmo coils, mm. doesn't it? Mm. Have a look at this. That's from the um, Gizmo Basics number one DVD, that necklace. I thought I'd bring it in so you can have a piece to oh, show. Thank you. You can show it when you do that, um, you show that DVD off. So How fabulous, yeah. thank you so much. So that's the so if you want to be able to create that, you need this DVD, £6.95. Mm -hmm. So you're just basically paying £2 for the, um, for the gizmo, because the DVD is £4.95 on its own. There's Rachel and Lucy at work mm -hmm. making some fantastic pieces. Have a look. That's Laura Binding's wonderful That's Laura Binding's And then I put the coils on top as the <gasps> embellishment, but um, Laura did, the, um, she designed the, uh, she was the initial design for that. Gosh, that's a long time ago. <laughs> How fantastic. <laughs> it's funny seeing yourself, isn't it? I always do that. Time has passed. <laughs> £6.95 pence is the price tag for this wonderful bundle. As I'm sure you are very aware, we have another project uh, of Rachel Norris's to bring you this afternoon. Can we have a cheeky little look? Let's go okay. on then. Let's have a cheeky peek. Uh, Tom's got it on there. Uh, uh, have you snapped away or should we take some of the... Let's take one of these pieces. If you would like to create something a That's little bit piece. like this, We're going to work wow! Making the central butterfly there. Oh my word! You're going to be able to create this fabulous butterfly. There is a, a huge other piece as well. Yes. Uh, very exciting indeed. Six ninety five is the price tag for the coiling gizmo, and there is gizmo work in this piece as well. So you're gonna need a gizmo. Look at all of the little the little butterflies in this one making up, I love it. That's mm -hmm. coming up momentarily. Now, uh, we've got some text messages for you, Rachel. Gosh. The first one is coming, there you go, you take That's that right. away. Uh, and it's from Barbara in Hampshire, and Barbara is saying, hi all, can Rachel explain how to make a longer piece of coil right. than the mandrel is? Loads of ways. Um, you can cut down a coat hanger, you can um, go on, undo it all. Yeah, a coat hanger. It's supposed to be brass coat hangers, so the strong ones. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can use 1.5 millimeter jewelry maker wire, but just work hard on it. Yeah. You can 
wind directly onto that. One mil wire, yes, one yeah. Mil wire. Um, you, and there's, there's two ways. So make um, your own gizmo out of that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you do need to probably mount two brackets basically in a row mm -hmm. because the wire, long, longer mandrels will whip around and you can actually hurt yourself. So okay, so just be careful. Two brackets in a row will help keep the wire in a straight line um, okay. as you're making it. So in that long. So you can make your huh. own mandrel out of 1.5 or 1.25 millimeter JM wire. Okay. Uh, or a brass coat hanger cut down. I have some specially made for me as well, but there, is, there is a product which I th I'm hoping I have told Hannah about that makes really long coils. Yeah, um, So Perfect. I'm hoping she's investigating that one, so we'll see how it goes. Perfect. Mm. I'm trying to think what's really, what's long that you could get, and the only thing that I can think of that extends is, you know, those tent poles that you undo and fold up. We yeah. could make a big it's one out be, of that. It's just got to be strong enough because there's a lot of tension to involved. Keep, yeah. But if you mount one or two, it's got to be two or three gizmo brackets in a row because the end of the wire just literally whips around and you can really hurt yourself. Yeah, yeah, you've got so to be careful It's got to be held in that line. Thank you. Right, another question. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Barbara. Uh, we've got lots and lots of text messages. Keep them coming. Cheryl in Devon says, what is the difference between the flush cutters and the normal cutters, please? I'm loving the demo. You're so talented. Oh, thank you. Well, flush cutters have, as they say, a flush cut Here's your cut flushers. Edge. And where's and your regulars And ordinary there. cutters. Um, they go kind of like that yes. way, don't they? Basically, what happens with this, this will tend to squash the wire, and you have a triangle-shaped end. There we go. Yeah. Um, and this one, if I can cut a piece it's of wire, flush. it will then cut a sharp, us. straight across piece of end, uh, wire. Okay, um, real there, look. Yeah, that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? That would be good. Yeah. <laughs> now you have to zoom in on this one. Um, so, here's a, here's a normal cutter. And here's your regulars, slight angle and a oh, bit squished. Those are quite good. <laughs> those are brand new though, those we need new. just get those um, out. Well, I need some ones that have been around for a bit, but there you go. I mean, I don't know. That's still actually quite good. That's kind but of quite good then flush, the flush cut. cutters get flush it, cut, and you really can good. get in a yeah. little bit closer. Near or and closer. That's, a, that's a sharper, straighter edge. But these are actually quite good. Yeah. But um, this is guaranteed. So when you make a, a set of jump rings, I have got anything. You're going to get an easier cut um, as to well. Make, yeah. If you want to make your own jump, jump rings, rings, you get a straight line you rather than saw cutting. Cut them, like, don't you? Like, like that, and then turn the, the pliers and cut the other way and you've got a flush cut jump ring both sides. Fantastic. Law reminding and demonstration of that one. It's a really good technique. Thank you, Rachel. I've got Anushka who says, top tip, pop, Anushka. pop, good, good. packet <laughs> of clay in your bra to warm it. Great design, so oh. <laughs> It depends how big your yes, boobs actually, are. That though, might be quite a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> you know, do you know From something? Can I just tell you, Anushka, <laughs> boys only in that gallery, so can you imagine? They're, they're making like little 17 year old. Ooh, well, someone easy. will have to make some polymer clay underwear at some point. Send place. us a or, photo or of that, says Scott. Something. Horrible boy. You can do it with wine and, and um, you could do a kind of real Madonna. I mean, actually, we could Natalia, make, Natalia, and like, you know, those could make utility leather, belts like Sarah Croft, Lara Croft. Ooh, we yeah. can have a utility <laughs> bra with little pockets. I need a slightly larger size to contain me, but it would it would do. <laughs> Goodness me, I don't know. Uh, Rachel uh, says anonymous. I adore uh, the talk necklace. Will you be making it very soon? Overcast today in our area, so we'll oh, wait so for the blue so. sky and see yes. you in Padstow. Oh, I love yeah, Padstow. I know we're very really, really close to all those beautiful places. I'm really lucky. Really she lucky loves. Lady. So she's loving the talk necklace. This one, I'm guessing, mm. yeah. There we go. Well, so um, I think you probably sent that before Rachel showed you. So thank you so much from Anonymous in Padstow for that one. Is there another one? Here we go. They're siphoning through them now there's a lot of bra. <laughs> <laughs> Julie in Gloucestershire says, oh my word. How amazing watching this is bringing my mojo back. Fantastic. Thank you, Julie. She's well, that makes it all work. all that hard work. It makes it worth it when you get a message like that. But you yeah. are wonderful. We've all been waiting a long time. Uh, Rachel, as you know, uh, if you're watching at home, is fantastic. If you want some new inspiration, look no further. Do not go anywhere. We're going to continue. I'm going to give you all the treats and goodies you need for Rachel's next project, and we're going to let Rachel get ready. So I'm going to go Thank on you. over there, and I will be back uh, in a sec. Now, I know that you are all um, waiting with bated breath to see exactly how you create Rachel's masterpieces uh, from the second um, the second project as well. We are going to get on to that in a moment. Uh, first, I'm going to bring you uh, a couple of items under 
under £10 whilst Rachel gets ready. Now, we have tried very hard uh, to incorporate gemstones that Rachel likes to use in today's show and elements that Rachel likes to use. So I'm going to give you some treats now under £10. Now, these Labradorites are fabulous. And we know that these are brand new, by the way. Uh, they've never been on air before. Now these are a real treat because they have that wonderful paleness and Rachel, as you saw the picture of how where Rachel's inspire, inspirations come from, I think you've got all these wonderful sort of pebbly colours, very natural, very beautiful, very earthy and that's kind of what Rachel's designs tend to stand for. Inspirations from nature, the flight of a bird, uh, the wonderful view from Cornwall where she lives, you know all of these kinds of gemstones like Labradorite, uh, all those twinkling sparkling gems of distinction feature very much in Rachel's pieces if you love what Rachel does and you would like a little bit of that gorgeousness in your collections then get yourself dining for this wonderful strand it's brand new it's going under 10 pounds it's absolutely perfect for things like rings now uh, do stay tuned for Ed tonight who has the most beautiful strand of rose quartz absolutely stunning but Danny, Danny showed it to me earlier and I thought, wow, really pretty. Now, um, I'm jealous that he had it, basically. I had a bit of a tantrum. Have a look. <laughs> Have a look. At this. Should be £9.45. That is under £10, though, Tom. Tom? Who's Tom? Uh, Scott? <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to give it to you for just £7.95 on Believable value. These are great for rings. These are wonderful for cufflinks. These are fabulous for focal points. They're great for just a simple stretchy bracelet. If you're watching today and you've just started getting interested in jewelry making and you're thinking, I d I'm not ready to be able to create in the way Rachel Norris does yet, and I'd love to, uh, then start off with gemstones like this. If you've been jewelry making a while, you know that they're so useful for so many different reasons. To have that checkerboard fasting just work. So there might be that certain project you're waiting for something like this for. Uh, they are brand new and they're only seven pounds and 95 pence log p72 is your item code don't forget if you're shopping with us today one p and p all day long if you shop with ali this morning and you're going to shop with ed tonight uh, then it's one p and p all day long 7.95 now i'm going to give to you oh i love these oh i love these big bold hearts i've never seen this strand i love them Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, they make me smile, they do. Have a look. Oh, I love these. Even not just not just for jewellery, but also for things like um, hanging ornamental pieces. You know, this would be so pretty. A watch-style bracelet. I'd make a, a keyring out of this. I love it. Do you know what I would do if it was jewellery? It would be a really long chain over the head and just one of these on the end of the chain, weighing it down to make it more of a V than a U. I, I don't think you need to do anything else, Rachel, to these, do you? Or we, are you thinking big white? Well, Rachel's thinking big white work projects. Think are you thinking um, butterfly wings? Gemma's heart in the in her in in her motifs in the motifs DVD. Yeah. You could put that in the centre and sort of almost make us a bell setting with yes. her with her weave that she did round it. Yes. Um, I was thinking. Oh, I just wish it was. I've got one of these. I was going to sort of make up into a piece, but How not quite lovely. sure it's the right Let's see. size. But um, you I could don't know. put it. I just have to make it the same size, but you know, make a frame for it. You could put it though. Yeah. Sort of in between. In between. You, you just have to make it the same size. Something like that. How wonderful would that be? We've yeah. only got 12 yeah. of these. Yeah. I can't believe it. Thank you, Rachel. That's They're only 7 dollars One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of you get nine of them. This is an incredible. What about a great big ring? I would wear that with this with this um dress that I'm wearing right now. Great big costume ring big heart love it absolutely love it looks like these are going to sell out how many did we start with i love them oh my goodness grief oh my crikey i was going to say it really didn't make no sense more big thieves these are wonderful again these would be great for your wire work projects have a look they're like landscapes aren't they oh, look at this this is like the hills by Rachel's and here's the sea oh look how fabulous they are they're only 6.95 look at that that's a person walking the dog can you see that 
Yeah, that's, that's someone with a coat on. Jack Russell's over here somewhere. I love it. I love these. It's always a Jack Russell to me. Have a look. Have you got a dog, Rachel? Um, no, I used to have a pug um, dog <gasps> when I was a little girl. Puggies! Um, we had puggies and um, I don't know, I think I've got so much on in my life. You have to love a dog to know you actually can't, haven't got time quite. Yeah, 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 but, absolutely. Um, I, think, I think when they may be able to, you know, Jack will need a companion really, so that's a thought. You'll, have to, get, you'll have to get a dog. <laughs> oh, Tom's got a dog. I miss having a dog so much. now. I'm gonna. I love spring spaniels. They're lovely creatures. Can I do number seven? Is that all right? Because I just want to. Can you tell me what is it? Is it pink spinel? It's red spinel. I absolutely love this strand. I saw it here and I thought, crikey, I love that. Uh, really nice, strong colours. And again, we're talking about the centres of Rachel's flowers. If you can't push it to gems of distinction, I think these would work as well. I think they're going to go really well with any peridots that you've got, which. Right next to me here, I've got some of Rachel's pieces. And this peridot, look, this shouldn't be under £10 for red spinel, should it? Oh, but I picked it out. Sorry. Sorry. Look at the colour. It's supposed to be £17.95. Oh. oh, sorry, Scott. Be amazing with peridot, though. Look at that colour. This is red spinel, often mistaken. For Ruby, down from 17.95 to 9.95. It shouldn't be there, but it is, and it's all my fault. <laughs> oh, 806, triple four six, a double five. I shouldn't have picked it out because it is under 10 pounds. And Scott just went, "What do you have to do that for? Why can't you just listen?" B B Y Y 18. Story of my life. I'm always getting told off by men. Nine pounds and 95 pence. 110 carats. This is red spinel, a really important gemstone because. It, and do you know what? Red spinel is actually in the crown jewels. They always thought it was ruby. It was the print, the black prince's ruby, and um, it ended up being. It was red spinel. It wasn't even ruby. Uh, quite embarrassing for the royal family, but uh, you know what? It, it, it opens up our eyes to, to gemstones. It's, it's mainly found, you know, where sapphires and um, emeralds are. Uh, ruby and sapphires are mined for. So in those in those uh, ruby and sapphire bearing areas, you'll find spinel, red spinel. Uh, I've got loads of you. Fiona's bought two. Amanda, you've got yours. Christine, you've got yours. Uh, Sue, Michelle, Rebecca in Essex. Hello to you. Kelly in Worcestershire. Hi, hi to Laurie, Vanya. I've got Deborah. I've got Bryony again. Hello, Bryony. Deborah's with us too, and so is the gorgeous Heather. Uh, lovely Pat in Lincolnshire, you're with us. Lubri in Gloucestershire, you're with us as well. It's lovely. Kelly's got two. Uh, loads of you there. It is lovely to have you all on board with us today. Don't forget to send us a text. We love hearing from you. Uh, you can thank me for that, said Scott. He's in a bit. Are you in a mood with me now, Scott? No. <gasps> Do you know what? Look at this sky, 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 sky blue. If you've ever been, if you're ever lucky enough to have gone somewhere super exotic, can I wear this as a necklace? Do you think it would go with red? I love it with red. It's a little bit, um, is it a 50s to have the reds and the blues together? Is that the era or is it, am I getting it wrong? Reminds me of, um, you ever seen Edward Scissorhands when everything's all those bold colour, love that film. Isn't that gorgeous? I like it with that. With that colour? With black as well. I'd like it with black. Um, yes. Yes, it would look really, really nice with um, black rondelles in between or, you know, something like that. Yeah. I love it. I love it with black, black rondelles. Absolutely gorgeous, really twinkling and sparkling. I've got another beautiful strand to show you and it goes so well. Have a look. Did you get these other rounds directly from a mermaid? It looks like it, doesn't it? I reckon you stole it from the nest of a mermaid. Light blue dyed quartz. These are nine mil rounds. We don't have a lot of nine mil rounds. We tend to go six, eight and ten. So if you're looking for that, for that gemstone that just gives you the perfect taper because you have got a six, eight and a ten, you're looking for a nine, then you need these. These are great for soutache. They're wonderful for dropping on earrings. They're sky blue. They're very naughty in price. They're only £5.95. 
you know what we can't feed you cake so we'll do little treats like this instead c-e-k uh, z62 however rachel norris is very good at feeding us all cake isabel in the channel lions you've got yours hello to sylvia patricia laurie is shopping for more and rosmond you are with us uh, vivian hello from london great to have everybody on board c-e-k -K, uh, z62 that's c-e-k z62 irene hello to you uh, loads of you shopping today isn't it wonderful to see Rachel Norris here. If you have just tuned in, it is Rachel Norris Day. You haven't got things wrong, it's happening. Now, which one should we do, Scott? The ones you stole from a mermaid's nest? Have a look at these. They're gorgeous. I love them. Can someone give me a challenge at some stage? Because I haven't got one. So pick Rachel a would like a challenge. <laughs> what about these mermaids here? That would you like lovely. these? Yeah. She'd like the mermaids. <laughs> Rachel wants it to. Normally, our guest designers say they don't have time for challenges. <laughs> but Rachel. I've got to make she, one thing. One you thing. can't keep still, can you, like no. me? <laughs> you think it's a waste of time if you're sat doing nothing, mm. don't you? Yeah. What You tell me what you would like, and I'll give it to you. £7.95 is your price tag. Beautiful. I just love these. They, they are reminiscent of the peacock feather. Mm. I think they, they remind me of a mermaid's tail. I'm pretty right. obsessed with mermaids. So I am cool. going to, I'm going to telepathically ask Rachel at one point, this is my, <laughs> my telepathic radar, uh, <laughs> uh, to do a wire work mermaid. I think that would be lovely. No one's ever done that before. Well, I think, you know, I, I imagine, I think, I imagine Gemma doing a beautiful one, Laura doing a beautiful a mermaid, all in different styles. There'd be Alison Terry's version. You know, imagine everyone making you know, a, mermaid. a mermaid or something. It would be amazing. A mermaid wall or something. Beautiful. <laughs> we could um, do that mm. thing where you all do one part of it. That would be good, wouldn't well, it? Well, all, all different versions, I think it'd be lovely. Yeah, yeah. absolutely mm. gorgeous. Colin McKay one, everything. These are just going to be perfect though, Soap bubbles, they? they're like bubbles. They um, are, aren't they? Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Little fairy bubbles that you blow mm. when you're a child. I love those. <laughs> and then, don't do them in the kitchen though. That's a big mistake. Or get them in the eye. Or get, get them in, in the your eye. I really did them painful. in the kitchen, then ran through the kitchen, nearly broke my own neck. Don't do that, because they're slidey. <laughs> 7,095 pence, E O I G. P20. I'm going to give these to Rachel as well, uh, as well as other things that you want to... Is she allowed these? You know, I am going to give it to her. What do you mean she can't have it, you want it? Don't be so selfish. <laughs> Tom, you, you wouldn't say that to her face though, would you? Hmm? No. Little, small, tiny, never argued with anything in his life. 7.95 EYG <laughs> P23. <laughs> Rachel, I'm going to give you those. Yeah, there you go, because I know you can't bear to be sat twiddling your thumb. Have a look at what else I've got for you. Ethiopian, go oh, Australian opal. Is it really? Oh my goodness. All right, Bruce. Have a look. <laughs> Have a look at these. By reputation, Australian opal is the most expensive opal in the world. Some say the most fabulous opal in the world. Opal is said to be a lucky gemstone to the wearer, especially if your birthday is in October, like my mum's. You'd be a Libra, I think. Now, um, these are full of texture. It's really hard to show you pin fine, but I can see it a lot in this strand. Uh, have a look here, for instance. Uh, in these chips and nuggets, you're just gonna really enjoy uh, using these and actually having a look around all of that pin fire. It really is gorgeous. H, F, Y, Y, A, T is your item code. You've got 170 carats and they're three by two to eight by two on an 85 centimeter strand. You've got a 30 day money back guarantee. They're only five pounds. These are Australian opal. Please download your certificate of authenticity. They're only five pounds and 95 pence. You do have pin fire, I promise you. Here, look. Can you see it? It's so hard. It's so hard to show you. But it is there. You've got the reds. You've got the oranges. We've got here's a little um, here's a little graphic of the uh, authenticity card for you. Here it is. That the one you get with this one? No, that's not the exact one. This one will look like, and I'll have a little holographic sticker on it as well. Um, also, so if you ever want to get any of your pieces valued, you can do so at five ninety five. You're getting an utter treat for genuine Opal October's birth gemstone. Look at what will look gorgeous with that. Oh, how fab. Now, Rachel, look at these. These are gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. 
You could have them as well, if you want. Oh, gosh. They'd be nice to prong yes. set. Yes. Is that smoky quartz that you've got, is that concave faceted? It, uh, it is actually. I'll bring Can I there. just show everybody what you could do? Because you could do something like that with it, couldn't Easily. you? Easily, yeah, it would be brilliant. Just have to make sure you um, disguise one end with a bit of wrap across, a bit of textures and pattern wrap, and you'll be fine. That's Rachel's, isn't it wonderful? Yeah, you've got a lot of wows then. Yeah. Have a look, you could do the same sort of thing with this exact strand. Mm. How gorgeous. Now you don't just get this strand for the money. Now these are faceted absolutely beautifully. And you know what? It takes an absolute master lapidrist to facet in that way. Concave fasting draws you in to the very heart of the gemstone. And it's like a window, it shows every floor. And you have to make sure you've got the very best quality in a gemstone. How divine are these? Now they are very special. They're on a short strand. There aren't very there aren't very many examples of smoky quartz you could actually cut like this. They have to be exquisite. I'm gonna give you the rest. We're gonna give you the rest as well. You get is that fire opal? It is fire opal. Look how gorgeous. This is a really new Scott's only just snuck this in. It's carnelian, it looks like opal. He said, yeah, I think that is fire opal, yes. It looks like fire opal, it's carnelian. Then I'm gonna give you, now this is great if you've got the bead loom, you've got the little teeny seedy beads of white quartz, and you've also got, I love this. You call this watermelon quartz, don't you? Is that the one? But I think it reminds me, I'm a massive fan of traditional sweet shops, and I can be seen very often buying huge bags of rosy apples mm -hmm. and they look a little look like this, they're good. And now I've just discovered that you can get rosy apple lollies in my traditional sweet shop, so I'm happy indeed. Now, <laughs> <laughs> have a look at all of this gorgeous colour. Really fabulous, blushing into each other. They're lovely. Rachel, do you want this smoky quartz? Do you want any of this that I've got here? I'm... Are you happy, busy? I'm happy where, where I am. You're busy. Although She's I would busy. love it, I um, would need a bit more time. That's going to take time, isn't it? It's yes. going to take a lot of intricate wire work. I've got Amanda and Claire and Nicolette. I've got a jewellery maker in Somerset and Devon and Essex. Uh, DVG C60. Hang on a minute. This isn't under £10, right? Right, this is not included in your under £10 section. We're going to give you four fantastic gemstone strands for one price. It will not be under £10. DVG C85, so, sorry, 65 is your item code. Use your debit card, use your credit card. 17 pounds and 95 pence, 800. Six triple four, six double five. Oh, sorry, it's supposed to be 24.80, but you're paying 17 pounds and 95 pence. DVG C65 for all four. You're guessing at a phenomenal saving price tag of 17.95. Evelyn, Amanda, Claire, Nicolette, Elise. And I've got a jewellery maker, an anonymous jewellery maker in Somerset, Karen in Norfolk, Anastasia in Wiltshire, Claire, Amanda, I love the name Anastasia. Uh, now mm. we've only got 32 left at this price tag. It is a phenomenal price tag. The gems of distinction, uh, smoky quartz, are gonna really see themselves in a, in a really striking piece of jewellery. I think you can really make a focal point out of those and they could be rings, they could be pendants, whatever they are, they're gonna be absolutely beautiful. Abnash, I've got uh, Ghislaine in Kent. I have got Renee, you've got yours. Linda is absolutely obsessed with these, I'm just being told. Vivian, uh, Michelle in Suffolk, well done to you. It's spelt the French way though, look, with one L, Michel. Look at, look at all the lovely names, Michel. Uh, I've got Gizane, I've got um, Abnash, I've got Renee, Vivienne, Anastasia. Gorgeous names today, Nevin in Essex, lovely. Absolutely stunning, 17 pounds and 95 pence. There's lots and lots of you there. Hello to Tina in Devon, you're shopping with us as well. I've got one, two, three, four, five brand new jewelry makers. Great to have you all on board. DVG C65, your statement luxury. Hello to Ruth and Jackie. Uh, loads and loads of you loving this, so well done. Now, 
We are going to be joining Lady Rachel Norris very, very shortly, uh, but I am going to try and squeeze a few more in before that time. Uh, now, let's do some under tens. What? A, that's what I've got in my hand. We are like psychics together. Have a look at this. Look at that. Amelia, our floor manager, is hungry. She can eat all those chocolates I've left out there, tell her. Hmm. Have a look. <laughs> oh, she told me that. She told me off. I'm offering her my lovely sweets. She keeps telling me off. She said, Jenny, for God's sake, don't tell everyone I'm hungry. Sorry, Amelia. She's also quite ratty today. <laughs> Have a look. Are you on? Oh, now she's crying. Good grief. Oh. This is the problem with working with women. Sometimes we are just mad have a look gold lover she's taped some ouch today have a look <laughs> <laughs> she's having an actual tantrum i'm only trying to feed you my darling there's nothing to cry about gbn b53 have a look at these beautiful gemstones if you could be bloom anything mm -hmm. these would be Pretty. gorgeous to be now these are beautiful and you love little tiny gemstones don't you rachel uh, all si basically there's a place for everything in a design mm. and i like using lots of little um, gemstones in my little brooches and that would make um, details on wings um, dragonfly eyes you know there's lots of different things that those sort of things could make um, those little little the little delicate pieces I love the intricacy of your piece, especially, uh, you know, your centerpieces and things like that. And a, a lot of your pieces use gemstones this kind of size. Mm. You use them to, um, like you just said, to embellish, to add colour, just little yes. details. Where, a wire work, where the wire work actually is key and you're doing lots of intricate weaves, mm. sometimes you don't want a heavy gemstone so it'll weigh it down. Whereas a little gemstone like this will add a nice flicker of the focal point. They're only £6.95, so that's a great deal. Uh, loads of you on on the phone lines for these gbm v53 you've got 30 carats in total at just six pounds and 95 pence you can shop with us in one of two ways on the phone lines 0800 six triple four six double five it is a free phone number if you're dialing from a uk landline you can also shop online it's jewelrymaker.com uh, i've got abigail and sue and cheryl and stephanie and jacqueline i've got lynette hazel i've got another christine in powers i've got amanda in surrey i've got a jewelry maker in west midlands and somerset and lancashire loads of you loving this deal now i've got some wire for you uh, coming up very soon with rachel's next bundle won't be long for that now we're going to give to you do, 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 these little gorgeous now i'm gonna get the peacock out for these what noise does a peacock make oh, i don't know but i know that amelia makes this noise <laughs> It's <laughs> better than mine. <laughs> Have you got a peacock? No. I want one. Do you want one? I want one. Oh, I think they're beautiful creatures, aren't I'd they? I'd love beautiful. one. Have a look. Although my chicken's anything to go by. It's totally attacky right now. It's brooding. I told you yesterday and it keeps going for my face. Have a look. Have a look at these. It's another member of my family that can't stand me. <laughs> Not the chickens as well. <laughs> Have a look at this. Isn't this pretty? What do you make of this coated pyrite, Rachel? I love the reflection you get from um, it. I quite, I quite like it. I've used it, um, the blue coated in the last um, DI show that I did. I had some did blue you? coated. Yeah. Um, it's just really, it's just, it's really fun to use. Uh, good evening, evening wear piece. Um, stacks of glitter. Um, I think the tone is so beautiful as well. It's, it's such a beautiful, delicate green, a peridot green. Yeah, it um, is. You can team it with pinks. You can, and you can team it with lots of different colours. But I, I particularly like that. It's a very subtle, quite sort of elegant green that we've got on that, that uh, coating. It's lovely. I think it looks nice with the combination, actually, of peridot and gold wire, because um, I just mm. think it, it's, it's that perfect go-between, mm. isn't it? PYR U36, top drilled, faceted, gleaming and gorgeous, and a metallic luster to die for. 95 carats, 8 by 7 to 12 by 8, on an 18 centimetre tasseled strand. And we're going under £10, they're only £9.95. Again, 
shop in one of two ways on the phone lines or on the web uh, don't forget to check out baskets if you are shopping on the web with us today uh, we love having your company please don't forget to keep on uh, keep on sending in your text message for Rachel Norris if you haven't got the internet but you do have a mobile phone you can do it that way uh, by dropping us a text on 60777 start your message with the word JM studio and uh, we will relay it to Rachel for you. We are going to be giving to you Rachel's wonderful pieces after the break. It's Rachel Norris, wonderful projects with the gold wire, with the purple. You've seen a little cheeky glimpse of the wonderful jewelry you're about to create, so don't go anywhere. Rachel Norris part two concludes after this. <laughs> If you have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewellerymaker.com. You can now keep in touch by following Jewellery Maker on Twitter. Get interactive with Jewellery Maker. Hi everyone, this is Stephen, Jake and Alan. We have just made it to the North Pole, zero, zero degrees, top of the world. Uh, it is Wednesday, and here it's about 9 p.m. Uh, yeah, very cold, minus 35 degrees, uh, exhausting day, uh, and yeah, we've we, we covered 14 miles today, so that's an awful mile, so that's 15 miles. So a big, big, long day, and uh, yeah, we actually made it uh, all very, very happy, all very, very excited. And uh, a wonderful feeling. Thank you to everybody that has sponsored us and donated to the, the Colourful Life Foundation and uh, NOS. Uh, very, very kind of you. Thank you for all the support. And uh, we look forward to warming up and sometime tomorrow or the day after and, uh, uh, and seeing you all when we get back to the UK. Uh, God bless you all. Thank you uh, uh, for uh, taking part of this very special journey with us. Once the gemstones leave the laboratory, it's then down to the quality control process. This is a really stringent process, which is completed by Rally and by Ithaca. Random strands are taken from each one of the lots, and you get the average size, carat weight, and length of each strand. And this is done so that you know the information that you see on your screens is correct. Pearls are classic. I mean, who doesn't love pearls? You look at them, they look elegant, they look classy, and they make elegant, classy jewellery when you're creating with them. I think right from the whitest of white pearl to the peach pearl, they're always, always stunning, and anybody can wear them. They're one of my favourites. You see them, don't you, in expensive jewellers, covered in diamonds. Diamond and pearls are the classic duo, and that's why I love pearls. Pearls are always a huge, huge seller on Jewelry Maker, and I think it's because there's a huge amount of emotional attachment to them. I think whatever walk of life you come from, whatever your age, you always associate pearls with maybe someone who's worn pearls before you, maybe your grandma, maybe your maybe your mum. So there's always that emotional attachment to pearls. And they can be classic, they can be contemporary, they can really be whatever you want them to be. And definitely one of my favourite gemstones. You Very really kind. are an inspiration. You're super cl clever, super talented. You're a mum. You work doing something really clever. <laughs> you're all sciencey and medically, and um, you're just so, 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 so talented. Now, if, if you've just joined us and you're not sure who Rachel Norris is, Rachel 
has huge, huge following. Uh, she's an artist, Ra is Rachel Norris. And Rachel um, has had her pieces displayed in the Victorian Albert Museum. She sells her commission pieces for hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Um, you know what, Rachel's had a BBC documentary made about her. Uh, her. Her designs inspire us every time. And I feel privileged to be here with such a talented lady. Now, I wanna give you the gemstones that are gonna help you achieve jewelry like the jewelry on my right. Let's have a little sneaky peek of the pieces that you're going to hope to achieve after Rachel's tutorial. Beautiful detailed butterflies. We've got gizmo coils in there as well. So grab mm. that DVD deal I gave you earlier. We're going to create that larger piece, uh, that small, that middle piece on the on the yeah, end. If that makes any sense. how to make to this whatsoever. this butterfly um, pendant. This uh -huh. butterfly pendant. The yeah. butterfly pendant on the end, yeah. and then you can incorporate that in different designs as well. It's so stunning, isn't it? Uh, now I've already got lots of you on the phone lines. I do need you to look sharp with this. The last uh, Rachel Norris collection sold out, so you need to be quick. The wire went like that. I've got the gemstones that you need. Beautiful purples. Now these were chosen by Rachel specifically for the design she had in mind. You're already all over the phone lines. ASG C01. Now individually they are only £24. Let me talk to you about exactly what you're shopping for. You have got CD beads of deep Brazilian amethyst. They are four mil. How beautiful are these? Absolutely stunning. They're going to look really nice with Neon Appetite as well if you're thinking of mixing them up. Uh, you have also got some banded agate 6mm rounds. You've got the 10mm as well. And you've got the rice beads of beautiful Brazilian amethyst too. So really deep, really juicy purples at £24.80. pence. You should be paying if you were if you were buying these individually. You already, I think that's already wonderful value. You've got birth gemstones with the amethyst in there. You, these are genuine gemstones. We're so passionate about that. Now we were supposed to change your price tag, but uh oh, just happened in my ear, which means that the graphics haven't worked, which means that we're going to have to fix them, Scott. Which means that we could be going lower than we uh, originally wanted to. ASGC01. You will always receive a 30-day money-back guarantee on absolutely everything that you buy from us here at Jewelry Maker. I'm going to give you all four strands for just £16.95. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. It is amazing, isn't yes. it? <laughs> and they are beautiful. They're they are beautiful. beautiful. You chose these because you love purples, and purple yes. and gold work so well together, doesn't it? Also, they're such interesting and versatile shapes um, with the... Um, the rice beads, mm -hmm. they can be used in, um, to make flowers, to make um, bodies for, for creatures, um, beautiful drops for earrings. Um, they are a really lovely shape and they are particularly nice um, colours actually, they vary through. So some are very pale and some are lovely and dark, rich colours. And the banded ag agate has beautiful tones through it. You've got the faceting of the um, small beads at the end the um, to give sparkle mm. and detail. Um, and it's a really nice, um, nice bundle actually. Such great sparkle, you're right, on those smaller amethysts. Sixteen ninety five, and we are very, very, very busy. Price. You must check out Baskets, Lynette and Marilyn. Hello, Davira and Sharon. Margaret, Elise, another Sharon, unless Sharon's got two. Sharon and Somerset, yep, yeah, two down. Sharon's Linda. Uh, I've got Norma, I've got Hilary and Jennifer. I have got June, Sandra, Linda, Sue, Christine, Melanie, Chris, Veronica, June. I have got so many of you shopping for this. Well done at sixteen ninety five. You're getting a huge treat. I am going to give you the wire over at uh, at Rachel's table. Uh, now, Scott's saying it was going to be 17 95 I think everyone should take that extra pound and, and buy some cake. I think so too. I think so too. Everyone has cake on a Sunday? I might bring a roast dinner in. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> do you think? I wish you could have portable ovens that work even when they're not plugged in. And then I would just literally mm. bring a whole roast Slow dinner cooker. for you all. Slow cooker or something, couldn't you? Maybe you have to keep it plugged in. Yeah. I'll work on that one. <laughs> 80 <laughs> chances remaining at £16.95. Well done to each and every one of you. Now, let's do the wire that you need, but let's do that over by Rachel, because I would, if I may, uh, like to show you a few of the pieces that uh, Rachel 
actually has design from this incredible bundle. Now you do need the wire and I'm going to give you the exact relevant wire. Let's take a look at the beautiful pieces that Rachel has achieved with this incredible bundle. Have a look. Oh my gosh, I love this bracelet. Absolutely love it. Rachel, you really are intricate all the way round to the very finish of your you. bracelets and your necklaces. You can see how creative you are. You're, you're wonderful at design, absolutely stunning. Did it start with jewellery for you um, in a crafty way oh. or were you into interior design? Um, I always loved, uh, my mother was an artist, my grandmother was an artist. Ah, uh, yes, it's and in your blood, isn't she it? She was a water, beautiful, wonderful botanical artist, my mother was. And uh, so she had this attention to detail. Um, she'd spend months on a single painting, building up layers of colour um, to make these beautiful paintings. And um, with me, I, I did a little bit of, I did art at school, mm. um, but had to choose. I went into the medical side Science, of things. Science, yeah. And, um, did medical illustration for a little bit to earn some extra money and I've, I've written six books in an ultrasound field and done hundreds of illustrations for them wow as well. um but i did a bit of silk painting you know just little bits over the so years you can't do <laughs> can you cook <laughs> tell me you can't cook. No, i'm really rubbish i have to follow oh good i'm glad it makes then, me feel um, better but then um i saw i was watching a lot of gems tv and you know you buy jewelry and I, and I just wanted to actually learn how to make it so I went to the silversmithing, very short silversmithing course, learnt the basics, but I didn't really have a clue because I didn't know how to work with wire. It's when I was on maternity leave with Jack that Jewelry Maker started. Oh and that wow. is when my interest in making jewellery really, really took off. And I suddenly understood what to do with wire. And then I think if I went back to silversmithing now, the pieces I could create, you know. Would um, be outstanding. Yes, yeah. Oh um, gosh, so there's more to come. Yeah. She's not finished <laughs> yet. <laughs> Who knows what, what road she'll take us down next. I mean, the jewellery is just breathtaking. I'm a massive fan of this bangle. Have a look. What I love is the, the way it's finished. It's super intricate. Look at that. And you've got the extender on there as well. I love the way you've hammered a little bit these um, the rings. They're so neat and tidy. Your use of gemstones is fantastic. The way you incorporate the butterfly. The butterfly at the moment is definitely, um, definitely a genre we're looking at a lot with Rachel. And it's beautiful. And I love that we're seeing so many different ways to incorporate yes. a butterfly into design. And so many ways of designing a butterfly. I mean, this is just one design. We had Laura's wonderful butterfly. And I think Janet did a... Um, butterfly where she uh, put slabs of stone into the wings and so yeah. everyone has a different way of, of doing it and I've, I've made different sort of butterflies in my addition to DVD there'll be another version of, of making a butterfly on that and so uh, you can actually draw from all these different designs and make your own one up as well so and with your own gemstones or use these beautiful gemstones in the bundle. Now, uh, Rachel Norris's DVD is at the bottom of your screen for you right now. If you would like that, the details are there. It's 1995 three-disc DVD, and it's three hours long. Now, um, we're going to give you the wire. Before we uh, continue and before we get cracking, uh, we're going to give you the wire that you're going to need to achieve all of Rachel's fabulous designs, which is just over here. I'm going to give you 100 metres of 0.4 in gold. I'm going to give you 100 metres of 0.6 in gold so there's the 0.4 you've got the 0.6 and then I'm gonna give you the one mil in gold 300 meters in total of one of your favorite colors now Rachel does use a lot of gold in her wire work pieces I think Rachel they just bring life gold just brings life to rich color um, doesn't it yes yeah, so if you want a statement put statement piece obviously this is something you know um, well, it's something uh, uh, as a dis display, something that really, really shows off um, the gemstones. It's a beautiful warm colour. Yeah. Um, some people uh, like a lot of silver. Some people like working with gold. I do like working with all the colours. But, um, I mean, 300 metres, <laughs> that's going to last you for ages and ages and ages. Uh, all the versatile, the really versatile wire gauges you can use in almost any design that we're going to be presenting on Jewelry Maker for you. Um, so this is a, a, a brilliant bundle with all the gauges you need um, to make hundreds and hundreds of pieces. 
So if this would even last Rachel Norris a long time, think how long it's going to last you. <laughs> We've only got 72 of this bundle, which seems like a lot, but it really isn't. If you were shopping individually, actually a very good price tag of 59.85. I think we are super competitive at that price tag, to be honest. The quality of our wire is absolutely superior to anything else I've ever used. It's nice and soft and the color keeps and it's e-coated. So you've got all those ticks, all those plus points. We're mm. still gonna take the price tag down for you you you're paying just 44 pounds and 95 pence for 300 meters and if you've already shopped with us today it's no extra PMP even though these are heavy 44.95 and you can see they're absolutely winging their way out the door 0800 6 655 is the number to call you can shop online uh, if you are shopping from abroad please just click on the right hand side of your screen at the top somewhere scroll down and uh, change your country of orange origin not orangey <laughs> don't, don't change your color see just said the random word again i was going so well uh, now, right <laughs> rachel we're going to start with this piece here yes and this is something you could use as a centerpiece for uh, a talk you could put a talk necklace on that you can have it as a long dangly pendant um, you could make it into a hair clip for the back of a, a bun oh, yes. you just need to add um, sort of some loops and clips at the back mm -hmm. and um, a, um, a like a little stick with a with a and Gemma's made a beautiful one hair are they called hair barrettes or yeah yeah um, you, and you just pop yes, it into the hair you weave it in and out with yes, a stick yeah you can make one of those with this a rod, design yeah. look beautiful at the back of your of, a, of, of hair uh, a, a brooch at the base of um, a collar and tie you can uh -huh. make a brooch sorry not a tie. Uh, a collar, you yeah. can have that with as a brooch scarf. across yeah. and it, it would dangle down beautifully in that position. So, And also made in different sizes. Um, I've tried to make the smaller version so you can see you actually make some, those would each individually be a pen pendant on their own. I just make clusters together. You put together. four together. Yes, but those are four little individual pendants. All I'd have to do is undo the jump rings I've got them as pendants I want to Aren't they beautiful? Isn't that mm. stunning? So we're going to show you mm. how to make the larger, but you can make that smaller scale. So Rachel, what do I need to start? Well, basically, you need to make a butter base, basic butterfly wing shape. In the same way that in we did originally we did in the last before. project? Yeah, so really, I'm just going to show you that we made, I made half a butterfly wing, a scrap, basically, and used that as a template to form this side. Ah, rather than then, draw it? Yes, well, yes. And then I, I could, you could draw it, yeah, yeah. Um, and use that as a template for that side. So you can either you do that, or yes, you can draw it um, on a piece of paper and work from that. Okay. So that's actually I don't need to show you how I form that butterfly shape. Again, I don't think. No, we've think seen we that, to, and if you do want it. to see it, then check us out on YouTube. You can just rewind back to the first. To project. the butterfly. The main thing to do is also study the photograph and get the shape. Um, there's photo there'll be photographs on the, on the uh, Facebook pages, and just get the shape to how you want it. Even print it out, um, one of the pictures, print it out and use that as a template if you so want. So print, the pr if, you're, if you're not good at sketching, I'm yes. not particularly brilliant at sketching. I'm alright at faces, but not animals. And you can zoom in and make it smaller. Uh -huh. Oh yes, so you can change the scale, you can't yes. you? Yeah, that's so, a good idea. So the, the main thing you've got to remember is uh, make some loops at the, the top and the base of the wings because we're going to add wing details and this is going to, these are going to be the loops to hang the necklace from. Perfect. So, and you just need probably about a metre of one millimetre wire to make that. Okay. okay. So the next thing to do is start to do the weave for the wings. And you start to do both, I will show you how to do it, but I just want to show you the stage we're going to reach. We want to do both top wings at the same stage from the one bit of wire and then we do bottom wings separately. So we're going to start off just starting to form the top wings and we're forming a little, a little inner frame in the middle here so that we can attach other bits of wire to. So we're going to attach wire in layers to, to add the gemstones onto. Uh, so I'll put that to one side for a minute and we're just going to start back with the frame that we initially had. And usually I'm going to work, you really would should work with about four metres of wire, two metres on either side. Because okay. the weave that I use takes up quite a lot of um, wire. Um, so do you fold it in half again and then have yes. two metres either side? Yes. Okay. Uh, probably. I'm learning from you. <laughs> if we do find that this is too long to work with as a display, I'll cut the wire down. But that's, this is the sort of length of wire that we want to be working with. Okay. Um, fold it in half. And then what I'm going to do is just start at one side. I'm not attaching these antennae bits yet at all. 
Um, oh, yes, and also I'm just going to cut this down so it's a bit manageable. Bear with me. <laughs> cut that down. So we don't, don't need them that long behind. You can okay. use those to make the little wing sections later. So don't, those are bits of wire will come in. Yeah, they'll be useful for later on. So um, cutting them down to that sort of length. Mm -hmm. Don't attach these in yet because we need some flexibility. If we find that we've distorted the frame in any way, and we can still got some leeway of movement. Oh, that's important. Yeah. Yes. So we're keeping those free for the moment in time. So, so don't bind doing? them in with the wire. Not quite yet, no. So a couple of wraps around the base of this wing, a couple of wraps here. And I'm going to pass the wire. Oh, I'm just going to turn it around so I can see. Bear with me, my loves, and then I can just bring that a little wrap at the base of this little um, um, loop I've got at the, where the headpiece will be. I'm going to take that wire across behind that loop and then wrap a couple of times around the base of the wing. So that's going to form the, you know, the first basis um, from where the direction of the wrap. Do you know what I've done? I've cut that off. Oh, I shouldn't have cut it off. Oh. What, the extra long yes, bit? the extra long bit I actually needed. I'm absolutely doing that. Here we are. Can you use that um, bit? Can you I show won't, us that? but um, I've, I assumed in my head that I was an earlier, that I was a later stage. I assumed that I was at that stage to cut it down. So just assume I have not cut that wire off. Okay, don't worry, as okay. long as we can explain what it. What an idiot. So um, what we need to do is just now we can start to bind this in. I'm going to do two wraps. Sorry, I might do three by three. Three wraps around the base here. Okay. Okay, and then in, and then we're going to do. Assume this is really long. <laughs> what, a, what an idiot! Why and do you need it extra long? Because then? I'm going to use it to wrap round to perform the in, in the panels of all those wings. I've just cut all the wire off that I needed. Um, because oh, in I my see. head, I yes, thought I, I was, see I'd, what I'd you've done. Yeah. Well, don't worry. We can explain that. It's fine. We can yes. explain so that. So as long easily. as everyone realizes not to cut that off, please don't. Um, don't do a Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> don't do what I did, because you kind of, on my air, you think, what Thank what goodness around? that even you make mistakes. Oh, it makes me feel a lot more human. <laughs> mm. And then so I've done three just around the outer frame of the wing, and then I'm going to do three around the top. Uh, sorry, both parts. And this is a long bit of wire, of course. And then just do one, two, three. On both with both together, press it flat, press it together, and then what I need to do is three round the um, the wing frame, purely the wing frame. And this is a lovely basic weave. I knew I know I use just so I tend to use two basic weaves in these designs because number one they add really good detail. Most people know how to you do these weaves. And I will incorporate more different weaves in future project designs. I just want to, uh, to bring you all in gently to this. So three round the outer wing frame and continue on until you reach a point, because you just need to shape this away. Imagine this is a really long piece of wire and it's not a short piece of wire. Shape this round to form an inner wing frame. And I've got enough actually to, to, to do the, the the top. Top. And I would continue on with this bit of wire to form the bottom. I will show you on the other Like bit. you can actually see it quite easually because uh, when in you look one. at the back, because you've folded it back up. Do you think it's better yes, to see I'll it on show, that one? I'll show it on that one. Okay, I'll show you uh, what Rachel's talking about. So we've got the long piece of wire. What Rachel has done, rather than cut it off, is use the wire. If you follow it around, you can see it's going around yes. there, around here. Can you see? So mm. it's gone zoop, 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 all the way around and then back up and then Rachel would cut it. So after you've filled in, you're going to wire wrap around yes. it. Anyway. I hope that was what they So I'll tell myself that, okay. later on for that. No, so don't be what silly. I've done, you basically start this weave all the way up and remember this weave so this through. This is a three by two Three weave. by three. It's three by three. Yes, and on the smaller butterflies you can do but two by two. So okay. it's two on the outer wing frame and two across both wires. So basically continuing all the way up until, I wish my hair wasn't so it's big. So it's so difficult not to lean over it though because <laughs> it's so hard to see what you're my doing. Eyes I, are can, dreadful, I couldn't do it like that. I can't, unless my nose is by it, I can't <laughs> no. see. So no wonder I cut those wires off because I, I couldn't see which stage I was at. It's my kiss. Um, and then, 
So basically, I'm just basically do that um, wave all the way up to until a point where this wire starts to curve away from that frame mm -hmm. and then you just basically continue just wrapping up the frame alone. I'm just oh, you leave you. it individually, yes, yeah, I'll you can you see that there. Uh -huh. So I'm going to pass that piece away yeah. with its mistake and show you exactly what I mean. So what I've done is I've bound both sides, the same number of wraps either side, yeah. Where it starts to curve away, I've just bound around the outer part of the frame. You break away from the pattern, yes. don't you? And then, where it touches again, another couple of wraps, or maybe three or four wraps here, continue around the outside of the frame. Where this touches and kisses the side of the frame again, another couple of wraps, or a few wraps, round again, and then a few more of that pattern, of the three by three wrap across towards until you reach here and then cut off that wire okay. because by that time the wire's a bit ropey and you need another whole length to start off with this the length, fresh length which okay. I'm just, just going to show you and I've just started to form the pattern or the, the inner shape for this wing and again you do this exactly the same is this, this for the side. other side of the wire yeah yeah it was yes yeah basically this all one continuous yeah. piece of wire if mm -hmm. you hadn't cut it off like I did and then basically just make sure, I'm forming it with my fingers, this wire is so soft, it is brilliant, it's so gentle on the but fingers. But it's not brittle either at all, is it? It no. doesn't feel like it's going to break, no. it's, so, it's nice and strong, but it's so malleable. You've got plenty of scope to work hard on mm -hmm. it, um, and that's brilliant, because then you can bring it up to being a strong, strong structure Just by wire. pinching it. Yes, just, just by clamping it and ham a gentle hammering, um, all of that sort of thing, you can actually bring this up to being a harder working wire. So what I've done is just gently brought that round and now I will cut that off there we are so I form that inner shape and basically spend a bit of time that's not quite the same size as that one so you spend a bit of time to make sure those inner shapes look exactly symmetrical so you want it to look really easy on the eye that there's nothing out of place when you do your butterfly so I'm going to get some more 0.4 wire I'm going to start just binding the bottom a bit just to show you how I'm just going to start it off and then we'll go to the finished frame Okay, so we're at this point here. We yeah. will be, and I'm just going to show you how we, what we exactly we do, because there's bits you don't quite bind in yet. Oh, right, yet. okay. So, I'm just going to show you. Again, we're So how much are you getting there? What again, would I get when I'm at home? More than this, double this, probably. So about four yeah, metres? Four metres again, because you're going to go round the wings and then up the antennae. Okay. With this, with this length. So with this, I'm not... Bear with me, I'm just going to have a quick look and remember what I did. I'm not bent binding in this bit quite yet. I'm just binding at the uh, base or the, the top of this wing purely there and not binding in this bit yet because again I want a little bit of flexibility if the shapes aren't quite right. A couple of wraps there, across underneath to the other side. In fact what you can do is do a couple of wraps at this little base, it's a great anchor point winding once around there, I don't know whether you've got that, in the tiny little groove in between that little loop across. There do it go. so you can see it. That's it, we can there see we it are. now. Wrap once round there and you're coming out the other side. I'm going to have to turn it so I can see it myself to place it, then I'll show you exactly where you're placing it. At the base of this wing here. Sorry, I've just got to make sure it's in the right orientation. Base of this wing here, don't uh, attach this in quite yet, you'll do that on the way back up. A couple of wraps round before continuing along. I'm just going to talk you through this little bit with the weave. Start weaving along here with a 3x3 three three, and then do exactly the same you did for the top wing and then back up until you finish here. Okay, So you'll have a piece that eventually looks like that. Perfect. And what I've done with one end of the wire, I've con I've continued, I've attached basically the wire oh here yes. through the loop and mm -hmm. then continued to wrap up. I'm just going to show you that. So attaching the wings yes. to one another yes. just so that they all come together rather than yes. there's loose pieces because as soon as there's a loose element it will eventually open up and start yeah, to bend, and won't it? Great. All exactly right, Jenny. You're adding strength to the piece with everything you're doing. So this wrap has, f has bound this antenna into place, but I need to now bind it to the, this loop here. So with the wire, pass it through the loop and 
pass it around the antennae wire through the loop, round the antennae wire, do it about three or four times to get a really good, strong look. Press it down with your fingernails. So most of this is, is going to be hidden, so it's not the end of the world. You can see where I ran out of wire. Add another bit in. If you do run out of wire, all I've done is add another coil in and then slid it on. Okay, so that's uh -huh. a little cheat that I did because I thought, oh, it's not, I haven't got quite enough. Sometimes also if you kink the wire, you know, it might snap. This is much less likely to. This 0.4 is actually really, really strong wire. So you can see how I'm actually binding up the antennae. Make sure you bind up to the same level on either side. Now, um, we're going to add some wing details in next. You've availed me. I'm just going to just <coughs> take that up as much as I, as I can. And then you can see as, I, as I'm binding up here, I'm making sure that I push each coil into place as tightly as possible so it's a really nice finish. Okay. I might finish here if you don't mind because I just yes, want absolutely. to just bind all the way up to here. We're going to add some wing detail next okay. with this little shape. So I'm going to place it on the overhead so you can see the, sh the shapes I've made. Um, and we're going to end up with a piece. This, I'm sorry, this has got wires all over the place. This no, is no. like sort of like the. This <laughs> is how it will be when it's working yes. at home. Like the guy in operation with all the operations <laughs> needs yeah. to be done. You know, it's, it's basically <laughs> like that. It's got all everything everywhere. But this is what I'm going to try and accomplish. I'm going to bind in these bits of wire mm -hmm. into place. Okay, there and there, you need to make symmetrical bits of wire. And it, of course, because being like a that. butterfly, they do need to be symmetrical. Yes. Don't they? Now, best thing to do is print off one of the images. There's images. Um, of these pieces. What do I search for on an engine search? Oh, it'll be search? on on today's program on on the album. We've taken pictures of all. You've the taken stages. it of all the stages, so Everything I could just print that off. Yes. And, oh, yes. wonderful! So it's okay, like a tutorial fantastic. on there, and you run Lovely. it with the show. Especially if you haven't got a close-up shot of something, go back through the show, get, get print off your album, and you've got a, a sort of hopefully a tutorial um, piece to go through. Will Another that, Tom? Uh, just going to ask my director. Will that be on Facebook or on our website? It'll be on the face. It's going to be on our Facebook, Facebook page. page. So if you are following us on Facebook, you'll be able to print off uh, each separate element of this wonderful wirework butterfly. So I've made four pieces of wiggles, mm -hmm. and they're basically just to make it really easy on yourself, make one piece and then make another piece of alongside it, so using the original one as a guide. Mm -hmm. And what you really want is a curl that be, will be sort of halfway up the wing, another c with a point that, that kisses that end there, and then, and that this point crosses that bare wire at the top okay. because I want to bind it here, here and here. Do you bind it before you wind over I'm the top I'm going to bind it in a minute, yes. Oh, are yeah. you? So it's not easier to bind before and then Well, this, you are right, actually, Jenny. So, oh, um, am would I? You, would you, would <laughs> yes, you like it is, to, but I don't you, like you, to If you bring something to air just for a minute, mm -hmm. I'm going to um, just wind a piece of wire. Um, around. So around. if you have a look, we've seen Rachel wind a piece of wire. What Rachel's doing is... So you get you are going to wind it and then bind it. We're going yes, to wind have a look here. <laughs> Rachel, sorry, Rachel. You're, I, mean, well, you're, I think Jenny, you you can do a show one day. Can't no you? way! Can Absolutely. I've got no brain for design. Ooh, I, I tell you that know. for nothing. Have a look at this. You're very so good at naming pieces. I, well, can, I can make a piece, but Jenny can name a piece. That's much the new thing that we're doing together. Rachel's gonna. What should we name <laughs> this one? Let's all think about. So that. I don't know. I go sort of triangly, pointy thing. And Jenny comes up with a lovely name. Ra so. Yeah, Rachel called something. <laughs> yes, that's just that's the art and craft piece. I'm like, no, it's not. That's not beautiful enough. Yesterday, <laughs> I told her off. It's not beautiful enough. We're changing it. She came up with a lovely name. We came up with Aphrodite, better. didn't yes. we? Yes. Oh my goodness, it was much better than my name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Well, just think about what this beautiful piece is going to be called so now. I'm going to wind some point four wire around one of these wiggly bits. Move this out of the way, and just literally show you the first two attachments if you don't mind so that you can I can then talk Absolutely. you through the rest of it. Um, basically it's better to hand wind it on first and perhaps I should have done this before in preparation. Well it was my fault because I said thing. shouldn't we do it this way and well, then it, you no, went oh. uh, Well yes it's yes. one thing I could have done <laughs> in last night in the hotel sort of thing at one o'clock no, in the morning when I could not sleep. <laughs> I don't know. And then someone rudely left their engine running outside Rachel's hotel room at, at 6.30. 6 this morning, you know, I'd, have done, I'd have gone out there in my pyjamas and taken his keys. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody messes with me in the morning. <laughs> I could have done that. Um, now, we're just, just checking how long. I haven't done enough yet. 
So basically you want to wind down so that you can start attaching this to this. Okay, that makes that sense. So let's just see that again. Oh. If we can just, sorry, we oh, didn't I'm quite catch it to, on that. I'm just going to wind it down. You're just an essential Enough. point of winding. Oh. So wind all the way to the bend and then at the bend you're going to attach to the, to the frame. Yes. So, uh, which we'll see in a minute. Because initially I made this tried to make it up like the Little Ring Masterclass ring and if anybody's seen that it's yeah. on YouTube Little Ring Masterclass Rachel Norris it's had 17,000 views Crikey. and um, which is Little lovely ring. Little Rachel Norris Little Ring Masterclass and you make um, the ring by sort of binding and threading through gemstones and back to a kind of kind of curvy ring shape um, Fabulous. and you can make these wings up like that but this is using almost the same, it comes out with the same shape, but it's made in a different way. Okay. Um, so I can go and check that yeah. out if I want yeah. a bit more inspiration. Yes, yeah, so basically I've wound down okay. so that this can attach to here and this can attach there to here. Uh -huh. So I'm just going to bind, in fact it's easier to bind this central piece first and place it. So if you don't mind, I'm going to rotate the butterfly so I can see what I'm doing. Okie dokie. And pass it up. Oh, sorry, did I get no, it? No, no, don't say. And then what I'm do doing is holding with thumb and forefinger really carefully here and winding the wire around. I want to be able to show you this bit. That inner, one of those inner frame bare wires and this wiggly, sh curly shape. Mm -hmm. If the wire becomes raggedy or kinked and coiled, just make sure that you unkink it and also cut the wire end so that it's nice and neat if you, if you feel it's happy, you're happy working with it like that. Okay. Oh, caught it on a nail and my nail, looks, my nail is now coming off, so don't even look at my fingernail. It's had it. <laughs> Sorry. Just give it to me and it's I'll sort it, it out. Where are you? No, I'll leave the fingernail. Oh, right. I'll okay. leave it on because I actually need it. I'll, what, what remnants <laughs> I have, <laughs> I still need it. So. Clinging on oh. to the last. <laughs> so I know. So I'm gonna, it's had it's had a battering that poor old thing, you know. It's really well, I t when you're a hands-on woman, <laughs> there's no way we can be all manicured, is there? Makeup on your fingers—that's my favourite. I love lovely hands. I've never had lovely hands. I've always but, had chipolatas. Yeah. What I've done is I've bound with about four or five wraps. I've probably only done four, but we need five really, and then start to start to then continue wrapping up pushing you've got to, at this point push it quite tight in and if you find it hasn't is a little gap use some pliers get in there and, and push squinch that up tight mm -hmm. and then you, you make that gap as small if that gap has gone more or less um, don't be frightened to get your tools in there yes. then, Rachel, and just I would be careful it. if you're using 0.25 pushing it like that but 0.4 will cope with that sort of pressure against it okay. as long as it's a sideways pressure and you're not rubbing it over the wire because rubbing it over the wire you'll start to damage it but it's a sideways pressure pushing it together look I've, you've got to be careful not to do that now continuing continue wrapping up all the way up here and bind here at the top okay with this end and don't cut the end off because you'll need that to add gemstones in okay with this end of the wire bind around the wing I'll just do that to show you can make sure this is parallel with one of the little wraps pull tight so it starts to grip in with the gaps one, two, I've got so many wires there, but it's just trying to show you how what it all should look like. That's okay. And really what you do is you do one wing at a time. And then what you need to do, you've done, I've done four wraps there, poke the wire in through the, the loop, and wind a little bit round the top of this loop a couple of times, trim and cut in, and, and trim and tuck in. So okay. I'm going to just put that to one side now. Okay. Continue that up and bind here, but don't cut the wire. And I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, dokes. Okay, so we're going to go on to the next stage. This is this is really what you should do is do one wing, add the beads, do another wing, add the beads. Uh -huh. But you see, I've tried to do it to show you the stage that it's at. But in practical, that you don't want wires hanging all over the place. So you would, in fact, go you wing by do, section yes, of wing yes, by section of wing. Yes, but mm -hmm. this is showing where you should have wings. I was doing that to show you where you bind here and here. That's a finished section or bind up to the top Is with the free wire. Already? Again, this is bound here, here and here at three points with wires left at the base of the wing. And these are the, the, at the base sorry, of this little section here. And these are the bits that you're going to use to attach gemstones. 
with. So we're going okay. to do that now, if you don't mind. Yes, please. This one, um, I won't show any more binding to it. it you, you can understand, I'm just wrapping it around that frame. So we're repeating what we've already done by binding and binding and binding. Yes, and you can see where I've wrapped it. On that side, you see where I've actually wrapped it and ended up to. So let's have a look at that. Can you see, just in there. So I've wrapped it around both their frame and that. Mm -hmm. So you want the wire to come out if I have one that I've done, so I remember what I've done. I need some gemstones. I'm your glamorous assistant. Oh, you're today. Wonderful. You're lovely. <laughs> I'm just going to tip them all out because I just have, want to end up tipping it all out. Inside. I'll tidy it all up later. Don't you worry. Um, I want the wire to come up underneath into this first gap here. I'm just going to bring the wire up and we're going to thread on some gemstones and here in this gap I've got a little agate and a little faceted amethyst okay. in that space so that's what fitted in that space and again with the gemstones you're using you know and depending on what size of butterfly you make it'll fit different numbers of gemstones in that's the fabulous thing there's loads of little spaces virtual spaces you can add gemstones in so you can go to town you can uh, add beads in here and all the faces I didn't add gemstones into you can add more so in fact, in this one, there's a slightly smaller virtual space, but I think I can just about manage, if I push this down a bit, to be able to fit this into the space. Now, oh, sorry, I've travelled right now. I, yeah, I no, bent this, okay. I manipulated this little bit out of the way so I can actually fit that gemstone in. And what I've done now is I'm going to pick a spot um, about here on the wing to bind the first gemstone traverse across. Now I'm placing it here and then I'm going to show you. You see where I've got the wire and if I pull in it'll click into place. You hear that tiny click yeah. where it came into place in between and it disappears. I'm going to turn the butterfly over and I'm going to bring the wire up. Sorry there's wires everywhere. I'm going to bound to sort of and try and wrap another wire in and then we're going to add another lot of gemstones. So again, that I, pr I pulled it quite okay. hard. And so you're not frightened about keeping tension on that no, 0.4? No, not at all. It's a lovely strong wire. The next bead I'm going to bring in is a little agate. I can't remember which, which way I travelled. Yeah. So a little, little agate, and I'm going to bring it across to this loop here. Um, again, it might do better with a, with a small faceted amethyst in this space. So that, in fact, that's what I'm going to do in this particular um, uh, butterfly. It's just seems to be a smaller wing. And that's the, the adaptability. All these gemstones are lovely different sizes. You can just adapt it and put a different gemstone in the gap. And it's nice to be able to place the gemstone there. If it doesn't work, you just take it out Don't and pop another, another one, one Yes, that's, it really doesn't matter. The whole point is the, the butterfly is a... It's, it's a endless versatile design you put any gemstones in any wire color obviously the gold and purple work beautifully mm -hmm. but if you want to work with a different um, wire color of course you can and gemstones too just you know use up all your spare gemstones making these designs up and down through the loop and then what I'm going to do once around the other side we're going to add that final teardrop in and come down to the base pulling in I don't know if you can see around this side a couple of times. So that starts to, these gemstones are really quite firmly bound into place. And I've brought the wire up now, and I'm going to just bind that teardrop in, that final teardrop, into place. Now, with this one, I'm going to do something a little bit like the little ring design, where I'm going to bring the wire back through the gemstone because this is quite a bulky area, to try and tuck in wire just at this point when there's already two wrapped across will be quite difficult. So what I'm going to do is pass the wire back through the gemstone. This can be a bit awkward, um, just make sure that your drill hole in your gemstone, these are perfectly big enough to bring the gemstone, the, the, the wire back through, um, but your drill hole be careful with that, that it can fit 2.4 wires through. So I've looped it round this inner frame and then back through the gemstone. OK. 
okay? Mm -hmm. And this is where you don't pull too tight initially. I'm going to use some pliers just to help me pull through. Sorry, darling. Yeah. Not the cutters. Sometimes if your hands don't grip, and especially if they're hot, like they are here, I'm not gripping. So I'm going to use the pliers to help me grip. And again, if you've got um, any manipulation difficulties, use the pliers to help through. We've I'm got stripping. Those. The wire the sli I'm stripping screen. the wire slightly, sorry, so coming sorry. through because the drill hole is too small. Oh, do you want to say about those? No, pliers? yeah, no, we've got um, just the um, pliers that Rachel's using and uh, the entire kit uh, of tools is at the bottom of your screen, mm. it's only 9 Absolutely invaluable and uh, worth having several. I have two, um, at least two, because you need two of these to make um, to do um, chain mail. Two ah. chain And you pliers. prefer the pink ended ones, don't um, you? You use the pinky ones. I, a yes, because they've got a nice fine tip, they've got quite fine ah, tip that's on fine. the end. Yeah. Um, and they're good for my hand size. Again, uh, sometimes you've got you've bigger got little hands. hands. Well, you? I've got big hands. You've, <laughs> you <laughs> have not. You've got tiny man hands. I'm pulling back through, and then that's cinching in. I slightly strip the wire. It's not the end of the world because actually not, there's not very much on show. So the wire has come back out at the other side of the amethyst. Oh, wire twister. Yeah, I've just, oh, Scott's oh. just given me this. He said we can oh, put it on. Yes. Which is, now, I yeah. know that you're a massive I fan of this wire twister. Yes. So uh, while it's uh, while we're allowed it, we'll, we'll give you the details. Oh. Not often we're allowed this. Uh, now, Rachel, mm. you actually texted me in when I was doing this once, didn't you? Because yes. to tell me about um, A the way fact of is that using it. Yeah, yes. because and you can put absolutely loads Trimmer of wire technique. in here, can't you? Um, yes. Um, I'm going to do a demo on the birthday show if I'm allowed with yes. the wire twister to make this bracelet. This is all. Uh, don't we won't give too many secrets away, but it's entirely made from the. And the wire twister tool. With you the, have gizmoed what you've wire twisted gizmoed wire. Yes, Unbelievable. Um, but um, let me show you a, a quick demo of the wire twister if you don't mind. And I you want to show us how, you how to use how it? To, if you have got time to do Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yes, please. To show how need, you attach I don't want to break. We'll just keep going. I'm just going to put this on because I want to show you how you attach it safely and you can attach loads of wires in. Thank you, Rachel. Um, because you don't want to put it in the jaws. If you've got five wires in a row. If I haven't got a clamp, I can put it against like door, a doorknob handle, or something, can't uh, I? Anything. Oh, is this clamp around the edge of the. Sorry, I was mouse laying you down. No, you're not. Do you need the wires? I can do that while you get your wires. If yeah, you, you like. can do that if you make sure. I'm going to get five wires in a row. I'll tell you what, there we go. There we are. Oh, it's like DIY SOS. Oh, Other DIY um, programs <laughs> are probably available. <laughs> Uh, no, <laughs> probably, but who gets time for TV when you've got children? <laughs> no. I'm going to do four wires, I'm cheating because you haven't got quite enough time to do anything. Okay, right, she's getting wires, wires down four there, wires. she's got a whole lot of, there's a trap door down there. <laughs> and then what I'm doing is a loop on one end. Is that tight enough on there? Yeah, it'll do. Loop now, at one end. So we've got the wire twister tool, your graphics are on your, um, on your screen. Now these are the larger wire twisters, we do a okay. different one, but they'll go up to a one mil gauge. These you can fit your thicker gauges in, yeah. can't you? You can, oops. <laughs> All I've done is just let, um, um, just secure this in, okay? Okay, and um, this could be a doorknob, yes, it could be anything. Yes, a doorknob, or you could put it around, a, and what I'm doing at the other end is making a loop. Okay, so you're looping it, yes. and I haven't put any wire on this at, at this point, no. no. So I love these, and uh, so what you need to do, there's a little circle, can you see the little circle? Yeah, we're there the now, she's over there now. Can you see the little circle in the jaws? There we are. Yes. Yeah. That is where you want to put your loop of wire, so there's uh, nothing, oh. nothing. The, what, so the, I don't actually no, need to clamp see, it? There's no wire in those jaws. So I you don't need to worry about... in closing it, because ah. everyone's having difficulty closing it. No, and use, that's just... Use your That's all hand, a load of rhubarb. We can in, put it in there. Push that down. Yeah, so it's clamped. And then that holes in that jaw like that. So you go in the little nodules, in the nodule. not the You can end. use that. I mean, everyone's no one's using it the wrong way. It's just if you a want to use way. multiple... I'm going to hold on to yeah, that just in case. I don't trust my own. Now you're just pulling the tool. Look at that. Look at what Rachel's doing. Just pulling the tool. Simply pulling not this doing anything out. To the wire. It's like those old spinning tops that used to have. Yeah. Um, you know, and just pull this out. And I'm just using my hands to gently guide that rotating tool um, so that it doesn't 
go away. It's quite tough because now you don't need. This could be a doorknob, and we've used. <laughs> yes. Isn't it fab? But can you see that? That's probably enough. And like then look at the twist. There. So it's a five wire twist. Um, tried twisting different colours. I and th that I could wind round on a gizmo, make a lovely gizmo coil. And you I do do that a lot. I mean, In I've fact, for many years, you've probably actually. got. Is this twisted on here? Isn't it? Mm. We've got it. an example of wire twist with the gizmo over the top twisted around. It really is a remarkable tool. Now, as long as you can get it in that circle or at the top, you mm -hmm. don't actually need to, as we previously have done, worry about, in fact, having to close it because no. you put it in that little no. circular piece. Thank you so much. Now, here's another way of using it. Uh, it is on online. Now, Rachel's, Rachel, the way you just showed me was easier, so I'm going to do that if you don't mind. Uh, Rachel's put it in a different way, a different angle through the hole. So if you want, if you're thinking, well, hang on a minute, how did that happen? Just go on to this show and look at. I think it's about uh, three fifty-five time-wise, uh, and you should be able to to relook at that. There's only forty-two of these left, and that's uh, that that's going right down. Valerie, Susan, Nancy, Shirley, you need to uncheck. Well, you need to check out your baskets. Uh, I have got Elizabeth, Michelle, Philip, Yvonne, Lucy, Veronica, Claire, uh, absolutely stacks of you at £14.95. pence. You've got yourself one of the best tools. Now, if you remember, actually, Rachel put it into the circle here, her wire, rather than at the tip. This yes. makes it easier to put the much thicker gauges in and you then you have more leeway once it's open to be able to shut it. This tool is remarkable, really easy and it is just like the spinning tops. As long as you can do that, have a look, we are now approaching limited, we've only got 37 of these left. You've got to be quick if you want it. Uh, now uh, Rachel's wire twist looks like this. I'm trying to think, I have got something that I've made with the wire twist, yeah there we are. I haven't made it up into anything today. Oh my goodness, have you but coiled it around? That's, that's one I did. <laughs> so this is what you yes. can create, Make sure Rachel. you, on a gizmo, make sure you've got an inner coil and then coil it round it. And then you've got that as a, as a piece. How fabulous is that? Oh, and it's a lovely effect. And, and, and it will look slightly different each twist you do. I think that's. Um, I'm not sure how many you twists. Make twisted that's jump a double rings, twisted wire. That's two twisted. Yes, twisted jump rings. Um, do you know, oh, just it, to have the right tools really. to create things like this, it just makes such a difference. It's just, it's just it? a texture, you see. Anything that gives you a texture mm. and something interesting to look at, I mean, that reflects the light in a totally different way. It's a, and it adds something to your design then. Could be a finding, um, you could make and that'll findings. That be a lovely bracelet. Um, isn't that lovely? Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. See. It does make the perfect bracelet. Mm, for a bangle. Absolutely so. stunning. And it's also great either side of the decollet charge for then a big embellished wirework mm. piece just there, mm. isn't it? Perfect. Right, okay, we're now yeah. running out. We're running ahead of time, so we've got about oh. 10 minutes to finish. Oh, my goodness. All right, help. Now, <laughs> what you need to do is find quickly, help. bind all those beads into place and do the same thing with the bottom wire. You come up, bind around this bit and bind across to here. And what I've done is with this one, because I can't go back through the bead, the bead hole isn't big enough, I've bound up to here and tucked in. So basically, I've, I've bead worked all those wings okay. into place. Now the next thing we do is make a body up. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to wind the wires on, the eyes on, because that's actually an edition one DVD. So if you have edition one DVD, you'll you can know how you to can make have a look. Uh, the Let's eyes. have a little look at what Rachel's talking about here. So the little bug eyes. And then here's the body just right here. And if you look okay. and you're and you're guessworking, two gold beads and then wire wrapping around to form a face, a loop at the top here for antennae, and then the body follows. Yes. Do I think yes. Rachel Norris is the greatest wire worker in the world? Yes, Tom. <laughs> Tom would just went to my <laughs> Do you think she's the greatest wire worker in the no, world? No, but um, no, but I've got lots to learn and, and I love doing it. Hey, I, listen, I think if you ever think you know it all, it's time to give <laughs> up, don't you think? Always, there's always more to learn. So there's no risk of and me ever giving anything up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do I like the way you ask questions, and you are, are learning, you see, because every day you ask questions. And like there's yeah. all, listen, there's always yeah. about 60 <laughs> questions. I'm just <laughs> selecting from the ones that aren't, don't make me look totally stupid. So what I've done is I've made a body out of a wrap loop at the top. Yeah. So what I've done is a wrap loop. Yeah. I the eyes on. There, with a little bit of a twirl to make a tongue. Mm -hmm. Put some agates on and various things. 
and then another wrap loop there. Little and, rosary. And then a little dangle with these two, because I wanted to make a really long drop, because the drop from the wings is going to be shorter. Oh, and so I you've done that, that all in one. I wanted to drop that down mm. longer. So, mm -hmm. and if you wrap the eyes on exactly the same as you do the dragonfly in the edition one. Okay. So, the same that. as that. Refer yes, to Rachel's DVD for yes. that. So we've got edition mm. two today with the three parts, 1995. I think it's mm. sold out, has it? So Very small right. amounts left. But uh, if anyone needs any help, they can contact me or we can ask Jamie if they want to order some more in of edition one. Would be you know. nice, please. So, um, because actually that's got so many things in, if people want to know how to make roses and fuchsias and yeah, other things, things like there. Um, right, so we're going to now attach this piece to this piece. And just quickly, if you don't have time, just making up two little loops, like earring findings really, here and here, to attach to these two loops at the end. Okay, and okay. you pop them on and then you loop afterwards, yes. do you? Yeah, yeah, okay. because it's just easier. Uh, okay. Otherwise you're trying to attach things with two dangly bits here and it's going to da get damaged. And So I decided to wait to the very end to attach Do that those. at the, yeah, that's, that's sensible. Yes, now here, what I'm doing is, I don't remember exactly what I did. Let's have a look, shall I turn it over? Hmm. Does that help you? Yes. I'm going to use the base, um, this little ring circle here. So okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm going to pass these two wires through, which come from the head. So basically, you use a lot of wire to attach those eyes, and then the, the excess comes down, um, and you can use it to attach the body. So I'm actually going to pass it either side of the, oh gosh, sorry, it's rotating at the moment. No, don't, don't panic, everything's fine. Don't want it to rotate at the moment. I'm just going to try and stop it doing that. By The first binding will start to bind that into place and stop that happening. That's a bit, that's a bit awkward. Um, I will sort that out in a minute. Sorry, folks. So it's just getting the positioning of your wire right to stop it wiggling around, isn't yeah. it? Yes, I want basically one uh, wire to end up one side of the body the head and the other the other side. Okay. So I've done that. Make it behave. Yes. And then what I need to do is just pass these either side of the antennae and that will start to stop because I don't want, last thing I want is the body rotating because it won't look very good. If you haven't ha attached eyes you won't have to worry so much um, because it won't have a front or you know a kind of front or top or of the back, head. Yeah. And what I'm using is a top, there's a loop here and I'm just going to pass the wire through this loop to start to attach the head into place. Do the same for the other side. You can see I'm trying to do it so you can see it. That's why it's going. Back up through the central loop here. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Back up through here. Yeah, we're fine, don't worry. Okay. And you can do another wrap round the head if you like, just to help attach this into place. Back down. You really want to make sure this is straight as you do this. If you want the uh, gemstones that Rachel is using, then they are to the left of your screen right now for 1695 ASG C01. The wire is at the bottom of your screen. You've got 300 meters, three different gauges of wire, uh, one mil, 0.6 and 0.4, and those were all 44.95. Background, this is starting to hold the head into shape. It's not rotating now. At all. So it's because nice and solid, it's not going yes, to go anywhere. Because I bound either side of the head um, and can't gone through this little circular structure. This is a great sort of attachment area. So the head is bound. We now want to bound by in the middle of the body. So we're nearly finished. Uh, really, then it's just curling down antennae and things like that. So not that far off finishing, my loves, okay? So now we're, we're going to we've bound the head. The head is not rotating at all now, okay. thankfully. That's always a bit <laughs> of a sort of sweaty moment. <laughs> <laughs> if it rotates, like some horror, horror movie, and you think, oh, no, all that work, and it's not, not right. It will be, don't And then worry. what you need to do now is get a little bit of hand-wound 0.4 millimetre wire. So then in the same way, Rachel, you've got mm. about uh, three, four centimetres. Yes. You've wound around some wire, yes. the one mil. And, and w with what gauge? 0 0.4? 0 0.4. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pass both, I pass both wires ah. up from the head on the intersection, behind, in the intersection between both wings. So you've passed one, one lot of wire from the right through the coil. And you're going to go from the left through the coil as well, yes. leaving you with two um, either side. With one, well, with one either side of the, they're the opposite sides. Yes, and it adds strength. There we go, we can see that if we just show. Yeah. 
There we go, there you go. And now pulling through. That makes perfect sense. I thought you were going to wind that around, actually. So that's you could rather do it than that like that. But that it's makes easy. It's but just, it's you could do it that way, Jenny. There's no the right wire, or wrong way. And, um, and because you're using 0.4 wire, passing both wires through, I pulled that quite tight. Can you see? And yeah. it's cinched in. But that's just perfect because it's cradled it in. What I've done is I cut this exactly to the right length, OK? Um, Did you mould it round yeah, to check? Yeah, so I mould it round to check, and then you can cut the coil to, to check. So it's not sort of a fluke that I've got that right. I've actually checked that that fits. Okay. And then again, bind round a central point. There's a bit of wire there, and I'm going to bind that into place. Just sewing in and uh, out. Yes, just to basically anchor this. And at this point, you could add a brooch pin if you want to. Imagine this as a beautiful. Yeah, it'd be absolutely stunning. Brooch yeah. or something like that. I'll bring, bring it back down. And then what I need to do next is I'm going to add another bit of the coil. Yeah, so here. you're going to take the coil off again yes. and do what you did? Yes. You're going to use the same be, pieces of I'm wire? I'm going to see if I can. If, if not, it I can add It would make sense another, to, yes. wouldn't it? I'll add another bit in if, if not. And there's a, a, a point, a space here which I can bring the wire to. So try and use the same fluid piece because it, it then, I suppose it will add make strength. the piece nice and comfortable yes. as well. It will stop any little bits and pieces poking out. But it mm. also adds some strength to, to your anchorage, won't it? Yes. I'm going to, I might not have quite enough wire with this one. But we'll see what I we think can you do. might just get away with that, you know. Let's see. It's be a bit fluky and see. If worse Let's comes to worse, I'll toes. <laughs> worse comes, look, you can see it's formed a nice little cross there. It's strong, it's anchored against um, something. And then what I'm going to do now is add the other bit of wire in on both sides. Gosh, if we achieve this, it's such a complex piece to achieve in, in an hour. We've done really well. So even if we don't quite finish, it's it's, uh, it's an achievement. It's an achievement. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> was Scott. Both. That little squeal Sweetie. was Scotty, Scotty McBots. And my hand is getting hot now because I'm starting to think. I'm starting to think too much about it. If you see what I mean, everyone. There, I put We're it in really, on the intersection between No, you've between done brilliantly this. to get all this intricate work done in in time. So thank you so much. And then um, pass it back through. Through we go. In between the beads, make sure you're not. Um, um, I'm going to distort the ones that you've got in there. I'm just going to pull it round. Back up here, and this one's coming on this side. So it adds that strength through. I'm going to use the pliers just to pull back through. And then with these last bits of wire, we're going to tuck this I in. I told you you'd make it. Yeah, <laughs> tuck this in, and I'm going to curl down. So if you, I'm just going to curl down first, and if I've got time to tuck those in. Okay, so we've got that all attached. Yay! Hooray! And then um, I'm going to curl these in to place. Cut them all the same length and use um, round those pliers just to curl these into place. And you can press these little curls into place anywhere you like. Round those pliers there. Beautiful. And this is what we're yes. doing here. Just You've actually made the antennae out of that. Here's the eyes yes. here. And then curling all the extra mm. bits of wire nice and neat nice That's and right. comfortable and absolutely perfect uh, mm. as Rachel said afterwards her last uh, finishing touch was to add these gemstones here uh, and what Rachel did was place them on and then sealed up the wire rather than had and then continued rather than have all this wire sort of everywhere so that works mm. really nicely yes. doesn't it and then you see the last little bit don't forget those little dangles and, and press that down so there's nothing to rub. Rub. And you can put your little dangles on. And then we're, fin we're finished. We've done really well, Jenny. We've done it. Gosh. We did it in time. As we difficult did. as it was, we yes. bleed and did it. And then, and then just we've got swirls there. Press them into place. Just decide that they're symmetrical. So that's not quite symmetrical. So mm. I'd bring that back up and spend a bit of time <laughs> jiggling around. The queen of the, the queen and of the perfection <laughs> is going to go round and uh, and uh, just adjust them into place and again the top antennae so pretty place. and then and then you can cut these remember doing the cutting motion just to make sure these are circular my hands are so hot there we go you've done it go. it's all good and then um tuck in you go and our hand i'm not actually spiral i'm just doing a loose spiral can you see how I've yeah because it's it's more fluid that way and, and it looks more yeah. natural doesn't yes it? rather than a tight spiral and then into place and you can hand you can hand bend this around a bit more if you like you so are. finish it off as you, yes, would. as you would and then just finally um, you can bring these down a bit more just add these little dangles into the and I, I should have tucked this in and, and make sure this is tucked into that space here 
-hmm. okay don't worry and then this these dangles go on the bottom and we finish as we um, yeah as we said earlier popping okay. those on uh, along the way so here we are <laughs> you are ready from start to finish I hope uh, you've either recorded this show or you refer to back to it on YouTube because it's all in stages and of course mm. on our Facebook page we will be showing you the photographs of all Loads Rachel's of photographs. Um, I think I've used all your step. computer space up oh well, that's <laughs> wonderful now I'm going to give you the steel block let me just stretch over Ooh. Mm. and I'm going to give to you a little added extra uh, now what's the added extra the wire now you've got the normally just the block and hammer this time we're going to give you 0.8 wire as well 0.8 wire you were making um oh i don't know if i'm allowed to say oh, this oh no uh, shall i say it or not um, you just need it if you love rachel norris's <laughs> pieces she's going to show you very soon how to make A something wonderful thing. out of 0.6 or 0.8 <laughs> and you do actually need all three of these elements it will be revealed on our birthday show. You need all of these elements. Steel block and chasing hammer. Now your steel block is essential. Don't do a Jenny Cleary and think that it's all right to use your breadboard at home. <laughs> you will dent it. You will get holes in your toast from that moment <laughs> onwards. Marmite on toast, other um, spreads that are available will never be the same. Well, my now, little boy played with the steel block and went ding, 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 and has made marks in my steel block. Well, I know, <laughs> has he really? How did she do that? <laughs> You've got to love them. So don't let four-year-olds play with, <laughs> four play with hammers. Uh, no. <laughs> Sometimes, though, us mothers will do anything to keep them quiet. <laughs> Have a look at what you've got. The chase hammer is absolutely perfect for wire work pieces. Don't steal your husband's hammer your partner's hammer out of the toolbox. It's got those big claw, it's not the same, believe me. The chase hammer gives you a lovely flat edge, but then will also texturize with your ball edge as well. Now the great thing about this hammer is it's ergonomically designed. Now this is especially for jewelry makers. I'm gonna show you why this is important. I've gotta go this way. Now, instead of, it, we're not bashing stakes here, so don't hold on to it and go You literally mm. use the ball here Place it in your hand And this is great if you've got dexterity problems you're thinking I can't do that you can I promise and you will get so just place it in here in your palm And mm. use that like a ball and socket joint and that's the effort you need mm. Okay, so you get that boom, boom, boom. And you only need to use it a couple of times, a little tap if you're work hardening. But if you really want to go for it, here we are, uh, then you just, you can make things nice and flat, but you can also texturize wonderfully. So Rachel's block is here. And we can have a little, shall I use yeah, that? Is that all right? So have a go. So you can use it to just work harden, And it'll just take, change the texture. Actually, you only need a couple of bashes mm. to work harden, don't you? That, let's have a go. So oh yeah, so let's have a look. This. Let's put it over yeah. there, that would be perfect. And then I've um, got a spiral um, and basically there. Perfect, okay. work hard. And then. the other side will be even smoother. And if you want to create a texture, ball end. Just tip tapping across it. Yay. And we've done it. It's beautiful. And if we show that to Kaz, you'll be able to actually see that wonderful texture. Mm. So this really and will change the appearance Oops. of your wire work pieces. Rings look fabulous uh, when, mm. when yes. you work hard on them, don't they? It, would you say, Rachel, that the hammer and block is an essential wire worker's tool? Absolutely essential. And the weight of this, if you tried to get it posted anywhere else, you'd pay about £10 for postage. You would pay about you. £10 just you know, for the postage yes. of that, and it would be a second yes. classer yes. as well. We're not going to add yeah. any on to your uh, PMP. You're also getting your antique bronze wire, you've got 10 meters, and you're paying 16.70 for the entire, that no, you're not paying that. You'd be paying that if you were popping it up on, right now, people steal them so much that we're <laughs> writing our names on these, Norris, it says. And uh, it looks like somebody else had the, oh no, it's Rachel's, here we go. Mm. Rachel's even got a name on hers, 11.95, 10 meters of antique bronze wire in 0.8, the block, and the hammer, an essential wire workers tool, BSGC45 is your item code. You can use your debit card or your credit card. Come shopping with us here at Jewelry Make. You get a 30 day, no questions asked, money back guarantee. If it's not jewelry that you're making and you're making scrapbooks and things like that, think about a lovely embellished heart, how it would look lovely flat and then put onto your 
onto the front, onto the cover yes. of your scrapbook. It's really pretty wire work, the, um, actually. The copper blanks you've got, um, mm. and you can texture those. You can, you also can write your names scale in them. mail as well. Yes, um, yes, you yeah, can. And, and beautiful things I've seen made um, by many people um, with texture scale mail. Was it Gemma? Did it was Gemma, yeah, oh. put that amazing yeah, piece on with it. It might be over stunning. there. Are those hammered? Those um, scales? They're Scotty, Floor Scott. Floor Scott and Producer Scott. Thanks, Floor Scott. I don't know how she did these, but it look, does look yes. like um, um, she's hammered some of something. these. They're textured with a hammer yes. and something else. She's striked across here. Have a look yeah. about. It. It's all about. It reminds me of an owl's breast. Yes. Or a, no, an eagle actually, doesn't it? An eagle's wing. Image. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, I love it. I she's love ace, Emma. isn't yes. she? Isn't she Emma wonderful? You two should be locked in a room together and sit and then with all your beady oh, stuff and yeah, wire, and then we'll see what happens after a week. Of no that food would be and just water. That would be <laughs> <laughs> No, we're not really going to do but that. We would like to, though. £11.95. <laughs> Lots of you are in for this one. Rachel's calling it essential, and, and so do so many of our wonderful designers. Now, I'm going to let you get on with your challenge, I think. Piece, oh, we are. We're finished with the butterfly. Ta -da. That's it. Yay! Ta -da. Ta -da. Oh, there we are. Wonderful. I'm very happy that we managed to get that done, actually, for everybody. I really am happy. It's absolutely wonderful. There we are. So. Well done. Look at that. Absolutely fabulous. Claire's just telling me in my ear that she's going to New York. You're going to New York, are Ooh. you? Oh, they're chatting about New York. How lovely. Have you been to New York? Um, I haven't. I've a bit stepped foot in um, a, a place on the way to Jamaica. And that's any time that's what I did. I went to New York <laughs> in the plane and then went somewhere yeah. else. And I got a, um, a barbecue with H. And I'd never ever want to eat anything like that again. <laughs> well, oh, what? Eight? Sick in a, sick in a bar, I call it. <laughs> it's awful. You went Not to, like um, the you purple go? bar that we have in our country of chocolate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know what you're on yeah. about. Yeah, it tastes like yeah. soap. Yeah. yeah. I quite <laughs> like it. Come on, <laughs> anything chocolate's going in my mouth. I thought you meant a bar as in somewhere to have a drink. Oh, no. no gonna, <laughs> right, I'm going to let you get on with your chance. Thank you Thank so you. much to Rachel. Now, remember, you do need to be getting your questions uh, finished and, and in for Rachel because we will be relaying them. Uh, I've got some polymer and wire work extras for you now because you are asking for them, so we're going to give them to you. So let's start with actually um i've got the i've got some of the stamps because um you actually use some of our stamps rachel well, you, in fact natalia stamp i'm going to give you the Corantha stamps uh, but i will be talking to rachel in a moment about the essential um the, the why they're essential now these are brand new stamps i've got some brand new Corantha stamps for you they're all singing brand new stamps in my ear now. Very exciting, brand new Carantha stamps. They're deep etched, unmounted rubber stamps and they're used for um, so many different creative purposes. Um, they are a conventional rubber st uh, stamp. You can trim these to however you want. You can use them for ink stamping. But of course, we, we want to see you using these in your friendly plastic, your um, precious metal clays they'll be used for. They're also wonderful for uh, for of course polymer clay um, you can use these for rubbings as well they are great if you uh, add a layer of paper or fabric over the stamp and use with um, marker sticks ink pads crayons and rub over the surface so actually these I would say are a crafty essential should I be opening them no am I going to yes of course I am you need to see what you're getting for your money I don't know why they're not already open have a look as well ah uh, gosh the lovely lady who's in um hannah's um, class today who yeah uh, um she did a design where she cut pieces um from uh, she did the mold and then she cut pieces of them and then used them to wrap around other pieces of polymer clay oh what was it that, deborah roach yes yes debbie she um she did a, 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 a lovely, lovely sort of almost um, a design where she she got this, some polymer clay and then cut out elements and then wrapped them round a bead of polymer clay and it looked absolutely wow. stunning. There's so much you can do with these Carantha moulds, isn't there? And because they're deep etched, you've got a lot of scope. Now, if you love moulds, you need to be on the phone. 
you are going to get three molds in total. I love the smell of them when they come out of the packet. I love it. Uh, they are so intricate, so detailed. I'm going to give you all three for just 6 95 the value is phenomenal here. Very, very good quality. When you see the red rubber, you know the quality is wonderful. They are heat proof. So if you are using um, mediums that need to be heated up or anything like that, it could be uh, your your jewel enamel or anything like that they are heat proof you can use these in baking but do buy a separate for your other crafty mediums if you want them for both they are dishwasher safe they're wonderful aren't they look at and they're flowers so uh, very much a rachel norris seal of approval with the flowers and anything uh, that stands by nature there are so many of you on the phone lines for these these are brand new carantha stamps that they're called the floral collection and i do need you checking out baskets right now i have so many of these allocated i am seeing uh, on my screen quite a lot of unchecked baskets as well which means you are going to risk missing out on these how many do we have to start with scotty mcbots We've only got 98, they're brand new. How many have gone? Look how many people are on the phone lines. Let me talk to everybody who has an, okay, so we started with 98 and they are rapidly depleting. I've got an unchecked basket from Sue, Nicole, Jean, Sylvia, Michelle, uh, another June, Catherine, Bertha in Colorado. Hello, darling. Uh, Shona, uh, you're there as well with an unchecked basket. I've got, uh, I've got, you must check your baskets, Janet in Oxfordshire. Uh, now, everybody else who has secured theirs, well done. Marion, well done. Nicola, Helen, Leslie, yes, they can be used in polymer clay. Gillian, Catherine, Kate, Christine, Beverly, a uh, jewellery maker in Worcestershire, a jewellery maker in Cornwall, a jewellery maker in Merthyr, Tinder, Tinfil, Tidfil, Tidfil, I don't know. I'm terrible, I'm sorry. Julie, uh, Sandra, Elise, I've got Dawny, I've got Zena, hello Zena, uh, Jan, Joanne, uh, Hazel, Patricia, Thea, Anne, I have got uh, another Jan as well. Uh, and Shona. I've got Gifty. You're shopping. Hello, Gifty. Uh, Patricia, well done to you. Joan, well done to you. Uh, Linda, Jean, Suze, Geraldine and Carol. Hello, hello. Absolutely loads of you. Now we're limited in over half of the stock has been allocated. That's going to go right on down. More have been allocated than you can see on your screen. We're not catching up. You've got three moulds. Yes, polymer clay. Yes. Um, you, in fact, I'll tell you what Carantha is saying. Carantha is saying uh, polymer clays. They are one Wonderful as a temporary mount on an acrylic block with glue. Uh, we, uh, you can also do these for cush, uh, uh, with glue and, and you, for molding on friendly plastic, air dry clays, precious metal clays, and other similar products, polymer clays, paper casting, casting uh, rubber as a rubbing plate, layering paper or fabric over the stamp to use with marker sticks, ink packs, ink pads, crayons, or to rub over the surface. Many designs that you can create and more uh, for just six pounds and ninety five pence I've got loads more to bring you that's a great deal isn't it now I've opened them does that mean I can have them now no he said <laughs> now I'm gonna give you some more wonderful stamps I love this and you've got Natalia's stamps here now the quality of these stamps are absolutely phenomenal Natalia has given you so many wonder you've got the owl designs I love these now you've used Natalia's designs. Now, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure whether you'll be able to answer this question, but some of these are deeper cut than others. Is there a reason for that? Um, Can you see? Ooh. How some are deep Probably. cut and some of them oh. are. Is that for prints and things? Yes, you can, you can basically, with this, you can smear a top layer of um, polymer clay um, and you're going to have a, um, basically a standing outy trunk. Yeah, or, or just a printed or just on image. A, just a delicately printed on image. Beautiful. Oh, so, so you've got subtlety. Wonderful. You've got subtlety on with that one. With the and then you've got ones. a really strong impression of that one. And with that one, you can actually put in different colours into the little trunk, then put another layer of polymer clay on, and you've got a, a you know, you can have a. A layered piece a deep of different set colours. piece and then yes. a print over the top yes. or just a really oh, light lovely aren't they beautiful. aren't they gorgeous don't you love that yes, the oak tree and the tree of life oh, they're lovely aren't beautiful. they beautiful thank you rachel yeah. thank you so much so have a look you've got the two lots of molds and you also get a dvd with this as well is that right do i get the dvd too have a look i've got a dvd in my box if not no i shouldn't have that shouldn't have been in there uh, so you get the two moulds. Have a look at uh, what they look like. Now, Natalia is very passionate about the quality of the rubber she uses. Natalia has spoken to me at length on, um, <laughs> on the different types of rubber that are available to make stamps. 
Uh, now, Scott, behave. Now, have a look. Have a look at these. Now, the different types of rubber is essential because because you get a better impression, a better quality. They're heat proof. They are usable in more mediums. I appreciate that you can't really. Sorry to interrupt. Mine are about three or four years old, and they are still really flexible. You know, really, so really. So it does the, make a difference yes. the, the material yes. that's used yes. to make. So the rubber, it, it is all in the rubber, isn't it? Mm. Now have a look. You've got the owls. I love these owls. Can you see them? Aren't they fabulous? I love them. So they're perfect for polymer clay, metal clay, paper craft, shrink plastics, and much, much more. They're by Natalia, and we've only got 13 left. Now we've got some so Debbie Bolford. Now Debbie Bolford is our resident polymer clay expert. So Debbie's, mm. um, Debbie's designs are wonderful as well. Debbie's saying here for use with polymer clay, metal clays, resin, stamping inks for paper crafts and anodized aluminium to name but a few. These are exclusive to Jewelry Maker. You cannot purchase these outside of Jewelry Maker. Your texture sheets, so you've got your, uh, what are we calling these? The bubbles and lines, the disc and grids and the bracelet texture sheets. So you've got your discs and grids and then you've got texture here as well. I like that, isn't that wonderful? We've only got 27. They're for all your crafty creations. And this is from the Sew Collection, brought to you by Debbie Bulford. Exclusive to Jewelry Maker. Wonderful, wonderful quality. Fantastic prints and designs. And we've only got 25 of them. 0800 or the w.jurymaker.com. Can I show um, a, the piece of polymer uh, that you've got, the yes. jewelry there that you've used texture sheets on? Yes. Is that all right? Yes. Thank and you. This is, I made it twice because the first one I didn't, create a good enough impression. I'll show you the one I did I bet first. she did. <laughs> well, no, I won't. Uh, basically, you make, need to make sure you press it in quite hard and then fold it over. And then with the gleams that we had in the bundle, I just literally... Um, just you can pick up the texture, can't you? Tiny bit of texture, and it just took off, it took the top layer. Um, and then you could really show us up the texture of the butterflies. And I thought that would be really good background to the butterfly. Um, uh, so, uh, so you know, the really wire adds butterfly. to the design, doesn't it? Yeah. So the wire butterfly, but the, t the what's um, what's yes. been added by a texture stamp is mm. the actual um, impressions yes. onto the polymer clay. So mm. if you want to add impressions, thank mm. you, my darling. Uh, if you want to add impressions directly onto your polymer clay, you press it down into your polymer clay pre-baking. Let's have a look pre-baking and then you bake it in and that impression will stay with you and Rachel's actually used that throughout the beads as well so if you're seeing a particular texture sheet and you love the pattern remember there is a lot that you can do with it there's over 80 how to you how to tutorials on our website all the w's .jewelrymaker Com. We've got some lovely new buttons, Scott, haven't we? I do like those. 14, where'd you get them from? Supermarket. £14.95. We've only got 19 chances remaining. CDD B75. I'm going to give you a DVD with two of some of my favourite people. Rachel Norris and Gemma Crow, aren't they two wonderfully talented ladies? What we've done is we've locked them in a room together and we filmed what happened. <laughs> Here it is, the Polymer and Wire Fusion Project DVD. It's fantastic, it's only 4 95 If you are super inspired by either of these wonderful ladies, you need this DVD. Rachel Norris and Gemma Crow, we've got a little bit of a snippet of what else we can see on this fabulous DVD. What a wonderful trio they are. Here is uh, Rachel Gizmo coiling with a bit of wire here. We've got Debbie Bolford working away with polymer clay. Lots of different projects oh, we can the, see there. That's the, diff that's the wire um, fusion DVD. The fusions? Yes. That is what I've got here in my hand. <laughs> That's not Gemma Crow, that was Debbie. Debbie. Yeah, she's right. She's right, that was wire fusions, you nana. <laughs> you said nana, oh. I didn't even notice that wasn't Gemma Crow. I started talking about <laughs> Debbie Bolford. 
Here we go. The right graphics. It is four ninety five. It is fantastic. And if you want it, get yourself on the phone lines. ZGMP02. Uh, bless the boys. They're all deciding whose fault that was instead of blaming each other like girls would do. Four pounds and ninety five pence. It was her fault. No, it wasn't. It was her. The boy. Oh, was it my fault, mate? Sorry about that, mate. Uh, isn't it funny the difference between a man and a female? Eight hundred six triple balls. Example five ZGMP02. Lots of you there. Don't worry if you got that. You will be getting the right one. Shayla in five. Don't worry. Uh, lots of you there for this one. Uh, for under five pounds, you've got a whole hour of two wonderful ladies. Here they are. This is what you're going to get. This is what you're going to see. Debbie Belford and Rachel Norris. It's a good job Rachel Norris was on the ball there, isn't it? <laughs> honest to good, honest to Murgatroyd. Four pounds and 95 pence. Beautiful leaf designs there. Leaf designs there. You've got an amazing collar piece too, and more. So much more. There's the use of texture stamps there. It just adds so much to your designs, doesn't it? Four pounds and 95 pence. So we're going to move on now, and we're going to give you some wire. Oh, I love it. 1.5 in copper. If you just bought, have you wired, have you hammered this? Yes. 1.5. Oh, yes. oh, I love it. it. Isn't it fantastic? <laughs> yes, because it's nice and wide, you can really see the texture um, on it, actually. And it's uh, um, my, I love working 1.5 millimetre wire. It's a great structural, structural wire. You've got immediate strength. Um, that wire is very flexible too, so you, it's not too hard on the hands to work with. Mm -hmm. um, it's ideal, actually. You can make your own jump rings out of it. You can make some big, big, sturdy pieces. It is our highest gauge of wire we are looking to get higher uh, that's uh, in the pipeline but so far this is our highest gauge of wire if you want to make wire work rings with ease get the hammer and block and get this and you will never look back i promise you it's fantastic 10 meters of copper wire all e-coated one of our biggest selling colors at the moment because it does look like rose gold it has got such a fabulous vintage finish to it it looks really classy and expensive and it's a color that i think you'll struggle to get anywhere else outside of here at jewelry maker don't forget very malleable even though it's got that uh, circumference of 1.5 smj M18 is your item code 0806 446 and double five. It's only nine pounds and ninety five pence. Believe me, if you've never used it, you are going to absolutely love it. It's for structure. It's for a torque necklace, very easily made little hook and eye fastenings. Here's an example of what you can make very, very simply. Uh, this was Laura binding, just playing about with this. A couple of minutes it took her, um, and, and you can hammer them if you wish to. There's a bangle made from uh, this gauge of wire as well, which we're going to show you. There's so much scope for your design. It keeps its shape so beautifully. £9.95, pence. SMJ M18 is your item code. Now I'm going to give to you... Scott's bringing me a treat. Is he? Is it chocolate? Can I eat it? Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Do you know what? In my car, I've got a whole car full of Easter eggs that my mum filled my car up with last night. Literally, for do not touch them. Don't park it in the sunshine. <laughs> oh, it's not sunny outside, is it? I hope not. It's the sort of stupid thing I would do. <laughs> now, oh, I wish I hadn't said that. Scott's gone. I'm just going on my break. They're for the children. If you touch them, you will bleed. Now... <laughs> I wouldn't mind if it was mine, but hey, they're for the children. I'm like a lioness. Have a look. <laughs> Have a look. I'm going to give you a beautiful nine carat gold on sterling silver. You have got a whole collection of beautiful findings, 43 in total. You get seven inches. I think it's seven. It, let me just check it for you. I think you get seven inches of the chain, don't you? 16 centimetres. Is that seven inches? Let's have a look. I've got one of those Etaruchkas. 16. What did I say it was? No, hang on. I thought it was seven inches. What did I just say? In, hang on. 16 centimetres. Thank you. Which is actually, it's actually six inches. So I was an inch off. Six inches. Uh, so you have got also your ball head pins there. You have got 
your crimp beads and it's nice to get crimp beads in solid sterling silver and nine karat gold you also get your gold and silver balls nine karat gold sterling silver you've got your lobster claw with the matching jump ring close jump ring you've got two pairs of shepherd's hooks and you've got a beautiful toggle clasp as well so you've got 43 pieces of sterling silver nine karat gold in total should be only 11 hang on a minute we started those at 14.95 when they first started out life here at jewelry maker what are you gonna do you you are not you're not have they been there before you're gonna be in trouble then aren't you I don't know what to say. I don't know whether we're going to get in trouble. They're only seven ninety-five. They started off life here at Jewelry Makers fourteen ninety-five. They were always that eleven ninety-five. I don't think I've seen them at. It's crazy. And now I'm giving you sterling silver and nine carat gold for seven pounds and ninety-five pence. You are getting a phenomenal deal here. Believe me, I don't think you'll be able to find this anywhere else at this price tag please be my guest go and have a look i want i almost want you to go and have a look so that you can see what phenomenal value you're getting here if you were to sell this chain put the toggle clasp on it how much would you sell a sterling silver bracelet hardly any efforts made uh, by the way can i just congratulate lisa colleen joy an anonymous jury of the city of bristol because you've all bought two i would absolutely buy two i think you're mad not to barbara well done well done uh, to susie kerry kate jan janice linda elise irene lynn i've got barbara i've got mercedes claire another claire as well jane catherine fiona in gloucestershire michelle alison denise amanda tina i've got kathleen in perth and kinross buying two barb you've got yours barbara in cumbria you've got yours julian tyne and where you've got two i've got felicity anonymous in the city of bristol's got another one june in essex well done lynn in surrey well done uh, Carol, check out your basket. You don't want to miss out on this one at all. June in Essex, hello to you. Felicity in Sussex, great big good afternoon to you. Candice in Hertfordshire, Valerie in Wrexham. We are absolutely buzzing for this deal. Manjeet in the West Midlands, congratulations. Do make sure you are checking out baskets. I will absolutely encourage multi-buying on this deal. It is solid sterling silver and nine karat gold. And you are getting the 43 pieces for a tiny, weeny 7.95. Well done to Sheila in Essex. Claire in West Yorkshire's got two. Uh, M in Warwickshire, Christina Powers, uh, Paula in Kent, Valerie in Wrexham, you need to check out your basket. Betty, hello to you. John and Susan, hello. You're shopping from Essex, Jill in Hearts, uh, hello to you. Now, lots of you are on the lines. There is a queue. Please bear with it. This is probably one of the most phenomenal deals. Suze, you're back for another one uh, to pop in your basket. Make sure you check it out. It is lovely to see you all popping up on my screen. Uh, well done. I'm seeing multi buyers over after multi buyers. Now, this deal for $7.95 is crazy. Definitely multi multi buy uh, sheila in essex is back nicolette in surrey audrey in, audrey in kentucky hello <laughs> shopping all the way from kentucky have you ever been to kentucky anyone no is that where they have the kentucky derby well it's kentucky so i'm guessing that is where they have the yeah. kentucky derby what do you think <laughs> let's go i want to go mm. i want to go so badly kentucky derby please can i come Audrey, can I come and visit you, please? <laughs> and then, and then Bertha's shopping in Colorado, so I could just nip over to Colorado, couldn't I? Could I nip? Can you nip from Kentucky to Colorado? Could you get a bus? Could you cycle it? I'm not sure. Colorado, is it? Is that near? Is that up in the Rockies? Is it? Colorado. I thought it was hot. Kentucky's hot, right? <laughs> Let's go. Kentucky is hot. I'm so, I want to be there. I want to be in Kentucky. I think we should do like Uncle Travelling Matt in the Fraggles. I could be a, a Auntie Jewelry Making Jenny out in Kentucky reporting from a jewelry maker's lounge. We could do that. We could do that. Now I'm going to give you some statement pieces. I love having your company from all over the world. Have a look at this beautiful blue sapphire strand. Ooh la la. Is it sapphire or is it tanzanite? Do you know something? This is almost Ceylon blue, isn't it? 
Did you see all the pictures? of that squidgy, gorgeous Prince George, the baby, you know, the baby of William. Hmm. Have you seen all the pictures where she's holding on to him oh. with that big Ceylon <laughs> sapphire ring? All I'm looking at is the ring, then the oh, baby, then the ring, then the baby. The baby. <laughs> Isn't he squidgy? He's oh, absolutely he's wonderful. We don't see enough of him, do we? We really? don't. <laughs> we demand more of Prince George and that Ceylon Sapphire. And then we think, what a lucky girl. Prince William, Ceylon Sapphire, squidgy, gorgeous baby. Mm, perfect. Have a look. <laughs> Have a look. Who hasn't got a thing for Prince William? I'd take Harry if I had a choice. Have a look. <laughs> <laughs> Harry or Will? Harry, we play this at the table all the time. I say to Mia, Mia, Harry or Will? Harry or Will? And she's like, oh, Harry, every oh. time. Oh, but I, but I, oh, hey, I don't know. Have a look. Anyway, <laughs> it is Ceylon blue, isn't it, this time? Actually, it isn't Ceylon sapphire. Do you know, Ceylon sapphire was only for royalty at one point. You weren't allowed mm. it if you weren't in the royal family. I've got one in my engagement ring, but I haven't got it on. So, have yes, you? it's a pale blue one. It's beautiful. And it's a real yes. Ceylon sapphire? Yes, it is. Yeah. Crikey. Yeah. Lady Duchess Norris of Cornwall, have a look. Oh no, the Duchess of Cornwall is uh, is is Ke Kate, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh no, she's Cambridge. Mm. Uh, it's the Duchess of Cornwall, Cornwall is. is yeah, Charles Camilla, Camilla. Camilla. Yeah, mm -hmm. Cammy, Cammy, Saf, Cammy. Uh, mm. Sapphire, fifteen carats of sapphire. But it does make you feel very regal when you're seeing mm. blues like this. They are very regal. They're absolutely beautiful very reminiscent of our royal family. £34.95 is your price tag. HXGZ58 is your item code. Look how beautiful this is. Just enjoy it. Just relish it. These gemstones are incredible oh. and they are going to look stunning. If you love Rachel Norris's pieces, you need this one in your life. I'm going to give you something else gorgeous. I like these. I've seen these before and I really like them. Look at this fluorite strand. I can imagine you like these, Rachel, because you can see all the bands in them and they're so oh, beautiful. Yeah. I, love the, I love the delicate. Oh, it's got yellows and the golden colour. Golden mm. fluorite. Isn't Don't it? see that a lot in the fluorite, yeah, do you? I almost think these would look nice as a um, as a as a, ch a, a chime. You know how you hang them from your. My mm. grandma's got all these crystal things. She hangs so that they Touch dance around lights. like fairies when the light hits mm. them. Because mm. she's a bit of a hippie like that. Have a look, and, and, the, and actually, this would she'd like this strand a lot. Have a look at this. I've got one of those grandmas that tries to tell everybody's fortunes. Excellent. I've got one of those exact grandmas. <laughs> Have a look, and she'll tell you something about your face is lucky. Usually, if it's protruding. <laughs> Have a look. I've I've apparently got the luckiest nose in the family. Go figure. Have a look. <laughs> <laughs> have a look at this gorgeous strand it, it does remind me of you know it, it is a very beautiful strand and, and actually when you look at these you do see you do sort of see why people love to see magic in gemstones and things like that and whether you believe that or not I do love the sentiments behind real gemstones and this is fluorite so fluorite's an ex a really important gemstone actually because the word fluorescent descends from this gemstone because this gemstone has the ability to fluoresce under a UV light because of its makeup it just glows and it reminds me me of Indiana Jones when you think about those it's so special yes. Rachel well I'd love to I'd love to see that I wish I've never seen that I've got a UV light yes life. you have to get Hannah to being a scientist I'm, I'm well, very surprised at that well I haven't got my own UV light at home Jenny. well I'm going <laughs> to send you one I've got go. one I've got a UV light <laughs> in you? a nail unit yeah oh there I'm going to send I'll send it to you <laughs> have a look at these they are beautiful they really are and they're only 14.95 and any gemstone that has an ability to absolutely flip. I cannot believe the time already we're running out of time Rachel Norris I'm not going to finish I won't have finished well I'm going to give one more strand and then I'm coming over to you ready I won't ask you any more questions <laughs> go <laughs> uh, we'll do two let's do two right which one should I do can I do the solar quartz, please? I love seeing things in this solar quartz. Have a look at this. I always think it looks like something's burrowed in. It's wonderful, isn't it? Have a look. Look at that. Wonderful, isn't it? Uh, do you know, these are so popular. So super duper popular. Have a look at this. Can you see that center point and then the gemstone just building around and around and around? Have a look. 
They're so mesmerizing. You just get lost. They're transfixing, actually, I think. Have a look. We're going to give you such a good price tag for these. One, two, three, four, five. Solar Quartz. Solar Quartz has these inclusions that then have the other focal point in the gemstone and then the gemstone layers up it builds up over time around and around and around it almost like a fossil can you see that aren't they wonderful very shockingly and you look at the strand and you see that it's 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 displayed in a certain way to stop them from rubbing against each other and, and actually to draw your focus draw your attention to each gemstone's qualities we're going to give you this time you'd think wouldn't you for about 14.95 15.95 good price tag but they're going under 10 pounds so i would grab these quickly i'm looking at rachel because rachel's giving me the nod like i like these uh and n k r u 63 huge free form nature to these which my uh, producer's just saying that's what he likes about this now it's 7.95 you have got yourself a wonderful treat haven't you 106 triple four six double five is the way to dial if you'd like these if you would like them but you're shopping on the web maybe you are shopping from abroad uh, just click that little scroll down in the top right of your screen to change your country uh, of postage and it'll work out your currency for you as well ingrid you've got these well done uh, to a jewelry maker in ayrshire suze in lanarkshire suze in nottinghamshire you've both got these 140 carats of solar quartz 17 by 12 to 26 by 17 on the graduation a seven uh, sorry a 19 centimeter tassel strand this really is phenomenal phenomenal uh, price and value that you're getting uh, Veronica hello to you Marion hello to you I've got loads of you in and now it's time for our next star buy here's your star buy sorry Peony topaz. We know what this is going to look amazing in the centre pieces, like your flower piece. Rachel said, "Oh, can I have a look? Oh my gosh, I love it! Isn't it gorgeous? It's raspberries and oh, um, sorbets and oh, it's a lovely colour." Absolutely, raspberry sorbet. I love that description. A really beautiful pink raspberry pink that you've got here just stunning again if you like rachel's pieces though uh, with her floral designs a lot of her pieces are made up of gemstones not unlike this and this is pink topaz what an utter joy to have in your collection it really is beautiful casted together it looks wonderful if you just do a wrap bale at the top little loops straight away as a pendant on some silver chain great for earrings your eyes are drawn because of the color so you don't need to worry about too much of a size issue you got graduations from six by five to 13 by 18 on this strand it is a tassel strand the facets are wonderful and it's one of the it's, it's one of only three strands i've ever seen here of pink topaz topaz is a gemstone that is going to be so popular with your customers i know so many people that tell me their favorite uh, gemstone actually is topaz it's november's birth gemstone isn't it gorgeous look at that sparkle h a t r u zero one you've got 60 carats in total on a 14 centimeter strand we're going to give you this beautiful strand for a fabulous price tag all yours going under 20 pounds at 19 pounds and 95 pence you've got genuine topaz this is your star buy at 19.95 i'm going to take these over to rachel because i've got the dvd with me i think it's over there uh, but we have still got very limited amount of Rachel's DVDs left. Let's go on over and speak to Rachel <laughs> about uh, not only these wonderful gemstones, but about the... Oh, oh um, my gosh, I haven't that so done, quickly. Well, I haven't finished it, so I just want to put some sides on in a clasp. So I'm nearly there. How gorgeous. We've got plenty of time to show you and plenty of time for your text messages. So last chance to get your text messages in is now. We're going to be having um, a couple of minutes with Rachel and the text mm. messages. That's with the uh, mermaid strand that I gave to you earlier that was just 
what a bad that strand, isn't it beautiful? Oh, do you like that one? <laughs> the mystic topaz, isn't yes. it lovely? Gorgeous. Pink topaz. I'm so pleased you brought Actually, that over. They go very well together, don't they? Look at those together. Actually, do you think that's yes. like a treasure? It's actually, um, that will shine, um, pick up the colour of the pink and... That's beautiful. Mm. I love yeah. these. Rachel, you've been amazing today. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Oh, sorry, I just... Yeah. Uh, now, let's have a look at all of Rachel's exactly. pieces from today. And then I'm going to give you um, a couple of pieces from Rachel's DVD. I hope you've got them all um, back. Have a look. Um, have a look at what Rachel's created. I've also got another piece here. Have a look. This is our first bundle. If you've just tuned in and you're thinking, crikey, I didn't realise Rachel was on today. How do I look at, at what, uh, what she's made? Our first project was the polymer clay and the wire. And your uh, bundle is coming up. The Fantasy Landscapes bundle was £30. And that was all the polymer, the gleams, everything you needed. We then gave you uh, the three wires which sold out, unfortunately. Uh, have a look, just absolutely stunning. Now, please don't forget that we are going to repeat this show on YouTube so you can see if you go onto our YouTube channel, today's show will be on there soon, in the next hour or so. And um, our second project saw a fusion. It's pretty instant, is it? Oh, okay. It's pretty instant. It's more instant. I'm quicker than that, says Tom. Uh, okay. I was giving you some leeway, Tom. So you've got all of these. Tom's our direction. He does put everything on YouTube afterwards. Uh, now, you've got all these wonderful, very rich pieces from Project 2, which saw the uh, butterfly. And then you can incorporate that butterfly in lots of different ways. Uh, your pendant gemstones, which were four strands. You had two bands agate strands and you had two of your amethyst strands and they were 16.95 I gave you 300 meters of gold wire 1 mil 0 0.8 and 0 0.6 for 44.95 details of which are at the bottom of your screen right now uh, Rachel also made another piece out of the polymer clay let me show you it just wasn't on display have a look this is with the polymer clay and the gleam that came with. Yes. Now we've also got, Rachel, your DVD. I'm just coming over here. Whoop. I Where wasn't I? there, Tom. I wasn't there. Where are my pieces? Where they gone? We got your DVD. Yeah. Um, where are the pieces to this, Scotty, my darling? We've got. We had a peacock. Yeah, brilliant. There we are. It's all there. Uh, let me show you what you can create. These are Rachel's to take back with her. Let's have a look. So you can create the phoenix. Oh, thank you. You can create the beautiful peridot leaves, my favourite, the little peacock alula. Oh no, I love them all, I love the phoenix as well, I got the phoenix, I love him. Have a look, you've got the DVD. Now, the, the DVD is three hours long. You get three DVDs and you can achieve outstanding... Rem now, we are very low in stock in the DVD. We only started with 200, we've hardly any at all left. Let me show you the inside of the DVD. I'm going to give you that okay. and that and that. You know what it's like round here. <laughs> and I'm going to, uh, we're going to go through the text messages now. Just going to show you what Rachel's DVD set looks like. So you've got three DVDs in total. So three in total. 19.95. Here is an extract of Rachel's DVD. So this is all produced by you, Rachel. Yes. yes. And I basically, I mean, I, I work through the whole elements for making up um, that necklace. And there's, there's actually plaited sides to it, and um, the branches, the leaves, and the butterflies, and the clasp. And each one of those is given time. Um, and actually, those elements can be used to make other pieces of design. You know, the plaited sides can be used to make bracelet um, okay. uh, pieces. And um, the peacock has a hole out of itself. Um, you know, because it's, it's, it's a so three-dimensional. Yes, because it's a three-dimensional piece, and you'll need these these um, the skills in this piece to go on to with edition three, because uh, edition three will progress with making more three-dimensional pieces um, in the next edition in out in May. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. Now, we have got text messages we've got to fit in uh, before we scootle off to Ed. So um, I've got a few questions for Rachel and a few comments uh, for Rachel. So let's have a look at those. Text is, put them up then. Put them up then. Here we go. We're waiting for the button. That's what's happening. Uh, the gorgeous Helen and Mercer said, Rachel, that butterfly ring is stunning. Would you be explaining how you did it at any point? So we need um, this. Well, actually, it's the same as the butterfly. And what isn't I have, um, and basically, I have a, 
a blank of it. If you don't mind, I'll just go and get it. Well, I've taken a photograph of it, and that's on the YouTube. Will be on the, be um, fine. not YouTube on the. Um, on the so we've I'm got sorry, a blank sorry. of that, but don't yeah. worry. Um, the the actual way of you yes. of creating the butterfly is on the original. Um, mm. We've got to get through yes. all of these text messages, yes. so Rachel will be putting that on, it's on uh, Facebook, the Facebook page. afterwards. So don't there's, worry. A there's a blank one to show you how it's made. Perfect. Thank you, Rachel. Sorry. So, I'm so sorry we've got to go so quickly. Uh, Maureen in London says, it's been a fab show this afternoon. Who better than gorgeous and crazy Jenny to present it? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you Maureen. Especially about Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Maureen, you love. Well, Jenny, uh, Jenny needs a bit of, you know. <laughs> oh, I love you. We, we cake together, don't we? <laughs> I'm so glad. I was made sure we did this together today. Uh, and uh, I've got another one for you. Here we go, we're rifling through them to make sure that there's uh, nothing rude. Here we go. Paul says, hi Jenny and Rachel, great show. And Rachel, you are amazing, she is, isn't she? Uh, love your designs and work. Do you have any ideas for us chaps? As there seems to be uh, very little unique designs around. All the very best, Paul from Coventry. Yeah, I try to team, um, make bracelet, gentlemen's jewellery very simple. I, I incorporate lots of leather with silver elements because that tends to go really well with guys. They've got to have something that's very hard wearing, um, so I do tend to use a lot of leather in. A lot of in, leather? Yes. Could in, we, in, uh, will there be a show in the ooh, pipeline, do we think? Um, would it be, do you know what? It would be nice if each designer did a man's design and it went onto a DVD. Let's do it. Something, one thing from each designer. I think that'd be really good. Inspired by Paul. Yes. Thank you, Paul. Yeah. I, I've got uh, and one more, <laughs> very quick one. Are we gonna? We haven't got time for that last one. Hello, Ed. Ed Hello, with my strand. How's it going? You all right? I'm all right. I'm, you with right? Your you've got my. Oh, you've got my um, rose quartz that I wanted. Oh, the slabs! <laughs> I love it. They're no, amazing. Don't even call them slabs. <gasps> no, I agree. You're gorgeous. I agree. Gem, let me show you. Oh my goodness. They're so beautiful, Rachel. I want a prom set. That's just the classic occasion. Well, I've not seen a shape like that. No, they amazing. they are step you cut could, yes. like an emerald. You're going to oh. absolutely adore love these. Them. We've got to see them really quick. We've got to go. Rachel and I have outstayed our welcome. You they need match them. my outfit tonight you need as well. Them. They'd make beautiful, beautiful cufflinks with that, you know. I'm going to give you that back. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to give them to Rich to make me cuff now. <laughs> <laughs> we will see you later. It's been amazing to have the wonderful Rachel Norris with us today. And I'm going to hand you over to the wonderful Ed for some fantastic Late deals. show in one minute. Come and join guest designer Louise Jakobsen on our Wirework Rings course. Louise will guide you through how to design a combination of ring styles and shapes. You will learn a variety of techniques including how to use a ring mandrel, how to design bands and shanks and how to attach gemstones. The full course includes a selection of colours and gauges of wire, a generous scoop of mixed gemstones, use of all relevant tools, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, 